Yo, what have I missed? <laughs> I was out today. I was out today and I got back as soon as I could and I was like, I, I, didn't, I messed up the time zones and didn't know what time it began. What have I missed? What's been happening? Okay, 7-3 in favor of T1 on bind. What's going on here? So, so it's the full Kamen Core team, even though Scream... Oh, okay, okay, okay. We need to, we need to change some of these things around. I need to, I need to not cover Carpe's face. Okay, 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 okay. The intro was insane. How did I? Ah, I didn't mean to miss it. I messed up the time zones, and also I was busy at a like festival today. Okay, let's let's reset for a moment. Let's calm down. Let's reset. Let me understand what's going on here. So, Carmichael are playing with their roster that they played with this year. Okay, let me let me actually just look at this round. We've got a two v two situation where the spike has been dropped down over towards sewers. And even though Saya was farming over towards short, Kamiko just had showers control and Shin's about to fist him by the look of it. Izu, new player for T1, has to try and recover the spike. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. Big thrifty. Let's go. Soon as I turn up, Kamiko start winning. Is that... Oh, I heard there was like 30,000 people here. Yeah, so Kamen Core, I don't think you're going to be using this roster into next year because Scream was already looking for different opportunities, right? And Zaish presumably is just going to be a coach rather than a player full time. But because of the because it's a show match, I guess it's going to be uh, 28,000 people here. Is that how you pronounce Izu's name? No idea. No idea. I'm just going to say Izu, but I, I really don't know. Is this going to be is this going to be T1's name? I think... Sorry, is this going to be T1's roster? I think... Oh, wait. Let me have a look at this round. Scream, farming. Nevera came out of the gate crash, died towards the back. Zeta picked him up with the Sheriff. Oh, Scream on Rainer. Sire player. Good work, good work. But now Zaish is out deep on the flank. Paranoia doesn't catch Shin. He's going to have to... Oh, little fake of a backup. What is Carpe up to here? This is wild. Look at the... Look at the gap here. Carpe's managed to slink into spawn while Zaish was pushing out Fountain. Carpe is so far behind these guys. I mean, they have no idea. Oh, but Carpe's going to die. Good trade by XMS. Winnable for either side. Oh, a little flash to clear back sight. Interesting. Probably could have played with... A little more patience there, and Saya might have caught somebody. And now the smokes are about to dissipate, and Saya's... Eh, he's in an alright position to use a flash, except... He's not tucked close to the corner. I'd like to see them swap places, and then Saya player would be able to Phoenix flash the spike tap. Oh, no. Oh, they planted in a really weird spot, actually. Izu with a... Reposition teleport. Saya! Saya player pulling out the Phoenix! Okay, so Autumn said that Excura is 100% starting next year. Okay, so the T1 roster for next year is going to be this, but minus Carpe plus Excura. Does Excura play Duelist? It's cool to see King playing Chamber, actually. I know I'm late. I know I'm late. Mr. Alfredo, thank you for the six months. Look how many people are there. This is just an event to like come and celebrate Carmen Core and the like main creator behind Carmen Core, Kamito. And there's 28,000 people there. This is absolutely bonkers. Oh, Scream got full blinded, but he's still hunting. That's twice as many people as we're at the finals for champions. Oh, XMS catching Itsu as well. This is going to be a little difficult now for T1. King just gambling over here. Oh, no. No, he's going back over to A. Big content creators will always have more pull than orgs. Mm, mm, no. It's not about the orgs having pull. It's about the tournaments having pull. 
Hi. Uh, probably. I can't remember. Uh, let me have a look. Um, I have plans in the evening because I'm going to be streaming and then the rest of the day I'm just doing like pieces of work. What's up? Yeah. Uh, in exchange, could you bring me some mini cheddars? I know. And, and a glass of ginger beer. And a glass of ginger beer. Uh. So... What what does Excurit play, guys? Are we expecting Excurit to be playing? Flex? Right. And then Saya's gonna be... Duelist? No. Is Saya going back to Smokes? What's going on with this T1 roster? What the hell are the roles going to be? Saya main duelist and what, Itsu is just perma playing smokes now? Interesting. Okay. I don't know enough about the guy to know whether or not that's a good decision. I'm going to watch some VODs of his later on in the offseason, but I haven't done yet. Clean up time. Oh, nice little dodge shit. Nice little dodge. Nice little dodge, dude! Shin! My shin! My shin! I didn't whack my leg. What is this? That is not a glass of ginger beer. This is not a glass of ginger beer. It's, it's, it's a shot glass that says number one sis. This is... That's not equivalent. Could I get another five of these, please? <laughs> Or maybe one larger glass. <laughs> Alright, bonus round for Kami Corp. Chance for them to get back in the game. Allez bleu! Oh, sorry? Yeah, I did. Itsu dropped down to 6 HP. Oh, and Zaisha is on the other side just trying to take some info towards B-Long. Pretty aggressive from Zaisha to challenge that, especially when you have a, a Yoru and a Reina in your comp. How do they deal with King? Oh, King. Baiting them back into the area where he can take contact and still drop back with the rendezvous. I like it. It's a good chamber setup. Is the match live? Yes. Where is Forsaken's brother? He's got visa issues, apparently. Because this is still early on in the off-season. What is this tournament? It's like a... It's like a series of show matches for Carmen Core. Carmen Core's Game Changers team is playing against Loud's Game Changers team after this as well. Which might be the largest Game Changers audience ever, actually. I'm not sure whether this is the largest. I, th I think one of the Japanese tournaments in the off-season of last year had more of a crowd than this. But I actually might be wrong about that as well. This might just be the largest crowd ever in Valorant. Sire player. How are you going to deal with this, Navera? You have no utility. Oh, good dodge. Oh, he blinded himself! Oh, what a melon! Oh, Sire player! Oh, what a melon! Oh, no! Back to Smoke's Jail! Watching this makes me want to be French. Je mangeais un pantalon, je mangeais un pantalon, je mangeais un pantalon. Mm, 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 mm. I wish I could speak French. <laughs> All right, looks like there might be a clash over towards Belong. No, Izu decided not to play it too aggressively. 
They've got King posted down short with Sire ready to play off that. This looks like it's going to be a very difficult one. Show me the Yoru tech. No, that's not the Yoru tech. <laughs> Nevera, <laughs> scream. <laughs> okay, they make it work anyway. But that is not the clean entry that I'm looking for. Watch some tens vods. Watch some tens vods, Nevera. <laughs> You are French, second coming of Fabian Barthez. Yeah, I got a safe pair of hands like Fabian Barthez. I've also got a shiny polished head like Fabian Barthez. Go on, show me your finger. You can hit the finger, Carpe. Ooh. Wait a second. This is a thrifty. What's happened? Oh! Ale. Dude, Shin is actually him. Shin needs to change his name. Yo! I don't care, this is staged. It's not staged! This is the highest level match Garmin Core have ever been allowed to enter. Kamito put this event on in order to give his team a feel of what it's like to play at Champions. Tried to body block so that he got stuck inside the ult. Tried to throw any level of utility and instead he just got out in front of the guy. Oh! My calming core. You looked so good and now you're just losing to a flood retake. Does XMS clutch this? I don't think so. They told T1 if they win, the crowd isn't letting them leave. <laughs> this event is the biggest audience for Game Changers matches, not Valorant as a whole, right? I'm not sure. There were some huge events in the last off-season in Japan that had like a 20k... Maybe... It might be. I think... I think this might be, the more I think about it, the largest Valorant audience ever. Why does it look like 20 FPS? Uh, don't know. I mean, I'm streaming in 1080 60p. I'm getting the official, the official clean feed. The guys from Carmen Core, actually Zeish himself, star player, bottom of the scoreboard, carry, DM'd me on Twitter last night and said, hey, do you want co-streaming rights to this game? And I was like, oh shit, I didn't even realize it was a game. Yes, I immediately, uh, I am hyped for this. Should Carmen Core keep their roster if they beat T1? Yeah, they'll probably win champions next year. Sire player is under a lot of pressure here. Trying to bait out the flash. Two players anti-flash, and Sire just swings! He just swung! He's just a Chad! Oh no! Was Ban an import for T1? Yes, but he didn't have to be. It was up to him. Uh, the way it works is that if you have if you have dual applicability to two regions, you get to choose which one. Um, the first time you join partnerships, you get to choose which one you want to represent. And then if you want to change that in the future, you have to play one year as an import, and then, uh, or at least 50% as an import, and then you can change uh, back to the other one. No, it doesn't depend on taxes. It literally just depends on which one you want to declare yourself as. What's the tournament called? Uh, Carmen Core stomps all the opposition. Flammatory, thank you for the two months. And Mephistopheles, appreciate the 38 months as well. Zion the prize, thanks for the 35. Yeah, sorry I was late, but, you know, we're here now. So, that's all that matters. Let me launch Epic Pen so I can draw over the top of this. Give you guys the full Sliggy experience, now that he's taking a bit of a break. Hello? There we go. 
Only a single player defending A here. Carpe with an AWP. Nice little teleport from Nevera. Flash to clear lamps. Double TP back through and someone's waiting. It's Zeta. He's hiding. He's playing with them, but he's missed the timing. And I got it on E2. Second player coming through again, looking for the others. Looks like an amazing spot for Carmen Court. Zeta's, uh, sorry, not Zeta, Zeich is still on the lookout back for them. Savers! I was watching a YouTube short recently with a chant that went something like this. Uh, Southgate was right, you are shite. And I can't remember the tune. But it was such a great chant. Like, can you imagine... Yeah, the pyro is pretty sick. Was it the Madison one? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know anything about In the Bournemouth game? Yeah, it was that one. That is that is Luffy, which for some reason, despite being a One Piece like character, is the mascot for Kamito. And somehow <laughs> they're not bothered by the copyright implications of that. Way good try, XMS. Scream wants this. Nevera is sneaking his way in here as well. Saya player playing in cubby again. I like the idea of holding contact with Chamber here, putting trademark there, and then having the Phoenix here, but that's not what they've done. King must have used his trademark earlier on because he doesn't have it. Oh! Oh! Shin got caught, but Saya player a bit unlucky there. Zeta, pop flash. Oh no, oh no. Oh wait, King, he recovers. No one saw the whiffs at the beginning at all. No one saw any of those whiffs. Let's go, King. King is one of my favorite Korean players. I think ever since he was first on the old like Vision Strikers roster, I really like the way that he plays. I think he's really smart and I want him to have success. But every team he's been on since he got removed from the DRX Vision Strikers team has just been... A disappointment. For reasons that aren't really based on him. I'm not casting this game. But like, yeah, I'll be doing a co-stream of Carmen Core versus Loud. Game Changers teams. Not that I know anything about them. What a shot. It is like a library when Carmen Core are losing, when they're peeking one by one into King's Operator. Ooh! <coughs> Wait a second, I nearly choked on my mini cheddar. Shin! Why does this look actually winnable? No. Okay, not quite, not quite. Is this a BO1? I don't know. We got to scrim loud, they're great. Carmen Core Game Changers has been in real bad form recently. Well, that doesn't seem good. That does not seem good for Carmen Core fans. The French commentators hyping up the crowd. Give them your energy! It would be tragic if Carmen Core who were a team for months. Not that they'll have been scrimming recently because they're about to make roster change, but if they lose here against D1. Come on, XMS! Nice! Good showers pressure! Only Sire player left. Good trade! Let's go! That's my scream! On duelist! 
Shin is the one player Kamakura keeping going into next season, right? That's the rumors. Which I think makes sense. I think if they, you know, if like Scream wanted to fit into the system with Nevera, that wouldn't be a bad thing. But if they want to split in a different direction and try and rebuild something from the ground up, Shin is still a really good player to build the rest of the team around or fit him in. Yay, Sam! Thank you for the 24 months! What color is it? Blue! What color is it? Blue! Blue! Blah, 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 blah. Allez, le, le, blah. I don't understand French. Je ne comprends pas, je ne comprends pas, je ne parle pas français, je ne parle pas français. But I like the energy. Oh, the flash. Kind of perfect to set up the player that's underneath Hooker. Hello, Zeta. Zeta's about to go crazy here. No, Zeta got killed by Nivera. Let's fucking go. My goats. My French goats. My French Alpine goats. King is about to get pinched here from behind and he doesn't even know it. Wait, no, he's not because Scream died. Sire so player picked him up. The smoke dissipated. Unlucky. Bad timing. Surely this doesn't fall to pieces. Surely this doesn't fall to pieces. Nobody is exposed from elbow. XMS is holding this. Good flash. Watch out for Sire player. Watch out for Sire player. Nevera. The Nevera. Don't just die in the molly, Nevera. XMS. I need this one from you, XMS. I need it. I need it. I need this one from you. XMS, they're on the spike. Oh, hallelujah. Oh! <laughs> the most calming core thing of all time. Was that losing a 5v3? I think it was. I think that was a 5v3 loss in the final round. Oh, no. Why so quiet, audience? Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with the French fans? Why aren't they also T1 fans? Really biased crowd, actually. It's really sad to watch. <laughs> Unlucky. I wish I'd been able to see the beginning of the game as well, but I turned up late because I'm a fool. How many people in the venue? Apparently there's like 28,000. Izu was popping off at the start. And Zeish got an ace. Oh my god. What event is this? This is a Carmen Core run event. Did you get trolled by VLR at the wrong time? No, I got trolled by the time zones. What is this poll? MVP. Sideshow's French, fish the crowd, Zai should go to Exuance Visa. <laughs> right, what are we up to now then? Merci, Kameto. Je vous laissais clôturer les gars, moi, moi je suis... Ben, moi je suis au contact carrément, là vous allez me voir, je suis au contact carrément des joueurs. Je, je sais pas si je touche les T1, si je prends un peu de leur talent ou pas, mais euh, bonjour. Hello. Well played. Good game. Ah, il a dit que c'était un match très difficile, donc je, je, je vais inventer. Non, I think he contre, said very voulais, fun, not very difficult, didn't he? La parole au niveau de la Carmine Corp, parce que c'est vrai que cette équipe Valorant, elle a eu une saison... Euh, on va dire longue, un peu compliqué. Zayd, je voulais que tu reviennes un petit peu déjà sur cette Can you translate Yeah. Bah, comment vous avez appréhendé le match une fois que vous avez uh, su que c'était Tiwan en face de... You know, Zayd, it's been a really tough season, but you popped off, you got the ace there. Tell me what it was like playing against Tiwan in front of this incredible crowd. Ace! 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 I don't know if that's what they're chanting, but it sounds like ace. That's not what he said, you're lying? No, that is exactly what he said. 
Oh no, they're chanting his name. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Give it up for T1, they popped off! T1! I'll translate for you, don't worry. This tournament is fantastic. It's great to see you all here. Uh, you know, we ran into a little bit of trouble earlier today. There was a lot of traffic. So unfortunately, we lost because our heads weren't in the right space. You know, when it comes down to spotted moments like this, you just got to give your all. And at the end of the day, we're pretty happy. Then we're going to cut Scream because he got pressed into a tiny little... Yeah, it was very... Sorry, it was a very important moment. Thank you all for being here. It's been a wonderful year. It's truly important that you continue to give Kameto money because that money comes back to me via my salaries for the competitions that we play this year. We're so, so uh, grateful for everything you've done for us for giving Kameto money. And for T1, they're kind of a shit team. We trolled. No cap. We're very impressed though with Itsu. Next time we'll get him though. Good game. Of course. So that's the, that's the translations as best as I can give them. Je vais laisser la parole au T1, ils ont un petit mot justement pour vous, je sais pas ce qu'il va vous dire, peut-être c'est en réaction à ce qui se passe ici ou peut-être c'est autre chose, mais on leur fait 100% confiance, c'est nos invités ce soir. Um, thank you for the coming here, and then... <laughs> uh, Merci pour le attendance. Nous sommes gratitude. Uh, C'est une memory de lifetime. <laughs> I'm trying to translate backwards the other way now. And I'm not sure if this is correct. Je bouge jamais tout élément. <laughs> I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> I have no idea what that meant. T1, 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 T1. A new wave of French T1 fans have been born. They're going to be the second most popular team in the league after Zayda made that very short sentence in French. He said, suck a dick. Can you imagine he just gets the mic? Zayda just gets the mic and he goes, excusez-moi, excusez-moi. Un moment, un moment. Suce la pite. I mean, that would be one way to anger the entire nation of France. Tea coffee, thank you for the prime. And party, thank you for the seven months as well. Alex Gerber, thanks for the resub. Firstly, thank you, fans of Carmenco. You are the ones that make all of this possible. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Don't know what he's saying here. Probably something like it's been a pleasure to wear the jersey and represent you. This year was terrible, unfortunately, but thanks for sticking with us. I assume, I don't really understand what he's saying, but I'm trying to put the pieces together. He's saying I deny the sideshow fraud allegations. 
Antenne Kamel, merci beaucoup et merci oh, à vous. Oh, thank you to Camito. Without merci him. À vous, les fans, ah, thank you for this opportunity to play this jersey. There you go, I was nearly there. Je m'excuse personnellement pour cette année et pour les erreurs que j'ai commises. Et en tant que capitaine, je prends la responsabilité entière de, de notre échec ici. As the captain, et, uh, I take responsibility for the good times and the bad. We didn't have many of the good times. But you'll always remember the bad. I love this bald motherfucker. XMS. I love when he buys a sheriff. Let me kiss his bald head. And pass the microphone along. I imagine it would be extremely emotional after the tough year that they've had. Seeing genuinely tens of thousands of adoring fans still turning out to support you. That must be an excellent way to end the year. Je pense que tout a déjà été dit les gars. Ça fait extrêmement plaisir d'être ici. merci énormément à vous tous du support que vous nous avez donné tout au long de l'année. Désolé de pas avoir fait mieux. Je tiens quand même à dire c'est normal et de toute façon le show va continuer. J'espère que vous allez bien profiter. What is goat in French? Je profiter avec vous et voilà. Merci énormément les gars. Chèvre. Chèvre. Boo? Would you okay? If you were gonna say XMS <laughs> is the déjà, goat, would you, <laughs> would you say XMS is le chèvre? <laughs> oh, <laughs> XMS le buc. <laughs> chèvre, <laughs> which means unironically <laughs> bad. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so if you actually <laughs> say <laughs> like <laughs> nanny goat, <laughs> it means <laughs> bad in French. On va dire sorti la tête de l'eau dans ces moments difficiles. Just say goat? No, I want to say in French. <laughs> Et euh, je voulais juste rajouter que c'est mon deuxième KCX, du coup. It's fine, euh, Kamiko used to lose when they do these events anyway. Et honnêtement, quand je vois ça, je, je sais pas, je me vois pas ailleurs, c'est... Merci à vous juste d'exister, merci à vous de Yo, pop the fuck off, Shin You played well this year, I was very impressed with Shin. He did well. I'm looking forward to watching him next year as well. I think they definitely should keep him. It's a loan word? I don't care. I want to say it in French. So, I'm a bit like the others, all that's been said. So I just want to mirror what the others have said. It's been a tough season. Something about again. I caught the word again. We just want to do it again. We just want to run it back again and have the exact same scores in every match again. I assume that's what he said there. It doesn't make too much sense. I don't know why he would want that. But from my translation, that's what I got. Imagine the whole stadium blacks out. Uh, the color changes to red and from under the stage arises New Zero with a chair in his hand and starts beating everyone. That would be an amazing WWE moment. No, definitely not, why not? That's a, it's a terrible idea. Donc ouais, merci pour tout et vraiment mon plus gros regret dans, dans la Carmine c'est de ne pas vous avoir ramené le trophée et vraiment j'ai tellement de regrets sur ça mais malgré les défaites vous avez toujours été là et franchement j'ai pas honte de dire T1 just standing there like structure. God I wish I paid more attention in French et class avec autant d'impact et vraiment merci pour tout Merci beaucoup, vous l'avez compris, hein, c'est une équipe qui a énormément de pression. C'est vrai que jouer sous les couleurs de la Carmine Corp, ça met une pression énorme. C'est pas qu'on voulait leur laisser le temps de dire un petit mot, ça servira aussi d'exemple pour la suite. Mais honnêtement, vous avez été très honorable. Do you speak French? Yeah, I'm fluent, Ness Ness. C'est pour ça qu'on a pris le temps. Merci encore à T1 d'avoir euh, tout attendu. On va vous laisser. Do you have your beau sang? No, I don't have my beau sang. I don't know what. I, I don't think I have any French food in the house actually. Je une dernière fois cette équipe Valorant qui aura quand même fait ce qu'il fallait. Du bruit s'il vous plaît pour Zeich, Shin, XMS, Nivera. That's very sweet from Nivera, Casey. Thank you for the translation. On l'oublie pas. 
Last Carmen Core match. Well, the last one with this roster. Carmen Core are not leaving Valorant. They're, I mean, if anything, they should have a better team next year. It might not be a full francophone team, but it'll it'll almost certainly be better than the Et roster this year. Compris, Maybe not on paper, on but in terms of how they perform, I, I would have to imagine. Oh yeah, live translating is very tough, Alt. Et je vous l'avais dit aussi en début de soirée si vous étiez là que vous alliez entrer dans l'intimité d'un club. J'ai pas menti. Regardez à quel point on parle à cœur ouvert ici au KCX3. On continue parce qu'il y a encore plein de choses à faire. Qu'on envoie la roulette pour le prochain jeu. Danke. Merci. Fuck. If Carmen Core fumble Enzo, it's Jova. Yeah. There are a few options really in this offseason, but most of the others have been tied up. They look like they've put a lot of work into this event. Wait! Are we about to watch Carmen Core Super Smash Bros? Holy fuck, bro! Wait, actually goated! Wait, I'm so down to watch some Super Smash Bros. I did not know we were gonna see this. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. Fuck it, let's do it. Oh my god. Wait, I love this. So, so basically, all of these fans are just here to watch the various different esports, and they don't even know what the schedule is. They just get given like game after game. That's actually sick. From Team Aplon, Nantoru. From BMS, Raplo. This announcer's great. I know nothing about Smash. I want to make that very, very clear. I have no idea. Is Stacks fantastic? Oh, you're saying, oh, that's Stacks from Rocket League. I don't watch enough Rocket League to know, them, but he's really good. Gluttony is like top 10. So who is the Carmen Court player? They said that there was going to be like a series of challenges going up against the Carmen Court player. Kurama. Okay. How good is Kurama? Yeah, Smash is usually played 1v1. I, I don't know if there even is a different competitive format. Gluttony is top 1 Europe. Kurama is top 16 world. That's a really weird metric that you've just given me. <laughs> right, so Gluttony is like... Top 10 versus top 5? Uh, top 10 versus top 20 or something? It's kind of strange that they haven't done this in French, though, the announcing, but I guess the rest was mostly in French. Maybe it's just because they're anticipating a more English audience for the Smash Bros. God, holy shit, what a walkout this would be. I love the design of this area, too. The pyro on the walkouts looks sick. The fact they're walking... I mean, the, there is very little security, however. And there's no barrier. I would be shitting my pants as a player if I was in this kind of situation. It only takes one weirdo to, like, run at you, and suddenly things are not looking great. Oh, Karama is from the US? I thought Karama was French. Right, I see. You'd be dead by now if I... Yeah, can you imagine if I set foot in here? I'd be getting mobbed. I'd be overwhelmed. There's, like, two security guards, and they'd probably be the first to turn on me. Bonjour le KCX, suite euh, à des événements. Je ne peux pas être avec vous ce soir, euh, malgré le fait que j'ai tout donné. Donc, une partie remise, quand même, il <laughs> donc, euh, donc voilà, ce soir, vous allez pouvoir... Tonight, you'll get to see the best game, game on Earth, Super Smash, Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm not even sure the Smash community ce, agrees on that. Hello, Kurama. I'm going to ask you some questions. And at each question, you need to rank the three things. What is the victory you are the most proud of? Right. Mesdames et messieurs, il y a trois joueurs exceptionnels. Il y a Zomba, qui est l'un des meilleurs joueurs. I've been screaming in Valorant 1v1. Spargo, qui est He beat me at Smash. We both decided to just stick to our own game. L'un des meilleurs joueurs japonais. Oh, these are different people that he's beaten. I mean, this set was the first time we played. He was like considered like top three in the world, like arguably. I think that was just my best win overall. 
Okay. Just this past year, I would say. And after Shutan, who is one of the bracket demon of Gluttony? It was a really good one, but it wasn't the first time I beat him. So that's why it you wasn't like... <laughs> and Zomba third, easy win. This one didn't feel as good because he, I felt like he wasn't playing that good okay. that day. But I still beat him and it was still a good one. And so. he, he's still one of the best players in the world. Who is the character you want to ban the most? All right, well, we all know the first one. We is. know, we know, we know, we know. See, I actually have not played very much Smash Bros. Yeah, Ultimate Steve at all. Yeah, broken, ban that character right now. <laughs> Kazuya is also broken, but he doesn't have what Steve has. and that's I literally don't even know these the characters. Um, Ste yeah, why is Steve the, fucked? Sora. Why is Steve Smash bad? Live, or good? Play, or or overpowered or something? Who do you prefer play with? Whoa! Always for the salary! Um, <laughs> this is very easy. My, <laughs> my, my CEO, go KC. And then you got this guy. Fun story, he, he dropped me to be on Gluto's team at Summit. And you also play Pac-Man. Whoa! So I, I, I'm the best player between the three? I'll give you that. Which logo? People are mad because Steve is good. I really like Steve this, is like top um, one in the game. Like this night thing Some odd tech makes it so on. that Steve can cancel knockback. Wait, what? Who likes orange? You can burn <laughs> like someone from attacking. This, this is pretty nice. What? Like, there's like uh, layers of the colors like around it. It's pretty simple and clean. This looks like it's trying to be a US flag, but they're from Europe, so I don't know what that is about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why it's third. <laughs> and then, finally, you are three players you are going to face. Who is the player you want to face the most between the three? Um, I'm pretty sure everyone expects. I used to play today. so much Meta Knight yeah. in Brawl. I didn't really even good know good that he was good. I, I wasn't a good Brawl player. I, I just I used to play against my friends and I would always play Meta Knight. And I was like, this character seems and really Petru, good. Petru's broken, but... You're broken too? I'm... Yeah, I'm just broken. <laughs> <laughs> when you say uh, an agent or like a character or something like that is broken, it makes sense of like it being overpowered. When you say a person is broken, it doesn't imply the same thing. Like... Saying someone's a broken person is like, I'm flawed, I, I can't, like, I, something is broken inside of me. <laughs> I'm a shattered shell of a human. Let me guess, you played Bayonetta in Smash 4? I never played Smash 4. I, I only really played Brawl. I've played a little bit of others at like other people's houses and stuff, but I never owned any of the other games. I swear you play the most cringe character in every game. Not, not deliberately. That's pretty sick. Are those just phone lights? Yeah, I think they are. That's pretty good. Riot needs to do champs in Paris? Yeah, it looks like it would pop the fuck off. French crowds are always good, though. We had French crowds in Overwatch that went crazy. But actually, France was... There was something, like, in the very beginning of Overwatch, I remember talking to one of the Overwatch devs, and they told me that France had a really high percentage of European viewers. And I might be talking about my, uh, my ass here, but it was something like the third highest viewership of of Europe, of the world at the time. But it was like way before China ever started watching and way before we had many fans in America as well. But anyway, the point being, because I can't really remember the details. At some point, the French viewers were really, really high on the Overwatch train. And then when we did an event in France, it was fantastic. The crowd was electric. We had Eagle Gaming, the greatest team in the game. The greatest team of all time, Eagle Gaming, the GOATs. The Eagles and the GOAT. So, we're having a bit of an audio issue here, but that's okay because they're speaking French anyway. French people are just historically crazy. I mean, French people are historically based as fuck. They do be guillotining all of their rich people. And, and they do, they do be fighting a lot of wars against the English. <laughs> I don't follow Valorant. Is this the team you hate? Well, we're actually about to watch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, strangely enough. But this was the team that was molding me out of control. Yeah. Africa would beg to differ, little bro. Yeah! 
all of the colonial powers were pretty terrible. To be honest with you, I don't know too much about the history of France as a colonizer. I know Belgium did some unspeakably evil things in Africa. Um, and I'm pretty sure that almost every country that was, like, trying to do, uh, you know, expansion, colonization stuff did some heinous shit. But, uh... In, oh, absolutely not just including the Brits, but one of the worst were the Brits. But yeah, that's obviously not what I'm talking about when I say historically the French are based. I was talking about their, like, workers' rights and ideas of building a republic around um, being for the common people. I'm, I'm obviously not talking about the colonization. Okay. What do I need to know to appreciate Smash Ultimate? I've watched quite a lot of Smash, but I don't really know too much about the games. Do I need to know anything? Fox is the best character. That that seems like a lie because the they were talking about Steve being the best character. All right, here's what's going to happen. When when we see the first matchup, I need you to tell me the history of one of the players. I already know about Karuma. Is that his name? The Carmen Core player? Um and I I need to know about the other player and then I need to know a little bit about the characters that they're playing. Gluttony plays Wario, a character that can insta-kill you with a fart. <laughs> Wait, really? So he's actually going to try and shit on the Carmen Core player live in front of 28,000 people. You know, when I was born, I had a head that was way too large for my body. The doctors were starting to be worried about me because I had a head in the 98th percentile in terms of size. And I think if I showed my mother the Carmen Core mascot, she would have flashbacks. You still have that? Okay, that's just, I mean, that's just, that's just rude, but okay. Grenji, thanks for the 19 months. He will hit Wario once and just insta-kill him sometimes. Glutiny plays Wario who sucks but charges a farting move that kills a zero and can easily be confirmed into... Okay, what does easily be confirmed into mean? What does that mean? Yerpy, thank you for the 19 months. So you've always had an unnaturally large head? Yes, true. Oh, combo. Gluto is historically one of, if not the best French players throughout multiple games. Oh, they play multiple of the different... Wait, is... Oh, is Gluttony French? Wait, so Gluttony is... A better player than Kurama, and he's French, but he isn't on Carmen Core. All three of the people that they've brought in are French to play against their non-French US Carmen Core player. He's on Solari, a rival. Oh, Solari have him in contract jail. Wow. What's the background with Solari? Are they a are they a content creator org as well, or are they more of like a long term org? Gluttony's the best European player for the last ten years. Wow. Yeah, this is live. It's being streamed on Kameto's uh, Twitch channel, but they also gave me a clean feed to co-stream it. Is there a list of games for this event? Uh, if there is, I don't know where to get it. But, um, I know that they're playing Game Changers sometime after this. Carmen Core Valorant Game Changers team is playing against uh, Loud's Game Changers team. There are three French players. Netoru, who plays Pichu, the Pokemon, is top five in France. Then you have Raflo, who plays Palutina. I don't know who Palutina is. Who's considered the top two or three in France. And finally, you have the Solari, the goat of Europe, top ten of the world, who's currently in really great form, and who plays Wario. Wait, I think you mean Gluttony, right? Who plays for Solari? But yeah, I've got you, I've got you. Which team do you think Scream will join now? I have no idea. I, I, I really, I really don't know. 
I think Scream's put himself in a weird position after this year where people would be a little worried about how he's going to fit into their system. All right. Who do you... Uh, all right. I would like to see what the Mario is capable of. Oh, big, big. Oh, oh, he's got him on the ropes. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, so what did you say was the background of this player? He's like top two, three in France. Oh, 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 wait a second. What's going on there? I literally don't know enough about the game to even know what moves they're using, by the way. Like, is that is that considered the like up air attack or something? The up smash? Don't even know. That is how little I know about Smash. I, when I play this game, I just press buttons. Oh, that's the up air, right. Hello, hello. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, beautiful. Get the coins, collect it. No, I don't smash. I am smashless. Go on, give him the headbutt. Give him the old Glasgow kiss. Good edge guarding. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he fucked it up. Or maybe the other person had a really nice bait play. I don't even know. Get him out of there. Go on. Ooh. Go on. Get him out. That's how we treat people when they step on the wrong side of the football pitch in the UK as well. I can empathize. So just to be clear, just to, oh, that, that were, okay, I think I missed an insane combo that just allowed Kurama to destroy Raflo while he was on really low health. But I didn't even appreciate it because I was thinking about something else. Oh, 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 cheeky little neutral game. He's fucking him up. Oh, the combos. Oh, cheeky. Little bit of extra damage with the little fireball. Which reminds me, I'm going to play some Baldur's Gate later on. I don't know why watching Mario is reminding me of Baldur's Gate. Beautiful, beautiful prediction. Going for the headbutt, missed. Hello, things are getting deadly here. Destroyed. Destroyed. In the ultimate, you can just steal the ledge so Egg Garden's a bit different. Yeah, I guess you have to, like, get on the ledge, drop off, hit them with an attack as they're going for the ledge, right? Are we rooting for Common Core today? Of course we are. You think we're going against the 28,000 people in the crowd? That ain't happening. When you prevent them from getting back on, it's called edging. I don't think that's what that is. I don't think that's what that is. Thank you for the 100 bit stage show. Why did you make Spiffy the Twiddler look like Dominic Skinner? I don't know who Dominic Skinner is, but it was supposed to look like me. What is this tournament? It's just a series of show matches of Carmen Core players. But they asked me if I wanted to co-stream it, and they said that Carmen Core was playing against T1, and the Game Changers team was playing against Loud, and I thought, fuck yeah, I'd like to do that. Sideshow whoring to biggest crowd again. Nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. So what is this, a BO5? So just to be clear here... Wait, wait, the combo's already beginning. Wait, the combo's actually already beginning. Mario giving him the entire... The entire collection. Oh, nice try. Wait, that that up air does seem to be the most powerful move, or at least the thing that's doing the most work. One of the things I can never get right when I play is that I never jump and attack at the same time to do those, like, low jumping attacks. 
I always attack over the top of the opponent's head when I'm, like, jumping, trying to do neutral airs or whatever it's called. Side air? I don't know if that's a, an, even a thing. Yeah, is that what it's called? A short hop? Someone told me about that, and they were rolling me with it, and I just couldn't get it in my head to do that. Oh! <laughs> Give him a little headbutt. Give him, a, give him an upwards headbutt. Give him a little up smash. I want to see the headbutt. Oh, that seems a bit rough. Oh, well played, well played. All right, maybe a bit more of an even game here. Maybe a bit more of an even game. Trying to go in for the grab immediately. Seeing if they can finish off. Aggressive from Karama. Aggressive. Oh, a little bit of, little bit of a punish attempt here. A little bit of a punish. I don't even know who hit who there, if I'm being honest with you. Oh! I desperately want to see the up smash finish off, but it looks like Karama's actually getting outplayed here. What does the cape do, chat? What does the cape do? I keep seeing Mario pull out a yellow cape. It turns them around and reflects projectiles. Huh. What an interesting idea for a move, turning the opponent's character model around. If I play Smash, I, I generally play characters that have counters and just try to annoy my opponent by countering them. I'm not very good. I'm slightly better than Bren when we've played in the past, but a lot worse than anyone who's ever actually played the game. Oh, oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. There's no way you're letting him do this to you. Raflo, you can't let him get away with this. For the pride of France. Why is there a baby crying in the background? 100% a Roy player? I play Ike quite a lot. Easy stuff. Oh, 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 getting outplayed. This is this is what Super refers to as fucking someone up in the neutral. Working them in the neutral. I have deep appreciation for someone headbutting someone out of the stage. Uh, so just to be clear here, this is an American from California playing an Italian character representing a French organization playing against a French player who represents a French organization. And the French crowd likes the American Californian with the Italian character more. Just to be clear. It's not like there's any French characters. Uh, oh my god, wait. Karama absolutely owning. G oh, give him, oh, 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 give him a rest. Have some mercy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, close, close. So how do you tell, outside of just playing the game a lot, whether someone is dodging a combo or someone's failed to execute it properly? Like, I assume there's just certain combos in the game that if your execution is perfect, there isn't really a way to get out of it. But do you just have to, do you just have to know those from watching or playing the game enough? 
Nothing other than game sense or analyzing frames like a loser. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to do either of those. Uh, Rafflo seems to be getting a lot of value out of these, like, in the air, up, like, ba 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 I mean, oh, Kurama is getting messed up here. Kurama is getting messed up. Okay, could this be the first one? Could this be the first one? Oh, oh, oh! The combo, superb, beautiful. A delicacy. The grab? The coins? Do you get bonus points for how much money you collect while playing as Mario? It just gets added to Kurama's salary at the end. Kamito's begging him not to use that move. Please stop, I don't have that many euros. Oh. Things seem a little dangerous whenever the Mario is higher up than their opponent. Oh! Recovery? Possible? Surely Kurama can't win this, though. He'd have to, like, 100 to 0 in. Oh, wait. That's actually... That looked a bit sick there for a second. Go on, Kurama. Go on, Kurama. Oh. An attempt at a prediction there, by the look of it. Oh, oh, close. Now the pressure's on Karama. Oh my god. How does Rafa keep getting hit by that? I don't understand because I don't know the moves. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing from him. Ultimate does seem like a pretty good game. All right, so now you're 150%. How the fuck are you winning this one? How are you possibly winning this one? Oh, I thought that might have been GG there. Clearly don't know enough about the game. 171 to 20. Oh, unlucky. All right, 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Two, one. I don't know if you saw that, but Kamiko has a 4 to 6 million budget, doesn't lose money, and merchandising is 40% of the revenue. Wait, where have you got that from? Do you like Smash Bros? I really enjoy playing it. I watch it occasionally. I don't know enough about the game to like truly appreciate it as a competitive, uh, competitive uh, sport. But if I was going to learn a fighting game, it would be Smash because it's the only one that I've really played before. Source, I made it up. Mm. French media, there's been a lot of press about Comic Con recently, running up to KCX. If you have a source for that, like if you have the actual article, I'd love to uh, have it uh, have a read through. If you wouldn't mind finding it for a link. I assume it was in French. Having merch as 40% of your revenue, if your revenue was, like, I mean, if they're profitable, let's say their revenue's, you know, 9 mil or something, maybe it would be higher than that. Like, having merch sales of 4 mil a year is, seems pretty high, but, I mean, they also have 30,000 people that have turned up to this event, so, seems like they have a vice-like grip on the French fan base. Or maybe there's just a ton more French fans than there are in other places. Change the title. I'll let my mods deal with that. Uh, they'll be bringing Valorant back later, so we'll, we'll figure out whatever that is. You should play Slippy Melee Online Ranked on your Korean GameCube. 
Mm. Mm. I don't think I would be very good. I'm not very good at games. And I feel like this is the kind of game that you really need other people that are as good as you in order to enjoy it. Ludwig would teach you it's okay. Hmm. I don't think he would. I think he's got better things to do with his time than fraternize with a, you know, a 1K Andy on Twitch. Seka7, thank you for the 35 months. Like Naruto, you benefit enormously from being on 1.5x speed. That's the, that's the worst thing anyone's ever said to me, Seka7. Go on, son! All right, how much damage can you get off here? Couple good combos. Couple good combos, Karama. Zekken plays melee? I think Zekken would probably be a lot better than me at melee. Me, who has never played melee before, or maybe like two or three times ever, don't think I would be very good. I think I'd probably be better at ultimate than I would be at melee. Just because the game's, from what I understand, a little simpler. Maybe that's offensive to melee, uh, to ultimate players. Wait, the edge guarding is crazy. Ooh. Ooh, wait a second. Wait, that's crazy. Wait! Rafflo just went nuts! Wait! That looked nasty. Wait a second, Karama's getting bossed here. Is this the reverse sweep? Nice prediction. Go on, Karama! Go on! All right, 61%. Oh, that's not a great start. Oh, what a prediction. Oh, that's sick. I'm probably getting excited about all the, like, easiest things that they're doing. But I just, a reminder, I don't play this game. Oh, the combo. Oh, the combo. Oh, my God! What a way to end it! Karama just gave him the entire cock. The entire French Gallic rooster. Oh my god. Check Discord. Oh, here's the link. Ah. Thank you. Je suis au cœur de l'ambiance, Kamel. C'est en train de scander le nom de Kurama, mais le, le job n'est pas fini. Il a certes mis pour l'instant une première pièce de son côté, une victoire sur euh, les trois matchs. Thank you. I'll take a read of that later on. Deux pour amener un point à la Carmine. I'm not going to read it now, but I'll read it later. Pour le reste du monde. Mais justement, avant ça, je voulais aussi mettre en avant euh, le public qui est le cœur justement de cette Carmine Corp. On va aller voir quelques têtes justement. Vous allez voir tous les visages et les sourires surtout sur ces visages. Tiens, je, How je long until the Valorant match, match I have no idea. No idea. Toi, t'es carrément devenu fou sur Kurama là. Hein? T'es devenu fou là sur la victoire de Kurama. Hein? C'est un truc de fou. Déjà l'ambiance et les matchs, ils nous donnent que du plaisir. C'est la Carmine. On aime, on vous aime. On est tous ensemble. On sera toujours là. On sera toujours là. La Carmine, on sera toujours là. Kamel, on aime. J'adore l'ambiance. Dernière personne, ce qu'on veut aussi. Doing a bit of crowd work there. Avec déjà les structures, on le met en avant, mais il y a. I love it. The ambiance. On peut faire du bruit, s'il vous plaît. L'ambiance. Les femmes qui de plus en plus s'investissent dans l'e-sport. Elles ont leur place. Justement, il y en a une là. Tu t'appelles comment ça? Yeah, the Valorant match is finished, but there's a game changer's Valorant match that's coming up later as well. Est-ce que tu te sens bien avec la Carmine? Déjà, l'ambiance, c'est une dinguerie. Je suis choqué. J'ai jamais vu ça. Et allez, Carmine! Allez, Carmine! Allez! Allez, les bleus! I saw a Swiss flag in the crowd there. Don't know what he's talking about there. French from France is so much better than this fucking shit we have in Quebec. <laughs> My sister actually does speak 
pretty much fluent French. She lived a couple of years in France and uh, France and studied there. And she said that when she hung out with French Canadians, she could barely understand them. Like the difference was so large in terms of both pronunciation and dialect that she could barely understand some of her friends that were from uh, the French parts of Canada. Swiss flag in the crowd, kind of Swiss. Terrible joke, terrible joke. Will with one L, thanks for the 36 months. It is incredible, isn't it, how large of an eSport Smash is when Nintendo don't want it to be an eSport. Nintendo are actively like, we don't want our games to be eSports because we want them to be marketed as family-friendly. We don't want people thinking about our games as competitive because we want people to enjoy them, like, from vastly different age ranges, skill groups, all of that kind of stuff. And so they're trying to shut down the eSports space I guess they've loosened up on it more recently in like the last couple of years, but historically that has been their approach. And yet the community's just like, no, fuck you. We like this. <laughs> if Nintendo supported them, they would be massively successful and popular esports, but also it would change the community perception of the games in a way that the game developer doesn't want, presumably. Especially within... Like, countries like, for example, Japan, where that kind of stuff would just go crazy. The entire perception of the games would change, I think, from being family party games to being competitively focused, I think. Th that is surely their fear. Nintendo fucked over one of the biggest broadcasters of Smash, like, last year. Was that the thing with, like, Panda TV and the circuit that was running? They had, like, two circuits, and one of them, the guy just, like was backstabbing people and talking to Nintendo and fucking up the entire thing. That was mental. I was watching videos about that, keeping track of it, because it's like esports related, right? It's like an entire esports circuit for, uh, uh, you know, a grassroots circuit. But I was just keeping track of that vaguely, and it sounded bonkers, like horrendous. The three cornerstones of grassroots Smash tournaments exploded last year. Panda Bee on the Summit and VG Boot Camp. VG Boot Camp, yeah. Partly because of Nintendo. What's the recap? The guy that was like the CEO of Panda TV, I think was telling other people that if they... It was something like if you played in a VG Boot Camp tournament, you wouldn't be allowed to participate or like you wouldn't get a license again. Something like that. Like they were trying to leverage their association with some people behind the scenes at Nintendo to like fuck over other people if they didn't participate in their tournament circuit instead of the others. It was... it was dodgy. How are you gonna beat Pichu? He's so fast. Pika! Oh, by the way, the Pokemon um, Infinite Fusion is returning on uh, Sunday night. So what day is it today? Today's Friday? Or is today Saturday? Is it coming back tomorrow? I can't even remember. What day is it today? Today is Saturday? So it's back tomorrow. So in about 27 hours? 28 hours. 28 hours, Pokemon returns. You've been drinking? No, I just don't know what day it is. Let's go. What a comeback from Karama in that stock. Wait, how did that happen? How? I know he hit him with the water, but how did he not have any movement left? He cancelled the jump. Oh my god. Oh, the combo. Oh, oh, I see. So the cape can be used as an edge guarding mechanic because it turns the character model around. As they're going towards the stage, it would turn them around to be going the opposite direction. That's what he's trying to do when he flashes to go. <laughs> Surely there's no chance, though. Surely Kurama just wins this. He's got two stocks. He says 0%. 
I mean, that's pretty sick. Surely not again, though. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait! He can recover that?! How is Pichu able to recover that? But he fell down in freefall in the, like... The stock before this. Go on, go on! Oh! Oh, wait, he's actually not off the stage. Wow, there's so much mobility there, stalling yourself out with the, uh, okay, he got him. He got him, he got him. Do you play Smash? No. I have ever played Smash, but only very, very casually with my friends. After you use your up special, the little zip thing, you can't move until you take damage and the water thing doesn't deal damage. Oh, I see. Pichu is like a glass cannon, but instead of that, it's a styrofoam nuke. <laughs> Reduce the level cap of your Pokemon. You guys are playing easy because you increased the randomness the point Bread made was wrong, since you have better Pokemon than the gym leader in the same level. No, I would like to complete the game. We're trolling so much. In the future, we can do the same run again, but harder. At the moment... I'm just going to keep it how it is. There's still a decent chance that we fail this run even with the current difficulty settings because I'm so stupid. Hello? Oh, that's pretty big. I guess the cape there is an anticipation of the up special. Oh my god. Oh, and then Karama's charging his water attack, I think, as the Pichu respawns. How many characters do the top pros normally know at a, like, really very good level? I know that most people normally have one that they specialize in, but do people normally have, like, another one or two that they're good at? Or is that not really a thing? Just one or two total? Three max? But presumably there are certain matchups that are better, right? Like, I don't know whether this makes sense specifically, but maybe Mario doesn't match up particularly well against Pichu, but it goes really well against Wario or something. And so you would want to put in a different character against the Pichu. You know, obviously the exact example is going to be wrong because I don't know the game, but is that, like, idea generally true? But almost bad matchups are still winnable? Right, right. What would be the worst matchup that you could have then? Would the worst matchup just be something where you're playing a bad character anyway? Anyone against Steve. Sonic against a slow character. Listen to Mr. R Smash. Okay, but I can't see that message. Oh, there we go. Mario beats Pichu. There's all sorts of counterfeits. Right, right. This Mario is also beating Pichu. New Donna, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh! <laughs> so what, he went for a grab forwards and he went for an up smash. How does the Mario, how does the Mario up smash headbutt hit people behind him? Can you imagine actually headbutting someone like that? Listen, have you seen the, have you seen how my head is shaped? Okay. Have you seen this enormous, like, peak at the back? I think I could hit people behind me. I think if I tried to headbutt somebody, it would hit someone behind me. Look at that. You get caught by that bit. But Mario doesn't necessarily seem to have a head like that. Obviously, to thrust the head forward, you have to thrust the head... You have to thrust the butt back so you have coverage all over. 
Oh, so the headbutt technique is like, like you stood like this, and you need to throw ass back first. So he's like this, and then he goes. Whoop, whoop. I didn't realize there was so much butt technique involved. He must have a very flexible spine, Mario. All right, we've got a different stage going on here, then. So it looks like the thunder, like where you call down the thunder from above, is mostly used just for kind of stalling momentum and resetting. When you're in the air. Oh, hello. Ouch. Been a fan since the early Overwatch days? Oh, really? That's sick. Yeah, I... I really enjoy... Uh, watching Smash. I just don't know enough about the game to, like, properly appreciate it, I think. And that's what I feel about all fighting games. I know that I would love them if I just learned more about them. But... They really feel like games where you have to understand... You know, like... You, you need an appreciation, because when you watch a sick moment, you have to know that it's sick. So you have to know about, like, you know, whether a combo was executed or blocked, or, like, whether it was a sick read based on how somebody normally plays, or how you would expect the character to move or something. Okay, so there, he goes for, like, the Pichu goes for some movement in. The water doesn't do any damage, so it doesn't reset the movement. So presumably that makes it slightly easier for the Mario to be able to hit follow-up attacks. But yeah, if I was gonna if I was gonna learn some kind of fighting game, and learn not to like play at a top level or anything, but like just learn it to appreciate watching it, it would be Smash. <laughs> New Donna, thank you for the gifted sub to uh, to uh, R Smash. Fighting games are hard to learn, get into or learn, especially for commentators. Yeah, I can imagine. Bren was um, playing a lot of Guilty Gear. A while back. I'm not sure whether he still is. But he bought like a... What do you call it? They're like square things with a joystick. It's like a joystick and a bunch of buttons. And you're like... Bram! And then you play the game like that. A hitbox. Right. A hitbox. <laughs> you can tell that I am not big in the fighting game scene. With the terminology that I use. Jonesim, thank you for the 41 months. Hello, hello, wait a second. Karama's, Karama's letting him have one. Oh, nice. Nice little prediction. Hello, hello. Hitbox is a specific brand of arcade stick at that. I think it was that, though. I think you were right. Are you going to stick around for League or Rocket League? Are they playing League? I don't know anything about League. You, you know what's funny? I actually did some like, like a casting, uh, like coaching session recently for somebody that was doing a MOBA game. At least I think you would class it as a MOBA game. How? Don't ask. It took quite a lot of work on my part. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to properly co-stream League of Legends, but I have watched uh, League Worlds before and watched it as a drinking game or watched it do placing side bets on who was going to get the first kill or die first. And to be honest with you, I still didn't understand or particularly enjoy it. League just isn't my thing. How does a league drinking game work? 
Well, for example, you would drink every time a tower goes down. Drink every time... Uh, well, uh, come up with whatever rules you like, basically. Drink every team fight. Drink every time someone dies in lane. Pick a lane, like, play with three friends. Or play with two friends, pick a lane. Drink every time someone dies in lane from your team. I don't know. <laughs> Drink every time a minion dies. Drink every time a creep dies. Do they call them creeps in Dota and minions in League? Kurama, I'm gonna need you to finish off this Pichu quickly here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Netoro do be cooking here. Uh-oh. Kurama, you're getting roasted in front of 30,000 fans. Okay, okay. You need some damage here. That's not a good start. Oh, the prediction. Again. Oh, and again. The French players have been playing pretty well today. I assume 35 damage here, 35% is not really a huge amount, although, although, oh nice pred again, and the combo, little follow up, Pichu, 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 he's peeing on them, I've just realized that Pichu is just two verbs attached together, oh! Wait a second. Will with one L. Thank you for the gifted sub to Devoin. Did you watch the DRXT1 Grand Final during Worlds? No, I didn't. This should be a really high level game. It's like two top 30 players in the world, if you wanted to know. Yeah, the chat was telling me earlier. Well, also, apparently, the third player is Gluttony, who's. Um, I think the others. Wait, let me get this right. So the two players that Karama's played against, Karama is ranked higher than so far. And Gluttony is ranked higher than Kurama. Is that correct? Or have I got that the wrong way around? Gluttony's really close to Kurama? Yeah, I did get that right, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Gluttony's like top 10 right now. Right. Swag Daddy, thank you for the two months. Gluttony just won a major tournament. The hope of France. The pride of Paris. Yeah, there is an official friend stream. It's uh, Camitos, Bertie Blacks. At least, I think. Uh, oui, le stream officiel. A uh, Kameto <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Kameto <laughs> I'm trying to communicate in French with a guy that seems lost First time chat in my stream <laughs> Do you plan on playing any Liza P? Yeah Especially if the reviews are good. If the reviews are terrible, maybe I won't, but... Whoa, okay, okay, Kurama. Kurama. Nice! What a great way to respond immediately. Okay, things are even. Heating up. Final... What? What? Wait a second. There's some crazy shit. The Beth just jumped into my room, screaming and jumping up.
Okay, okay, okay. What's going on here? Oh, this could be it. Karama on the... Karama's got Nato oh, on the ropes! Okay. 133, 139. It only needs one more. Give him a headbutt. Give him a headbutt. I want to see the headbutt. Oh! Kapoor! No, it's not. <laughs> no. Beth. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna. Beth. No chat. I'll tell you the reason why Beth came running into the room. It was not a pregnancy. It was because she is such a Red Bull hater. Spoiler alert. Mute the stream if you don't want any spoilers about the qualifiers that are currently going on. Mute the stream. Three two, one. She's such a fucking Red Bull hater that she just watched Max Verstappen and Checo get eliminated in Q2, and she came in, jumping up and down. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. She's qualifying. She's not a Red Bull hater. She's a Helmut Marco. Is that how you pronounce his name? Hater? Because he's a racist prick. And she doesn't really like Max, but she does like Checo, and she does like Danny Rick if they bring him back on the team. So, oh, well, also, what about Thingy? You don't like um, the team principal, yeah. What's his name again? Christian, Christian Horner, yeah. Beth doesn't like Christian Horner because he married Beth's childhood crush. <laughs> and that's no word of a lie. That is no word of a lie. Christian Horner ma married Ginger Spice. And Beth has hated him. Doesn't matter. He could be the... He isn't, but he could be the nicest person on earth. And Beth would still hate his guts. <laughs> uh, yeah, Max Verstappen and his family are definitely her. Huh. I mean, Helmut Marko is worse, but... Yeah, Helmut Marko is terrible. But yeah, there you go. So that's, that's what that was. <laughs> and now she's just dancing in my office. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. Love you. All right. Let's have a look then. So this is this is the Carmen Core player versus the best French player who just won a tournament. Surely they're going to be cheering for Gluttony as well as Kurama. All right. I want to watch Gluttony fart on him. So is Wario generally considered to not be a top-tier character in this? Also, if any of you have good Smash knowledge, I know that uh, uh, Mr. R Smash will as well. Um, what's the matchup favor here? Does it favor Mario? Oh, no. Wario is good, but he's not the best. He's borderline top-tier. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh! Ooh! Good start for Kurama. This matchup is even or Mario favored. Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. Why am I watching Smash? Because we were watching Carmen Core versus T1 Valorant, and then Smash came on, and I was like, fuck it. I like Smash. Why not? I'm not going to turn it off when Smash comes on. Ooh, the combo! Yo, he's about a three-star gluttony. No, he's not. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding.
A little bit of neutral prodding. Hello, flanking Frida. Thank you for the five months. Oh, the combo. The combo. He got on a bike. Isn't that kind of overpowered that Mario doesn't get a bike and Wario does? Oh. Moving the bike out of the way. That's a lot of damage. Surely Gluttony's cooked here. It's so thematic that a character, a person called Gluttony is playing Wario as well. He's thrown his bike at him. Go on, go on, give him the business. Nice dodge. Oh. He farted on him, but he missed. He's out. Oh, no, he's not out of there. He's out of there. Let's go, Kurama. Let's go. Okay, so he missed the fart. I want to see the fart. It, if it helps you with the strategy, Gluto normally holds onto his fart until the last stock. Ah, so that's why he farted there, but he missed. Gluttony is spelt wrong. You got to pronounce it in that way too. So what? Gluttony like that? Gluttony. Yeah, he tried to shit on him, but he failed. I heard the fart is a very powerful kill move. Apparently, it can kill from 0%. So how does the Wario build up the fart? Is it based on damage done or something? Is there a certain other move that builds up the fart power? Oh, it just builds up over time, right. Is there a visual indicator when the fart's ready to go? You know, does his, like, belly look bloated or something? Or a stench aura appears? Pulls out a kin tin of beans. Oh, 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 wait a second. Gluttony's turned up. Gluttony's turned it on. He allowed Karama to get the first stock. Or the first set or whatever it's called. First game. Just kidding. God, Gluttony is owning him in the neutral. Oh. Hello. Wow. I don't even understand really what happened there. It looked like Karama bounced off the stage. Nice. Back air. I think that was a back air anyway. Snipes, thank you for the 31 months. Is Mario in a suit different to normal Mario? Yes, he's in a suit. Little combo. Big combo. That's a pretty massive dub for Karama. Slapped him. He open hand slapped him. Nice back air. This guy's already a pro smash commentator. <laughs> oh, he ran him over! That's vehicular manslaughter! Fart on him! Shit on him! I want to see the poo. I want to see the poo. Give me the poo, gluttony! Give- Eat him! Shit on him! Give me the poo! Please. God, Karama must be worried right now. Look at him wiggling his fat ass around. Come on, Gluttony. Come on, Gluttony! Alright, this is fine. Final stock. This is where Gluttony farts on him. Come on. Show me the fart. Show me the fart. Show me the fart. Look at him. He's waddling. He's got such bad indigestion. Show me the fart. Put the poo on him. 
I want to see it. Why else am I watching Wario if not for this one move? I like it. I like it. I'm a gluttony fan. How many French people are at this event? I don't know, but I know how many people are at this event. It's like 28,000. Probably not all of them are French, especially considering there was a Swiss flag there and it's pretty easy to travel around Europe and there's a lot of Francophone people outside of France. Is France real? I don't know. I've been there before, but I might have been dreaming. What are they chanting? I, I, I'm not exactly sure. It sounded like the final word was more, like dead. So I don't know whether it's like, you are dead, you are dead, or something like that. Like the Brazilian uh, crowd chants. Or, I mean, they chant, you're going to die, but I don't, I, I'm not really sure. Oh, they were chanting Kuroma. Oh, so it was Ma, the final syllable that I thought was more. Gotcha, gotcha. I was looking at the chat, not expecting one of the stocks to already be gone. Gluttony's getting... Given a bit of the business here. Okay, immediately responds. Pretty good. So, does it mean, if it's an even matchup between these two, but there's going to be a fart later on in the final stock, does that mean that you're kind of expecting the Mario to be generally having advantages in the first couple of stocks? And then the fart ends up making up for it later on? Or am I thinking about it incorrectly? A little? Right, but not a large amount. It's not similar to like late game, early game kind of ideas in MOBAs where one of them is going to have large advantages at the beginning and the end. It's only small. Right, right, right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Scared from Karama? Scared? Timid? Where's the confidence? I need to see it. That's what I'm looking for. So presumably Gluttony is just going to try and get in as much damage as he can here, wait for the final stock and then fart on him. Although if it's a high damage move, I suppose it just comes down to when he has the best opportunity to. <laughs> He's going to eat him and just got a bunch of water in his mouth. What? Oh. And the prediction? Catches the bike. Whoa! What a fart. Watch out for an up tilt or a landing up air for the fart. I mean, the fart and the poo are important when you're watching Wario. All I'm, okay, this co-stream is just me learning about Smash Ultimate through my chat. Okay, you guys over there, right? If you guys are talking about fart being important in terms of the tactical matchup, I'm going to start talking about it, all right? If you start talking about, you know, um something more standard if you start talking about some certain combo move i'm gonna start talking about that as well you control me like a puppet right now you have like hand up my ass controlling everything i say
Perfect stock. Ouch. Isn't that what he did? I mean, almost in the previous one as well. He just got the first stock almost immediately. Although I think that time Karama had gotten a little, at least a little bit of damage off. Oh. 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 Gluttony's roasting him. Ay, ay, ay. Zutalo. Sacre bleu. I'm trying to think of other French, like, emphasis phrases I know. Nom, 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 nom. Here comes the fart. Oh no, he doesn't have it yet, right? It's not... Th there's some kind of aura around the warrior. Oh no, he has it! There it is. Oh, it didn't kill! The fart didn't kill? When the Mario was at like 100%? Oh, that was a weak fart. Ah! Oh! Oh, the down smash! I love it! But you're dead. But also, you, you are not winning this. You just got you just got open palm slapped out of the arena. Good game. Good game. Gluttony too good. A very valiant showing though from Karama. He beat the people he had to beat. He lost to the goat, the French goat. La French book. It is Jova, yeah. Le bouffre Francais. <laughs> That's what we call him. So DDT, thank you for the 13 months. Are they booing him because he took off his uh, rival jersey and he's showing it to the crowd? <laughs> that's really, that's really good. Goat in French isn't positive. Yeah, I don't care. I'm saying it anyway. <laughs> It's a football taunt. Ah, uh, right. Imagine if Gluttony takes off his jersey and is wearing Carmichael underneath and announces he's swapping teams. People in this arena would start eating their chairs. They would start just causing massive uproars and borrowing into the ground. They wouldn't be able to be stopped. The fever pitch that this stadium would erupt into would go nuts. Everyone would fart out of respect. What's the next game? What's the next game, Kamedo? Kurama, since you're singing with Kako, how has it been going? It's been going great. Um, every single tournament I go to, even though we're countries apart, I always feel the love from you guys. So I just want to say thank you for that. Your support means the world. I love you guys so much. Il est monstrueux, hein? Il vient de jouer trois personnes avec trois styles de jeu différents. C'est monstrueux ce qu'il vient de faire. How did you prepare to face these three players with three different play styles? Oh man, all, all three of these players, such talented and really good players. I'm glad I had the honor to play all of them. Um, I had to study a lot and prepare myself because these players are no, no pushover. I had to try my best all the time. And once again, shout out to these three guys, Rafalo, Nietorio, and Glutini. Thank you guys so much for coming out and playing. Il y a du respect. A word for the audience and the atmosphere. What? The, uh, oh, one man. word for the audience, for community, the for Kamin Cup fan. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> mm. Like I said, you guys are amazing. It's always been a dream of huh. mine to do great. something yeah. like this. And I'm really glad that KCX was the first event. C'est le feu! Thank you, Kurama. Well played, GG. Bravo, grâce à lui, je vous l'ai dit, la Carmine Corp revient à un partout dans cette soirée. Kakorp contre le monde. On peut encore une fois applaudir effectivement les trois adversaires. Raflo, Naetoru et Glutoni. Le temps passe vite. Tout s'enchaîne. So, Carmine Corp playing against Heretics in League. Is that what's up next? League? 
de euh, justement joueur professionnel à en devenir. Et Joe, vous allez voir, the T1 CEO and Kamato, Kamako CEO, and not to speak to each other, interact on Twitter, etc. Oh. That's surprising. Si Je vous laisse découvrir en image et on revient I wouldn't have thought that they are in any way hanging out in similar circles. Où chaque pas est une énigme, une lueur d'espoir surgit. Une opportunité mystérieuse s'offre à vous. Une <rire> porte vers un this? royaume caché où les règles sont écrites par l'audace et le talent. La Carmine Corp vous convie à une danse céleste, une symphonie d'étoiles naissantes What qui illuminera l'horizon. Levez-vous, jeune rêveur. Les étoiles attendent votre ascension. La scène est prête. Mais qui êtes-vous dans cette constellation les brumes se dissipent, révélant The voice actor is very famous in France, by the way. The great voice actor by the sound of it. Le voile de This is like Les a cutscene from Baldur's Gate. Une aventure sans précédent vous attend. Êtes-vous prêt à écrire votre propre légende Le compte à rebours commence. Le destin vous appelle. La compétition que personne n'attendait est sur le point de commencer. Préparez-vous. I don't know what this logo means. Common blue stars? Vous invite à what, what is this? La question de Serez-vous une étoile filante? Oh, is this like their special fan club or something? The Comico shooting stars or something? Blue stars? Et oui, mesdames et messieurs, on est de retour avec l'un des CEO de la Carbine Corp! Bro said special fan club? Well, I, I don't know, like, you know, like elite level, you have to pay a lot fan club? I don't know, is it an academy team or something? I don't know what it is. Pierre along to Gary. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. Interesting. You are so out of touch, old man. A bunch of esports orgs have their general fans, and then they have a specific small paid fan club where you pay more money for extra content, behind the scenes access, VIP tickets, etc. etc. Why wouldn't it be something like that? It could be. Le but c'est de trouver les cracks de demain. Typiquement sur LOL, si vous avez plus de 17 ans, vous ne pouvez pas participer à ces tournois. Là, on vient chercher les petits cracks qui sortent de l'œuf. On vient chercher les stars de demain. Ouh, ils sont peut-être dans la salle. Ils sont peut-être sur le stream. On vous parle à vous. Oh, it's a scouting tournament Et concept. Après, right. I see, I see. Qu'on va vous dévoiler plus tard dans l'année. That's sick. Là, c'est un That's awesome. qui arrive en 2024 qui nous tient beaucoup à cœur. Et euh, typiquement, ce genre de tournoi, vous pouvez participer que tout seul, pas en équipe. C'est un peu des choses qui vont changer. C'est vraiment This une manière de faire des choses. C'est comme WWE pour les La détection. <laughs> ouais. Et les... le futur d'Akaka sera Except, si c'était la WWE, ils auraient fait que Carmen Core gagne plus de choses. C'est très clair, j'imagine qu'on aura plus de précisions au fur et à mesure sur les streams de Kameto. Can you translate some more Yeah, Kameko. don't worry, don't worry, ouais, I've got you. Je peux dire, c'est que les gens. Let me pick up the next one, though. Type de tournoi va I missed the beginning of this Valorant, conversation. Rocket League et League of Legends, bien évidemment. Mais on ne se ferme pas la voie. Merci beaucoup, Côté. Merci énormément pour toutes ces précisions. Has Comico won anything? Yeah, I mean, the Smash player beat two out of three, three of those uh, other players. Et de laisser un peu la place aux, aux jeunes, ouais. en tout cas de les préparer au mieux. C'est ça. Merci à toi, euh, Côté. Je peux faire un petit kiff Vas-y, vas-y. Comme on dans un KCX. Ultra Quel est votre métier Oh on l'a refait Ultra Quel est votre métier Merci I feel like I'm about to be hunted down. That felt like they were mobilizing a mob to invade Britain. <laughs> that actually, that put the fear of God in me. That was like I was back in Agincourt, about to get run down if we don't launch the arrows correctly. Et je pense que cette soirée en fait partie. Jesus Christ. J'espère encore une fois que tout le monde est bien installé et que vous profitez du spectacle. En grosse mention quand même à Kameto. <laughs> yeah, that was actually an ancestral fear. J'ai voulu mettre en avant les voix qui font vivre Smash tout au long de l'année avec tous les casters que vous avez eu, c'était vraiment dingue. Moi je l'ai vécu avec vous dans le chat. Oh, ici, wait, if Stax is coming chose. back, does that mean we're getting Rocket League? Est-ce que vous êtes prêts mesdames et messieurs pour qu'on passe au segment suivant Qui va prendre la main est-ce que la CACOR va marquer son deuxième point et dominer cette soirée Ou est-ce que le reste du Waiting, monde va nous pauses. faire mal Je vous laisse d'abord découvrir pauses. le jeu Pauses... Pauses... 
What's up next? Wait, Rocket League does also go crazy. Wait, Rocket League does also go crazy. God, Stax is so good! God, Stax is so fucking good, man! I need to watch more Rocket League! Yeah, I think Rocket League is one of the easiest games to understand, like, a sick play when it happens. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more tactically going on than I can appreciate when I haven't played the game or watched it very much. In terms of, like, how they, you know, one of them takes pressure, one of them drops back in order to cover in case it goes wrong or something. I'm sure there's a lot of that going on that I don't understand properly. But when you see a sick play, you know it's a sick play. You know what I mean? So, someone give me the lowdown on this. Someone give me the lowdown. How good is G2? How good is Kamen Core in Rocket League? Stack said it was a clash of major champions, but I don't know if that's recent or what their current form is. Kamen Core's much better in Rocket League? Right, okay, okay. Top three in the world? G2 used to be one of the best in the world, but plays like 58th of worlds. Right, okay, okay. G2 is a mega washed, unfortunately. So what you mean by that is they would still place top eight in the world. That's not that washed. Who is the best team in the world right now? If Kamen Core are like top two, top three from what you guys are saying, who's the current best? Vitality, okay. Isn't that another French organization, Tita uh, Vitality? Oh, Vitality by a mile. Oh wait, shit, this is the... Are we in the Lorena uh, La Defense? I didn't even realize. This arena was at one point going to host Overwatch. And I don't think it ever actually happened. But god damn, that would have been sick. They were... This was one of the arenas that was talked about as... Um, it was going to be... It was going to be some, like, major Overwatch match. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember if it was going to be a, a final or something was going to happen here. I, I can't recall. Or maybe maybe it was supposed to be the Paris Eternal homestand was happening here or something? I really can't remember now. It was so long ago. But I remember looking up the La Défense Arena. It's a fucking huge arena. Is this guy the fucking goat or something? The announcer nearly broke his lungs and his back announcing this player. Yeah, he is? Okay. So we need to be paying attention to Vati. He's got sunglasses that say Vati goat. Okay, so are these players French? Or do they are they from a different country and they just play for comic book? Yeah, they're French. That's pretty sick. Yeah, our, um... Oh, Itachi is Moroccan, right? But they're French-speaking. It's a Francophone roster. Gotcha. Um... Are Vitality French-speaking as well? Holy shit. So two of the top three teams 
a full francophone. The French fans must go crazy for Rocket League then. Wait, three of the top three? Oh, BDS is also full French. Oh, it's over. It's actually over. Good luck any other country. Oh, BDS have one English player? Oh, right, okay, okay. Let's go, rise up the English. A little bit of backstory. Itachi, the first player that entered, is a player that's been on the team since day one. He's been here for the whole journey. But we got confirmation some days ago that he probably won't stay in the roster for next season. So it's like a last dance for one of our legends. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I mean, that's kind of the vibe with the Carmen Core roster as well, except that it's only been one year. Um, and they were poo. So it's kind of not the case. This is also the last dance for the G2 roster. It might be JK Naps last event. Right. Does Rocket League tend to have large amounts of roster moves in the offseason? Shin will be him. I, I, I think that's pretty reasonable, honestly. I think Shin is poised to be one of the wow, next wow, up wow, big French players. Yeah. It's always pandemonium. Gotcha, gotcha. What, what does that mean? I don't know what he's saying. There. Kill the bald man? I don't think they're chanting kill the bald man. Those who don't jump aren't car money. That's so fucking funny. Who doesn't jump isn't Carmine. What a great way to hype up a crowd by using their fervent fandom against them. If you're not on your feet, you're not a true fan. The no true Scotsman argument taken to its extreme and applied in a positive manner. We use it in football in Europe? Right, right. Oh, I find it difficult to say French sentences that I haven't said before. That's a brand new sentence out my fucking mouth. Meanwhile, me sat down in a chair, by the way. <laughs> I just remember that if you hate the royal family, clap your hands when the queen died. There are some amazing chants, I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed the Southgate was right, you are shite, but I can't remember the tune that they were singing it to. Because I think that's so applicable to Valorant. You need to apologize to every French on the stream. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> I'm not sure I do. It was a bit of a disaster class this year from Carmichael. <laughs> oh my god, they are going nuts for Rocket League. They are going nuts for Rocket League. They must have done Rocket League in France before, right? If the top three teams are all French, or at least, like, mostly French, they must have done an event there. No! They've never done a Rocket League event in France! What are they doing? Are they trolling? What are Psionics doing? It's hard to do an event in France, apparently. Is that because of the labor laws? Too young, player base, so laws would take the prize pool. Surely you can structure that differently, man. Surely you can structure it differently. So they had an event in Germany. Yeah, I mean, that's not too far away, right? Could you hold it in, like, Belgium or Switzerland or something instead? Like another francophone country that isn't 
front. The closest was Worlds this year in Germany. There was an entire French section in the crowd. That's amazing. The tax for esports events in France is very high. Mm. I don't really know anything about that. Yeah, this crowd really is wild. When you watch events like this, it kind of shows you what esports can be in the future if more organizations build up extremely rabid fan bases via, you know, similar strategies of us versus them mentalities. I mean, not in like a, not in a way where people are being obnoxious or disrespectful to other people around them, but in a very like, you know, strong identity with your team and rooting for your team, which normally comes from the content creator that makes the organization rather than the players. It is hard. It's really tough. It's what a lot of teams try to do, and they they don't do it very often. But I think the teams that have content creators at the top, like when you have a focal figure, cults of personality are much easier when you have a single personality to root around. Whereas, like for Sentinels, ain't nobody a Sentinels fan for Rob Moore, okay? They're just not. So if they ever lose tens, or at least if they didn't continue re-signing their popular players year after year after year, they would lose the fan base fairly quickly. Tarek? Yeah, Tarek is actually closer to... Well, Tarek and tens, I feel like, are both, both similar for Sentinels. Loud's fan base pales in comparison to Comic Con. I'm not sure it does. I'm not sure that's accurate. But I also think that Loud's fan base is like very much around. Yeah, it's it's a little more diversified, I think. Carmen Core have specialized into very heavy esports stuff, whereas Loud do a lot of things that aren't esports related. They have skateboarders, they have um music they they almost have a music label they don't but they're like a quasi music agency for like upcoming artists and they have a bunch of other things as well that are more to do with like infrastructure stuff too yeah loud has skateboarders yeah i think of all of the organizations that are similar to carmen core loud would be up there towards the top of the list they're, they're much more towards Carmen Core than they are like a C9 or a TSM or something, where the fans are just, you know, like, they're fans, but they don't have, they don't have a, what's the word, like, a, an, they don't identify themselves to their core as Cloud9 TSM fans. Koi? I actually don't know enough about Koi, I don't know, I didn't realize that they were super like this as well. Yeah, ultras. I suppose it's like football culture, isn't it? Although ultras is also associated with being horrendous dickheads and being violent. So, you know, we could keep that away from it. Moist, in my opinion, in the American version of the Comic-Con. The thing is, I feel like... I can't imagine... Well... While Moist, like, fans of Moist Critical and Ludwig are really big fans of them. But they're not, like, whipped up into a frenzy in the same way that these fans are. I don't think... If you put on event, an event like this, there would be a lot more comedy and less spectacle for, like, a Moist Moguls event. There, you would turn up because you knew you were going to get entertained, but you would go there because you like being entertained by those people. You wouldn't... I would kill for Ludwig. Okay, maybe you have a problem. Did you ever think about that? How many people in the crowd do you think flamed you on Twitter earlier this year? Probably like 1% of them. 
Did you see what happened when Ludwig's truck got stolen? Actually, I didn't really follow that. I just saw that it got stolen, people hunted it down, and then he got it back. But I didn't really see the details now. Optic within Call of Duty is a bit like this, yeah. But not really outside of Call of Duty from what I understand. Ludwig had an army of Ludbuds looking for it? Right, right. Every Ludbud in LA was on the hunt for the truck. <laughs> they found it instantly. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I think what Common Core has just done is tap into football culture in a way that other people really haven't. And maybe that's not possible outside of France because it may be that the football culture just directly ties into France being incredible at Rocket League as well. I don't really know. I don't know what the origin is of this fan culture pervading into Common Core, but it definitely feels like it's just carried over the same culture from uh, football. I feel like everyone's cheering for Comic Core because they love Comic Core, but ain't no Sentinels fans cheering for Halo. Yeah, definitely. There's absolutely no Valorant Sentinels fans that go and watch the Apex and the Halo team and are going nuts for them because they love tens. I, I really. I don't know the, the stats and the figures, but I would highly, highly doubt that's a thing. Did you see Vitality signing Runner? Yeah, that, Runner got li uh, linked with Vitality almost at the very beginning of the offseason. Global Esports Benkai? Has that been confirmed? It's it's French culture. I'm in a university in France and we used to chant songs and support... Oh, that's pretty sick that uh, Benkai's going to Global Esports. It's French culture. I'm in a university in France and we used to chant the same songs and support every sport and esport our uni competed in, even if we didn't know shit. The thing is, though, that's also a big American thing. Like, if you go to America, they go nuts for sports they go i mean it's not exactly the same like for for especially for college sports if you go and watch like a college uh football game it's it's crazy it really is but it just doesn't translate at all to american esports culture it doesn't translate in the slightest and i think it's because the people that go and do that stuff with college football are not the same people at all. It's like there is a split in middle school between the jocks and the nerds, and the jocks go crazy and drink beer and go and go nuts at their college football games, and the nerds go and play esports, and then you get like TSM, TSM. <laughs> and that's my theory. I mean, there's probably some crossover, but I don't think there's as large of a crossover as there are in other European countries. I think the US, like, school system has a really divisive um, culture between sports and other interests. I don't think it's particularly healthy for the kids involved either. We chanted TSM louder than NA last week in the south of France for the League of Legends European final. <laughs> I'm a sports fan and an esports fan, and I know others who are the same. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's impossible. I just don't think the crossover is as large as it is in France. As a theater band choir kid, yes, very divisive. Right, I feel like American school systems deliberately divide people into cliques based on if you're into certain like you know sports or theater or band or i guess theater and band would be somewhat linked actually but 
you know, mathletes or whatever. I don't think it's a very good schooling system for... I don't know. Meeting other people that have other... Or like being friends with other people that have other things. Just, just from talking to other American people and their experiences during schools. I think part of that is because the schools are so large a lot of the time as well. Like when I went to school in the UK, it was quite a small school and we just all hung out with each other all the time. Like almost all of the guys in the year were just all friends. But that's not the case in all of the UK schools. Banded theatre are very different. Oh, right. Oh, that's my ignorance speaking. Can you shave your beard? It looks like you fell over in mud. It really does, doesn't it? I do need to shave my beard, but when it gets this long, then it's a bother to shave, and I can't be bothered, and then eventually it just gets longer, and then I have to shave it anyway, and then it's, it's just more annoying. G2 is very heavy offense, and Kamen Core are the counter-attack gods. Okay, good to know, Mystic Snips. Thank you. What means, Saicho? I go American school, me learn many word, can speak Mr. Shaky Spear. Ah, thank you. I love Mr. Shaky Spear. You've gotten complacent because you got married? No, I didn't care about my appearance before I got married as well. That's why it took so long to get married. <laughs> Are you from London? No, I'm not. I'm from the Northeast. The next game is G2 versus Carmen Core in Rocket League. Here in Scotland, it's Robert Burns and this man talks in riddles. I mean... <laughs> So with the sheep? Yeah, there's lots of sheep where I live. Yeah. What's the format of this event? Uh, they've scheduled different esports. So Kamen Core is playing show matches against another team. And then the crowd doesn't know which event is next. So they turn up. They don't turn up for their favorite game. They have to turn up at the beginning of the day because your favorite game might be at the beginning of the day. Then on the screen, it like does an animation and then it pops up with the game and people cheer because they're excited. Oh, we're going, we're fucking in. In we go. Okay, so you said G2, a very heavy offensive and Kamen Core are a counter attack team. All right, so Kamen Core is the blue team. So we're watching from G2's perspective right now. That looks like a nice shot. Nice shot, good defense, good defense. Little gap opened up. G2 coming heavily forwards. Nice one. Little double bounce. That's the official terminology, guys. Don't worry. Psionics advertising themselves inside the stadium. Why? Who knows? Oh, what a save. What a save. G2 applying all the pressure. Itachi getting ready. Nice little backflip by the Moroccan player. Vati the goat. Not making the best use of that forward pass. Oh, the counter attack coming through actually from G2 this time. Exotic making sure that it's passed over. All right, now a chance for Carmen Core possibly to develop. Little pass across the field. Exotic boots things down. Atomic force to clear. I feel like I could do this. I feel like I could do this. Flick forward. Getting some space. Stabilizing here. Oh, big dive in. Isn't there a rule, like an unwritten gentleman's agreement in Rocket League, that if you get stuck just mashing into each other, that you have to just keep going until it breaks? It's called, like, rule one. <laughs> now, that is, that is so fucking cool. That's so stupid that it just... Wraps all the way back around again to being cool. I have some friends that work in Rocket League, and I wish I watched more of it. I, I don't have too much time to watch esports that I don't work in, um, but I wish I watched it more. It's a great game. 
I am terrible at it. I haven't played very much. But I, anything in the air, I just have such a bad sense for where it's going to be. Oh! Atomic almost got that one. What a save. Exotic so far has been pretty good. Chicago taking things away from his teammate there. Oh, the Kamiko players are scrambling to get back onto the defensive lines. Itachi. No, blocked. Atomic's barely got any boost. What is that? Oh. Good save again from Varigoat. Two minutes left on the clock. It feels like G2 have been applying the majority of the pressure. Tipped up in the air. Atomic constantly feels like he's out of boost. Maybe that's his role. I'm not exactly sure how this game works. I feel like this game could benefit from a mini-map. So that you saw the positioning of the players. Even while you're looking at... Oh! <laughs> and the first goal for G2. Atomic is G2's star player? Right, right. I have zero clue how Rocket League works. So there's little, like, boost spots around the map. And this in the bottom right is the boost. Once you have that, you can use that to, like, power your car into the air. Or you can use it to just go faster on the ground. Oh my god. Instant 2-0 for G2. How did that one happen? Oh my god. Big distraction. And JK Naps knocking it in. All right. So apparently G2 were, to quote the chat from earlier, a bit washed. Like an 8th place team in the world. Versus, uh... Common Core Top 3. Oh, his name's J Naps. Gotcha. That does make more sense than JK Naps. One minute left for Common Core to be able to get two more kills. Over the top. Run out of boost. Oh, tragic situation, but don't worry. Itachi's there. Goat Vaddy is on it. Oh, beautiful technique. Blocked by J Naps. No one on goal. No one on goal. Oh, only just. Kamiko keeping things. The start is always bad for Kamiko. They just are insane after a few rounds. Well, they're getting slaughtered here in game one. So what is this? This is a best of seven. This is a long format. So is it? Uh, is each game three minutes? Five minutes? Really? So this can be... Oh, well, yeah, I guess max 35 minutes is not that bad for a BO7. Yeah, that's not that long. Oh, it can go to OT as well? Right, right. Right, because if it draws, it's golden goal, isn't it? Gangnam! Gannan? Gan I don't know how to pronounce that word. Gagné. Gagnon? Gagnon? Probably Gagnon. Gengar! <laughs> Whole best of seven shorter than CSGO maps? Yeah. Although CS2 is ML12, isn't it? So that won't be the case in the future. Or, I mean, it kind of will. Because st it still takes, like, 45 minutes for an MR12 game. Ganyang. Also won't end until the ball touches the floor. Yeah, but that doesn't normally happen for that long, does it? That only adds, like, 20 seconds on the end or something max, does it not? MR12 means that in a half, you play 12 rounds. It means first to 13 wins. That's the new format for CS2. At least as far as I'm aware. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so it's Loud versus Common Cause Valorant Game Changers team next after this. Nice. I probably won't watch the League of Legends at the end. What does MR stand for? Max rounds. So it's max rounds in a half. You think it's better to have MR12 or MR15? I think MR15 ends up being a bit too long. Oh my god, we almost missed the goal instantly from Carmen Core. The fuck? That was a goal within eight seconds. Okay. Okay. Oh, you want me to watch League of Legends as well? I don't have any alcohol in the house. I, I, can't, I can't watch League sober, chat. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, people are incredible at this game. Their awareness and anticipation of, like, where the ball is going to be moved by their opponents and by their teammates is so good. And their aerial control. I mean, that was nice control from Vaddy there. It didn't go anywhere, but it was nice. Oh, oh, the pass! Oh, it wasn't even a pass. I thought he was going to pass to Atomic there. j -Naps again. He scored three times. CS used to do MR12 a long time ago. It wasn't just before CSGO. I think it was like a long, long time ago. It also, at one point, they had a format called Chargers Only, which was that there was a time limit. There was no max amount of rounds at all. There was just 20 minutes, I think, and you had to see how many attacking rounds you could get in 20 minutes, which is a wild format. Which means, like, if you're good at fast rounds, you're just going to be a better team on the attack side. Ooh, Atomic with another goal. G2 are putting so much pressure on Kamen Core. What happens when it says boom? Yeah, the car explodes and you get reset and respawn. Yeah, G2 are looking good. You guys told me the G2 were washed. They don't look washed to me. They look clean. Atomic's ready, picks up the full boost. Jiggling things over the top, anticipating the push away by Vadi, who controls it a little bit in the air. But Kamikor are running out of juice here. Vadi goes back, gets some more boost. The pressure, but Exotic's just out of the juice he needs! How did Vadi get that? We didn't even really catch it on screen. I mean, Vadi had just gone and filled up his boost, so... Presumably he did some kind of aerial move from the other side of the... The court, the field. They picked momentum back up going into Worlds, but they were really bad mid-season. Okay, okay. If you ever had time, I recommend watching Vitality vs. Carmen Core semi-final. From, what, from Worlds this year? I don't think this would be that hard to observe, to be honest. Because there's a focal point. There's a ball. I think there'll be some challenges, but I think it'll be easier than a lot of different games to observe. Insane series. Best series ever. I don't... Oh, whoa! Nice from Jnabs, okay. G2 lost to the runners-up in a close match, so they were good at Worlds, right, right. But they just got eliminated a little early. Yeah, Jnabs getting set up for so many good shots. I really just want to see a Rule 1 situation. That's all I want. Vitality had a rookie Zen coming into the third split and they didn't lose a single event. That's sick. Almost another goal from JNAPS, but nice defending from Exo uh, Exotic again. Ton of boost here for Atomic. Love the play. Tons of aggressive pressure. Anyone ready? Anyone ready for it? Ah, nope. Chicago was too late. Good interception from JNAPS keeping the pressure on. But he's run out of boost. And now Kamikora on the counter-attack. Vadi? Or oh, setting up somebody else. Couldn't see who that was. Anyone ready to dive in? Nope. Zen is 16 years old. JNAP's the oldest Rocket League player at 23. Huh. 
Wow. I'm surprised that the oldest is 23. I, it doesn't really feel like there'd be any reason why... I suppose... Maybe it's because... So this game, Rocket League, was based on... Um, a game that came out for the PlayStation called, like, Super Acrobatic Rocket Powered Cars or something like that, wasn't it? So it's probably because it's only younger people that have played those games growing up. I don't think it's got anything to do with the mechanical skill involved, why there's younger players. That just doesn't make any sense. I imagine it's probably just because the younger generation has played it more when they were dedicating tons of time to video games. It is mechanics. I mean, that sounds like absolute bollocks from Rocket League fans. There's no way that this game is more mechanically, like, demanding than other incredibly mechanically demanding games in which people have careers deep into their 20s. It is? Where the f- how, Where are you getting that from? Rocket League is the most mechanically demanding game. I just, I just, I doubt that you guys are, I, listen, I don't know any of you in the chat, necessarily, that are saying this. But I doubt that you're qualified to speak about this because you probably don't know other games that are incredibly, um mechanically gifted as well, uh, mechanically talented as well. The pros? Motherfucker, the Rocket League pros haven't played other professional games a lot. You're telling me this is more mechanically demanding than any of the FPS games, StarCraft, any of the MOBA games, more mechanically demanding than... I mean, what else would be super mechanically demanding as an eSport? Uh, melee? You're telling me it's... It's hands down more mechanically demanding than any of those games. I think you guys might be off the goop a little bit, but that is an interesting argument that I need I would like to look into more. Oh. There's just no way that Common Core can come back from this, right? So, if there's a two differential in the score right now, so the score is 5-3, why does it carry on being played? Because even if Carmen Core scored there, wouldn't the score be 5-4 and the ball is guaranteed to touch the ground because it gets reset onto the ground? For fun? Oh, okay. Test it later by loading up a single game? I've played this game before. It is difficult, but... It's impossible for me to tell something like that because I find all of those games difficult. I find Melee difficult, I find StarCraft difficult, I find FPS games difficult. Of course I would find this game difficult. That doesn't tell me that it's... That doesn't tell me that it's more mechanically demanding than these games, I find them all difficult. People are confusing mechanics with skill ceiling. In a Reddit thread, people agreed Rocket League was the hardest esport to go pro in. I mean, I, I could see that because it's only three aside as well that it would be really difficult to go pro in. I don't know. I just think it's wild that a lot of people in the chat were saying it was hands down the most mechanical game. I feel like that's an extraordinarily difficult consensus. But that's interesting. It's the hardest game I've played, and I'm a melee gamer. Your G2 do be pounding them. Come on, Carmen Corp. Of all the games to let your fans down in, you're favored in this one. Come on. The fans need a dub. Oh. Vaddy, I need some goat status shit from you right now. 
Oh, the setup for Exotic! No, blocked by Atomic. Good aerial. Vadi, the goat. Uh oh. Uh oh, Atomic was there. He missed it. Oh, decent try. Fighting over the boost. Atomic ends up getting it. Steals it away. Midair collision. They will lose the Valorant Game Changers game? Yeah, almost certainly, right? From what I've... I don't really follow the Game Changers scene that closely, but from what I've heard, the Loud Game Changers team is better than the Common Core one by quite a... quite a gap. Boom! Down goes Vadi. That would have been sick. It's like scoring backwards, underhand into the goal. Chicago, Chicago. Oh, good block again. Oh, hello. That was a bit of a miss. The boost keeps things in play. Jay Naps going and getting some more boost. Oh, I love that setup. That was so nice. Vaddy is handling it in the air, kicks it up. His teammate bounces it off the backboard for an alley oop. Vaddy stays, knocks it in. God damn, that was good. No, I'm convinced this is the most mechanically gifted game of all time. No esport will possibly come close. You guys have convinced me with that play alone. Rocket League mechanics are still evolving every year. That's why young kids are better, because they've grown up with all the new mechanics that the older pros have to train heavily to build muscle memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that's what I was saying, right? Is that when you have a game that hasn't been around for a huge amount of time, it's not like Counter-Strike, where the basic mechanics have been in existence for, you know, many, many, many years, decades at this point. Holy shit. When you have a game that's fairly new in terms of its uh, play style, then younger players are always going to have an advantage because they grew up doing that versus older people who have to learn it kind of at a later age. Yeah, Melee's mechanics... Yeah, people are still learning new shit about their game and it's... Oh my god, wait. Carmine Core. Wait a second, Kamen Kaur giving them the business. They put up the blue wall. Yeah, it's, well, it's a little bit like Fortnite, but at the same time, Fortnite's still at its core an FPS game. Like, people understand, I guess the building mechanics are very different, but um, I feel like this game is so different to other video games, other esports, in terms of how it works. It's, it's quite unique. There's almost no game that functions like this, so it's not going to use any skills that you had uh, from your youth if you're an older player that's trying to learn it. Yeah, a, a shooter, not an FPS, sure. But I think, it, I think a lot of it probably comes down to transferable skills. One guy played melee so hard, his tendons turned into bone. Robo Gorbachev, that sounds like the kind of thing I would read in the Daily Mail. That sounds like a Daily Mail headline. This young boy played video games so hard, his tendons turned into bone.
This has happened to multiple melee players? What the hell happened? What do you mean his tendons turn into bone? His tendons are calcifying? Due to playing too much melee? Okay, let me let me Google this. How does that even happen? Oh my god, he did have a calcified tendon. What the fuck? Calcific tendinitis of the whatever is a self-limiting disease characterized by the deposition of calcium phosphate crystals in the rotor cuff tendons. Well, that's of the shoulder. It commonly occurs in those between the ages of 30 and 50, or if you've played melee a lot. Who knew? Who knew? How the hell do you get... How the hell do you get calcium phosphate crystals depositing due to playing video games. What? How? Someone explain to Liz like I'm five, please. Uh, for whatever reason, which I still don't really understand the physiology of it at all, having Googled it for like two minutes. Um, little deposits of uh, calcium phosphate, which is kind of like bone matter. But it's not like chipping off your bone or whatever, but it's small little lumps of, like, bone matter growing on your tendons, causing a lot of problems with your mobility. I guess, if you wanted to dumb it down for a five-year-old. That sounds bad? Yeah, that does sound bad. Yeah, I have no idea whether it... I, I have no idea whether he was predisposed to it or something. You know what I found out recently? Talking about people that people assume are dickheads in video games. I mean, I, I don't know about the person that you're talking about. I literally have no idea, but it just reminded me of this. I... I like Novak Djokovic, and that's an unpopular opinion because of all of the anti-vaxxer shit, and I think he's stupid for doing his anti-vax nonsense, but I like the way he plays tennis, and I found out recently as well, a lot of people don't like him because he gets moody when he plays uh, on the court compared to uh, Roger or Nadal. Um, who are also just some of the nicest people in sports to be compared against, right, as well. Um, but I found out recently that he's one of the only, or like, he was the only player of the top three that was working on the Players Association. And Nadal and Federer both did not want to be involved in a Players Association to try and help the players below them. And it was Djokovic that was... Uh, leading the charge on that in terms of helping uh, lower pay, uh, lower players end up getting paid. Which is pretty cool. I didn't realize that. Alcaraz clears? Yeah. Al Al Alcaraz did, in fact, clear most recently. Not very Tory of him? Yeah, exactly. I, I did not realize that. He's backtracking for the anti-vaccine? No, no, no. He's been doing that for years. That's like years and years and years ago. He's been involved in the Players Association. But he did it for his own game. You're, you're absolutely capping. The, the way that tennis is structured, the people at the top earn like, let's say 10 million a year in terms of their like pre-endorsement money. And the people at the bottom earn like, I don't know, if you're in the like top... Uh, thousand? You might only earn like ten thousand dollars a year, maybe even less. I um, wait. Maybe it's the top two hundred or something. No, I think it was the top thousand earn like uh, ten thousand a year. So a hundred percent, a players' association that changes that does not benefit Novak Djokovic.
most recently Djokovic cleared? Oh, really? Was that at the US Open or something? I, I haven't watched uh, recently. Oh, but they didn't play against each other? Right, right. Who knocked out Akarath then? Hello. Hi. <laughs> what are you up to? Are you going to bed? Oh, okay. That's like 20 minutes earlier than you said you were going to. Yeah. yeah. You tired? You go. <laughs> you got tired? Beth is going to bed because she got tired running around the house excited due to the F1 qualification results from today. Yeah, you did some wa we did some walking earlier as well, but that wouldn't necessarily have like completely tired you out had you not been running excited around the house jumping up and down. Okay. <laughs> I've got to put my wife to bed because she's been running around like a toddler. I'll be back in a second. Oh, G2 won a game while I was gone. 
Okay, so Kamen Core won one of the games like 4-1 or something, and then they've just lost the others. Looks like they're doing all right here, though. Who scored twice? You missed an insane goal by Vadi? Come oh. on. What did he do? A ceiling shot? Okay, I don't even understand what that necessarily means. I love that movement. It just looks so cool. He gets a flip on the ceiling and uses it to shoot the ball. Oh, is that when the, they drive up on the ceiling, drop, and then power forwards? Is that what you mean? Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That looks like the Common Core players might have... Oh, no. No one ready to follow up. Set up again? Oh, no. G2 missing a couple of opportunities there, I think. They're keeping the pressure on pretty well, though. They should do a real-life version of Rocket League. Except not the part where the cars can explode when they drive into each other. They have? What do you mean? That was supposed to be a joke because it's... It would be fantastically, unbelievably dangerous. Oh, without the flying. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's it's pretty normal without the flying, guys. <laughs> I thought you were Oh! Wait. One minute left and G2 just found an open goal? Oh, they caught Itachi off the line. This could be it. This could be it. Oh no, oh. Okay, I thought Atomic had it. A little bit of control, bounce it off the wall, get set back up. j -Nab's trying to put it back in. Oh, it's just got stunted. Have they got it? Oh wow, great defense. Who was that? Mitachi? Ten seconds. All out offense by G2. And it's on the ground. Nice. Let's go, Kamako. Let's go. Let's go, Kamin. Oops, I shouldn't be shouting. That's in there. Check the Vati goal. I'm not watching on YouTube. I can't scroll back. Oh, is this it? How do I mute, actually? Oh, there we go. All right. What's this? Is this the... This is the clip? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that is...
is clean as fuck, actually. That's clean as fuck. That's a great start. That is a great start. That is a lovely counter attack. G2 just all pushed too far forwards. A little 1 2 by Carmine. Straight back into it here. Ready to tie things up at 3 3. Let's go. Why are you watching the French cast? Because there isn't an English cast. There is? Oh. I like it in French. <laughs> Yo. Okay, okay, 2-0. Two 2-0, zero. Two zero. we're popping off. The pressure's back on G2. They're crumbling, they're choking. They're sat pissing their pants. Uh oh. No, Atomic. No, thank you. We don't like that. Yeah, I've heard that France is the best Rocket League country by like a long shot. Go on! Go on! Exotic has wrapped this one up. What a beautiful solo play. The numbers in the top corners are how much boost they have. 108 gray. You can also see it at the bottom right when we're on a player uh, POV. You pick up boost by driving over those like yellow circles on the floor. The ones in the four corners and the outside in the middle give you 100% and the others give you... I don't know, some smaller amount. And you use the boost to go faster and to power yourself while you're in the air. Ah, uh, 12. We don't care. Actually, we just gave them a pity goal. G2 out there looking like the fucking Voltorb that needs a pity... You know what I mean, a pity goal. Oh, nice. Oh, he's done him. Wait, actually. Potential here? Potential for a masterclass from G2? Potential for a masterclass? Oh, great block. Bla great block by the GOAT. Another good save on the other side of the pitch. This is all scripted, by the way. It's going to go game seven. The final 20 seconds. Chicago scores an unbelievable goal as his final moment with G2. And then Vadi pulls off something even more nuts to be able to take it to overtime, scores another one, and the crowd erupts and people start chewing each other's faces. Game seven, Scream joins the team. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna start farting like gluttony. Oh, they missed it. Oh no, sorry, he's on defense. What am I talking about? Yeah. 
easy stuff. Easy stuff. This is going game seven. No question. Vati going to game seven with the two players he kicked. Wait, Vati used to play with two of the guys from G2? Or are you saying that Vadi has kicked the other two players on Carmen Koi in this offseason? Oh, he kicked Itachi and Exotic this offseason. And he's <laughs> playing with them in a show match. <laughs> Going to game seven. He's the only one on Comic Core right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should make a super team of all of the people that were like the best that year for Carmen Core and just run that roster in every game. Like, get Shin, get Vadi, get uh, Kumara. Was that his name? The Smash guy? And just put them all on a roster together. No scream? No, he's not he's not with them next year. It's only Shin, at least as far as the rumors go in Valorant. Shin Vadi and Kurama. And Kalis then I guess? Is he from League of Legends? Game seven. Let's get some predictions going, chat. Let's get some predictions going. All right, we're starting the we're starting the pred. We're starting the pred. Who wins, KC or G two? Kami or G two? Who wins this? Wait, why am I saying predict with channel? Oh yeah, with channel points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how channel points work. That's how predictions work. I feel like it's always a little bit of a mess when G2 are defending versus when Carmen Core are defending. But G2 just applies so much more pressure than... Oh, go on, go on, go on, Exotic, go on! Ah, I couldn't quite get there. All right, what's the prediction? Over about twice as much on Carmen Core. Whoever scores this first goal, <laughs> the channel points are just going to flip quickly the, the, in that direction. Surely not. Oh my god, that was close. Does Sideshow understand anything about this game? Very little. I understand that there are cars and there are boosts. I've played Rocket League before, but only about, I don't know, maybe 50 hours, something like that. Not a lot. Fifty is a lot? I don't think it is. Where's the predictions going now? I just saw you, you sneaky little fuck, putting more preds on G2. Look, I can see you. Stop putting more, more. Stop putting more on G2. All right, it's over. It's over. The predictions are over. You little snakes at the end. You absolute little snakes putting extra money on G2 towards the end after they scored. Oh. 
over. Nice. What a beautiful move from Exotic. I feel like Exotic has been playing really well. I'm so mad that he got cut. I only knew who... I didn't even know who he was like half an hour ago. And now I'm pissed. What the hell, Vaddy? Oh, Atomic got the boost stolen away from him. Everybody on Kamen Call with full boosts. Massive advantage. Come on, let's counter-attack here. Let's get something going, Itachi. Let's get something going. Oh, lift over the top. Nope, blocked. Atomic's got it. Any setup here? Any setup? Off the backboard. Oh, oh! Nope, too high. Just lifted it a bit. Now it's Vadi, the only player with boost. Oh, what the fuck? That was like a combo move. Oh, 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 oh. Vadi almost got the, the like, under, under, I don't know what you call that. That was sick. He nearly got his undercarriage to hit the ball. That looks like a nice strike. Off target, though. Unlucky. It reminds me of England in the Euros. The flip reset. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was going to say. It was on the tip of my tongue, that terminology that I've definitely never heard before. Oh! Oh, nice try by Atomic. Good defending by Kamen Core. Any counter-attack possible? No, Chicago there to head it off. Little flip. Ball goes up. Bit of a scramble. j Naps pushes it away, but no one really there. No one to block Itachi. Atomic with a bunch of boost there. Sending things back in. Oh, what a flying leap from Exotic once more. Exotic's been everywhere, man. Exotic has been everywhere. He's on defense. He's on the... Okay, bet's in bed. Bet's in bed. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. But Exotic's been everywhere. He's on the goal line. Then he's in your goal. Holy fuck. It's like if Fabian Bartes started sprinting down the pitch and just slamming it into the opponent's net. Go, my bald king. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Chipped over the head of Exotic. All good, all good. He is the goat. All good. Vati who? Vati who? Exotic is my goat. I've watched exactly one game of competitive Rocket League. Have nothing else to base that on. Exotic is my goat. <laughs> I am the most obnoxious fan. Thirty seconds left. I told you guys it was going to be the final few seconds. Chicago scores as his final big thing for G2. I'm telling you, this is set up for Chicago to go nuts. Oh, J Naps, making sure that it's blocked. Knocked back into contention though. Can Itachi set anything up here for Exotic? Exotic just got some more boost. Now Vadi comes back in with some. One second, Vadi! Oh, overtime. Prolongation. All right, here comes Chicago. Here comes actually Chicago. He's been waiting to do this all day long. His final thing for G2. Little block by Vadi. Love to see it. Chicago on the block. Leaves it to j -Naps. Exotic. Communicating with Atachi about which of them wants to go backwards. Atachi! He's there. Don't worry about it, Carmen Core fans. You are fine. Vadi beautifully positioned. But can't get anything else off the wall. Picks up a full boost. Exotic's just got enough in him. Oh, he has. Oh, he's absolutely finessed him. But j -Naps. Over to Exotic. Has has this been played in? Chicago was going for it there. He wants his glory. Vadi. Oh, 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 danger, 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 danger! There's no way Atomic from down town. 
ruins the vibe, the ambiance, as the French would say, has been assassinated, guillotined. Heartbreak out here. Heartbreak. Un tragedy, as they say. Un tragedy. Good game, good game, good game, guys. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. That is Rocket League. That was a great game. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed Smash. I enjoyed Rocket League. They've got some sick games that they represent. It's a pity that Kamikor are also in League. Which I'm not interested in at all. Bro, why do they always fake a comeback? Fucking French, girl. <laughs> Sun Bundy boss, thank you for the prime. Lucky Viper, thanks for the four months as well. Je suis effectivement au cœur de la scène là où l'affrontement a eu lieu. On peut quand même applaudir G2 qui a fait une très belle prestation. La Carmine Cop qui a rien lâché, je vois les larmes d'Itachi. Itachi, est-ce que tu as envie de dire un petit mot quand même Parce que c'est vrai que le match, il a été compliqué. Je sais pas s'il a, il a envie de parler Vatira. It seems uh, like League is going to be the final Itachi, one, yeah. Itachi, t'es un peu déçu. Tu veux dire un mot ou pas T'es chaud Si tu veux, je te laisse un petit peu de temps. Vatira, tiens rapidement. Un match qui a démarré, on va dire, un peu difficilement. Vous êtes mené 2-0. Okay, so that's Vati, right? Euh, Qu'est-ce que tu as à dire déjà sur ce début Who's de the guy stood next to Vati? Who's got the curly hair ensemble. and the little moustache? Bah, au début, on a joué, mais on n'était pas libéré. Et c'est au bout de 2-0 qu'on s'est dit, vas-y, go, go s'en foutre, en fait. Et c'est là que ça allait beaucoup mieux. That's mais, Itachi? Bah, on a été en okay. Game 7 et on a perdu. And then my goat is on the left. Peut-être le, le moment aussi. Puis il y, y a le côté aussi historique de l'équipe qui, qui forcément arrive à la fin d'un cycle. Qui, Comment t'expliques ce début un petit peu, un petit peu lent Itachi has been on Common Core uh, since they entered RFC, Rocket League. Tout cool really Il y a deux fois le public de, par exemple, du Seldorf Les Worlds et c'est juste incroyable et merci à vous tous d'être là. Vatira, mesdames et messieurs, Itachi, forcément en tant que capitaine, on attend aussi que tu prennes un peu la parole sur déjà le parcours grandiose que vous avez fourni toute l'année. C'est vrai que vous nous avez fait vibrer avec en plus les Worlds où c'est pas passé très loin. Si tu veux revenir un peu sur cette équipe et forcément votre préparation quand vous avez appris que c'était G2 et sur cette soirée et ce match. How many games did Kamen Cop win? Um, they won two of the uh, Smash Ultimate matches. Can you translate? Yeah, it's been fantastic year working with Kamen Core. You know, it's been my honor, unfortunately. <laughs> That's so sweet. How long has this guy been with this team? I think people are crying because it's just like the end of the year. And it's like the end of their time with the team, you know? Like the people who are crying are the people who are not with Carmen Core anymore. At least from what I can tell. Uh, XMS was tearing up. It doesn't look like he's going to be with the team moving forwards. Itachi's tearing up. He looks like he's out of the team as well. So yeah, it's like, Merci it's kind of like a last Merci dance beaucoup. kind of event, right? It's like show matches to celebrate players that uh, aren't going to be with you anymore as well. Itachi also got trolled in Pro Rocket League because he wasn't allowed to play when he was in Morocco, so he missed like six seasons. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Passé deux ans avec vous les gars. C'est le dernier match avec ce roster que vous voyez aujourd'hui. J'ai passé des moments inoubliables les gars. Toutes les personnes que j'ai rencontrées, vous tous que vous nous avez soutenus depuis le début. Merci beaucoup les gars et merci, merci les gars. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, he's not. He's not crying because of the show match. He's not crying because he lost to G2. He's crying because it's emotional that he's leaving his team and there's 28,000 people Votre in the arena. Itachi! On peut aussi applaudir Exotic! Vatira! Et le coach Eversax! Bravo à vous, Exotic is stood there like. Merci beaucoup emotionless. Profitez, messieurs, profitez! Vous l'avez mérité, ça! Yeah, ça it does seem like a very young team, right? It seems like, uh... 
qui vous Ah non, Exodex fait bonnet ce soir. T'as un petit mot Ouais, vas-y, Eversax, avec plaisir. Exodix. Itachi vous l'a dit, voilà, c'était la dernière fois qu'on apparaissait avec ce roster. Uh, yeah, so I heard Parota. Euh, J'ai vraiment passé la nuit formidable. Merci beaucoup à vous les gars. Je me suis jamais autant senti accueilli dans une équipe. Donc euh, voilà, merci à tous les supporters. Merci pour toute l'année. Vraiment, ça, le soutien, vous vous rendez pas compte de tout ce que so ça peut faire. So why, pousser pour why you guys voilà. saying in the chat that Vati kicked the other two? Is that how rosters are done, or is that just a rumor? Like. Doesn't the coach or, you know, somebody else have input on how it works? Oh, so that is just a rumor based on the fact that Vadi's staying. I see, I see. Donc voilà, franchement, j'aurais, j'aurais voulu. Rosters are player controlled in Rocket League, ninety-nine percent. Merci à tous les joueurs pour cette année. Right. Merci à la Carmine, côté Clément, Kamel, Prime. Tout, tout, c'est une grande famille. Tous les joueurs des autres équipes, vraiment. Oh, the coach is also leaving. Merci beaucoup. Merci okay. Pour tout. So it's the only, the only player that's staying on the Carmine Core Rocket League team is Vali. On est en plein dans l'intimité de ce club, right, mesdames right. et messieurs. Vous voyez tout. So that does. I mean, I guess it's a rumor, but it also it would be really, really unlikely vous, if it was something else. Vous nous rendez fiers, encore une fois. Merci, merci pour tout. On va enchaîner. La, la, on, je pense que ceux qui ont qu on vu le planning hein, qui a été annoncé dès le départ, euh, vous vous êtes rendu compte qu'on est grave à la bourre. Mais c'est ça aussi l'e-sport. On ne gère pas le temps et on ne gère pas le résultat. Ce qui compte, c'est de soutenir. Why are we watching this? Because cette équipe they ce invited me to co-stream this event Mesdames, because it had some Valorant playing, and then I turned up late to the Valorant and only watched like half of the Valorant game, and then Smash started playing, and I was like, hey, well, I like Smash, and then Rocket League started playing, and I was like, wow, I like Rocket League. And now it's back to Valorant, so they've just hooked me. I haven't been paid for this, no. Maybe I should have asked. I'm called Kamel Kebir, I'm 28 years old, and I'm from 91, in a city called Corbeil. My department, it represents a little bit for me, because it's the base that I've grown up. Who's playing Valorant? It's the Game Changers team, it's playing against Loud's Game Changers team. It represents where we come from, our city, our department, our quartier. C'est quelque chose qui est important pour nous depuis le, le début. Et c'est pour ça que même sur mes maillots e-sport, je mets toujours le 9-1 sur le maillot. C'est quelque chose qu'on m'a inculqué dès que j'étais petit. À corbeil là où j'ai grandi dans mon quartier à la Nacelle, il y a une espèce de parc où il y a la scène qui passe. Euh, L'été là-bas, c'était pas mal, on allait se baigner, on se posait, on faisait des pique-niques, on se posait, des fois juste on rigolait. On allait souvent aussi à l'Agora, à Evry, are you going to watch the league match also? I think I'm considering doing two things. One is co-streaming the league match, and the other is scooping out my eyeballs with a rusty fork that I have in my kitchen. And I just can't decide which. I just can't decide. I think I'll go with the... I think I might play some Baldur's Gate. Wait, what is this? They're announcing a Carmen Core Arena. What the fuck is happening in France? Good Lord. Where, what, what are they going to be? What the fuck? Wait, what are they even going to be doing there? Like, they can't play League games, can they? From the arena. They can't play Valorant games from the arena. So what are they... Can they pl 
What what are they going to be doing from there? Quelle annonce de fou furieux, on vous avait pas menti, vous allez apprendre de très belles I mean they could do soir. watch parties, yeah, but On est avec Kameto, on est avec Arthur, les deux seniors Oh, they can play League games, it's tier 2. I didn't realize. I I know nothing about League of Legends, I didn't realize they were a tier 2 team. On partir avec les larmes quand on passe par la Carmine Corp, ça nous laisse pas indifférent. J'ai l'impression que ils viennent de vivre aussi un moment très intense en termes d'émotion. Je pense que tu veux revenir sur cette line-up qui a franchement marqué la Carmine Cup de la plus belle des manières. Bah, on les a suivis toute l'année. Can they play their Rocket League matches from there? On les aimait trop. Does Rocket League not require you to be in a certain place in order to play? Ça, ça me déchire le cœur de... Surely if a team has arenas like that, they might do certain VCT EMEA games there? I doubt it because it would require a huge amount of... I mean... I doubt it. It would require a large amount of effort to... run a... VCT broadcast out of a different space while having the production done in wherever they're planning to do it for next year. He wanted to create an ambiance that would be good to do it with him, with the control on everything. That's what's going to happen, I have the impression, Arthur. Wait a minute, what the fuck, I thought the Kamen Kauti won game was now? No. VLR has trolled you. Kamen Kauti vs T1 already happened about four hours ago. Et la première de and ces choses, c'est qu'à partir de maintenant, on va avoir notre propre stade. Kamen Kauti's Game Changers team is playing against Loud's Game Changers team. Wait, okay, the crowd just exploded. What the hell was that about? On a tous frissonné ici, ça a explosé. C'est la première fois en Europe, une des premières fois dans le monde, qu'un club atteint ce qu'on est en train d'atteindre. Et on a réussi à trouver une opportunité exceptionnelle. We're going to have our own stadium. Isn't that just exactly the thing that the... Isn't that exactly what the video just said anyway? Et c'est une salle de 3000 personnes. On va être le seul club résident. 3000 person stadium? C'est un mur qui va devenir bleu grâce à vous. Merci pour tout. Merci pour votre soutien. Merci à l'agglomération Paris-Sud. Kameto, on veut aussi ta réaction suite à ce projet fou. I mean, considering they have about 30,000 people here, having a 3,000 person stadium, you could reliably fill that much more often. Like, if they do an event like this once a year, how often could they fill a 3,000 person stadium? Probably once a month, right? Could they fill that once a week? I don't think so. I don't think people would travel out for something like that once a week. But I think monthly. I mean, it depends how many. It depends where it is. I guess if if it's in Paris and a lot of the fans live in Paris, maybe they could fill it weekly. But that might be more difficult than you expect. Et évidemment, euh, vous allez nous demander pour la billetterie très vite sur les réseaux sociaux. Et je peux vous confirmer que pour la première fois de l'histoire de l'e-sport, on aura des vrais abonnés dans un vrai stade. Merci beaucoup. On s'installe sur du long terme du côté de la Carmine Corp. L'e-sport ne se fait pas en un jour. I, I don't speak French chat. You know when I was pretending to translate earlier? If you guys thought I was actually translating, you need to reassess everything you think. Conseil hein, d'Arthur où il revient un peu sur euh, les, les nouvelles, on va dire, règles qui vont être au sein de la Carmen Corp pour euh, pousser la performance, mais pousser aussi l'accompagnement. C'est important, euh, toujours le, le confort des joueurs, ça a été limite euh, la priorité à la base. Bah ouais, toi qui étais joueur avant. Il a dit qu'ils season des members pour la première fois dans l'e-sport, c'est assez sick. Mais pour moi, c'était très important. Et tu le vois, dès qu'il y a des joueurs qui quittent le club. Où est Yay going to Carmen Corp On est en larmes. Malheureusement, c'est le sport, c'est la compétition. Kameto is saying we will have the egg casting from the arena. Bro, I don't even live that far away. I could get a direct flight to Charles de Gaulle. It would take me about an hour and a half. I could be door to door here to the Carmen Court Arena in a couple hours. Histoire justement qu'on se remette un petit peu tous dans le monde. Et après on repart pour les deux matchs restants. Get me there. Get me there. Petit moment musical. Vous êtes au courant. This guy Arthur is the actual CEO of Comic Con. He's a young tech entrepreneur with a Forbes 30 vibe. Ah. Interesting. Et je vous le rappelle parce qu'on ne cache rien. Pour l'instant, c'est le monde qui est en train de gagner 2 à 1 face à la Cacorp. Mais c'est pas fini. On revient. C'est pas fini. Voilà. C'est pas fini. Okay, well, what is next then?
Presumably, it's Valorant. What the fuck is this? What in the hell is going on here? This is an advert. <laughs> it was an ad that he did in ASMR to troll. <laughs> Who is Irvine? Who is that? <laughs> oh, he's one of the Common Core staff. Right, right, right. The lead content producer. Gotcha, gotcha. The drop screen button. <laughs> Bro, no. <laughs> Maybe the button summons an IGL. You guys need to stop. The button summoned the desk, okay? The button summoned the desk. Les boutons sur les côtés. Image of him just alone in the studio is so funny. On va maintenant mettre le casque Logitech et jouer sur IM Lab pour tester le clavier et la souris. Alors au niveau de la souris, what kind of microphone have they used here? It sounds like it's so far away from his mic. It sounds like they've cranked it up enormously. This does not sound like a very good ASMR mic setup. Very good. <laughs> How is he testing his keyboard in aim lamps? <laughs> he's just he's just feeling the feedback, okay? He doesn't need to know how it actually works. Oh god. Yeah, that's that's a great video. That's a great video. Oh, god damn. Go buy one? I already have one, actually. I have a G Pro Wireless. The, the G Pro Wireless that I had, I bought as a replacement for my other G Pro Wireless that broke. But that one was given to me by Cloud9. They're great mice. Oh, is this a different one? Is this the G Pro Wireless 2? Well, I don't have one of those, then. I have the old version, I guess. On Twitter, it says they'll do watch parties, matches, and show matches in the arena. Yeah, pretty sick. I wonder if they will do stuff weekly. That just seems like too often to actually fill. The thing is, though, what people often do with arenas is that they close off a certain area of it, whether to do the stage or whether they just want a smaller feel. And so you could very easily turn a 3,000 person arena into a 1,000 person arena, cram all 1,000 of them into one segment, and it'll still feel really good, even if it's not fully sold out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I mean, the engagement rates that Comic Core have clearly got with people turning up to their events is super high anyway, because the turnout here is superb. Um, but I wonder what they'd be able to do if it was more regular. I'm pretty sure they're going to concert and events productions. So that's a great source of revenue. It is a great source of revenue to uh, rent out the venue, absolutely. 
Yeah. Donc, généralement, on a vraiment bah, le capitaine qui va avoir la parole au-dessus de toutes les autres. Renting a venue like that bah, costs an awful lot of money. But on, on you do need à, to pay parler, for you need you need to have staff etc. there to um, pas, you know to work it whether that's security people work in the concessions people work in the logistics. So there are costs associated that are not just like build it like you can't just build it and then leave it alone. You have to actually employ people to look after it as well. Does your favorite esports club have a stadium? Yeah, it does actually. I'm my favorite esports club is the Philadelphia Fusion, and they were building an esports stadium in 2020 or 2019 or something. I don't think they ever finished it. I don't think they ever even built it. I'm not sure. On a des systèmes de weekly où on voit les joueuses, où on parle aux joueuses, de nous voir de manière générale pour établir un focus euh, direct et voir le degré de concentration des joueuses à certains moments clés, notamment après des matchs. The shock des franchise matchs. just ça, ended. What do you mean? A, a implémenté, euh, il y a quelques temps. They haven't done the vote yet to end the Overwatch League, have they? On est sur Sonyx, euh, euh, qui est un logiciel qui nous permet aussi de communiquer de façon assez fluide euh, et qui a les bons côtés de. They lost de, their de, out de, of playoffs. Deux autres logiciels qu'on est censé euh, utiliser. Damn. Il n'y a pas beaucoup de ping. Euh, ça va rapidement. Euh, les comment l'interface est euh, et assez, euh, assez compréhensible et intuitif de fou, voilà. Et les bruitages sont incroyables. <rire> Genre, les bruitages sont incroyables. C'est les meilleurs bruitages de tous les, tous les outils de communication que j'ai jamais fait. Ce qui est vraiment pour money. le coup, oh, yeah, les yeah, retours yeah. sont vraiment me, pris en compte directement, puisque, bah, mine de rien, voilà, maintenant, on est quand même professionnel aussi dans le milieu. On I mean, technically, de années, technically... Il, il manque des fonctionnalités, c'est sûr. It was a draw, and it went to overtime. So maybe nobody should get the money. Moi, j'aime bien avoir un logiciel... Pour, euh, But I guess amis, G2 pour did actually win in the end. Pour les trucs, les machins, à côté, et avoir un autre logiciel vraiment dédié aux professionnels, ça peut que convenir à des professionnels, que de se savoir entendu, et avoir des gens qui vont régler les problématiques. Euh, Saudi Arabia is building an esports hub. How long do you think it will take for them to make it into mainstream esports? Guys, Saudi Arabia are already in mainstream esports. Saudi Arabia already own most of the Counter-Strike circuit. Saudi Arabia are sports washing the fuck out of Counter-Strike right now, and Almost nobody is batting an eyelid. Saudi Arabia already owns most of, like, the... They, they just ran... Also, they just ran Gamers 8 that had, like, a ton of different events happening there with loads of different esports. Like, they are trying their best to insert their horrendous, horrendous regime into esports as much as they can. Please, for the love of God, do not watch tournaments that are hosted in that country. Please. Do anything else with your life. Literally anything else is going to be less awful than supporting Saudi money coming into your favorite thing. Literally anything else. Do anything else. Like watching you stream? I know. I know it will be torture. I know that you will hate it, but please just sit down, strap yourself in, open your fucking eyeballs like the Clockwork Orange and watch my stream instead of watching the game is eight or whatever again. Would you cast a Saudi event if they threw the bag at you? No, absolutely not. Definitively no. I mean, unless it's like in a uh, fucking, you know, a hundred years time and I'm 128 and they've entirely undone the way that they run the country or something. But no, not at the moment. And not at any foreseeable time in the future because it doesn't look like it's getting any better. I mean, it's getting like marginally better, but the margins, are the, it's like getting so, so, so small amounts of better while still being so horrendously awful. No. Yo. Riccio, thank you for the 25 months. Not even for a million? Why would I need a million? I'm already comfortable. Why the fuck would I need them a million dollars? Why wouldn't you want a million? Well, I mean, if, you, if it was... <laughs> if, it, if it came from a different place, yeah. 
What if they get offered you five million and they gave you twenty million that you can donate to a charity? Why would that? St why would that still be a good thing? That's 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 literally gonna be worse. Like the that's guys. The Saudi regime has more money than it can possibly throw away. It has unbelievable amounts of oil that it is just sat on. It fucking they have cash for days. They are literally just buying legitimacy. That is the definition of sports washing, is just trying to get into these kind of areas through money and make you think about them as not being so bad because they're just involved in everything. Why the hell would it be any better if you just gave some of that money away to charity? It's not the money. The money's not the point. They're, like, taking money away from them does nothing. They just have an infinite amount of it, basically. In as much as it matters in the short term, or like, you know, our lifespan term, they have almost infinite money. <laughs> that doesn't... <laughs> I mean, yes, obviously, in a utilitarian point of view, like, getting $20 million given to some charity would, of course, eventually do more, like, good than harm. But the point is not that. Th that's such a... It would have to be such an absurd example that would be so totally devoid from reality for it to ever make sense. Yeah, there's like a six-minute break here, right? While they set up the Valorant game. What should we do? Should we do some GeoGuessr? Um, let's do let's do some GeoGuessr. I would like to do some rank to GeoGuessr as well. Okay. Um, okie dokie. Where is the ranked? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Is it this one? Where? Normally, the main screen has like. Am I going? What? Am I going mad here? Am I going mad? Where's the normal like? You click on it and it says like ranked duels or something. Yeah, the GeoGuessr UI update is tragic, honestly. It's tragic. Go to multiplayer. Oh, of course, because... Dude, multiplayer is such a stupid way of saying that. Me playing against other people online... Just just make it online or offline or something. Like, I, I, dude, I'm not playing multiplayer just because it's me playing against people online. That's so silly. I guess I am technically, but it makes me think of, like, me with a teammate. <clears throat> anyway. Is Germany included now in GeoGuessr? I think it is, but it has a lot of, like, the stuff blurred out or something. I'm not 100% on that. All right, let's 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 mess some people up. Okay, me versus Dorco. Yeah, I'm about to push you in a locker, Dorco. Where are we? This is looking like... This is looking like Australia or South Africa. We're driving on the left. Okay, what do you reckon? Australia, South Africa. Um... I mean, I guess we could just zip down the road, but the chances of us actually finding somewhere are really low. Oh, we have 10 seconds and we need to... I'm going to just click at the beginning in South Africa and then we're going to figure it out from there. We're going to click like around there and then we're going to... Fuck. How did he get it so close? He's absolutely rinsed me round one. How has he done that? Silver birch tree, looks European, looks like France or Belgium or something. It's in the summertime, looks lovely. I mean, to be honest, could be the UK. Hello, any identifying characteristic at all? Okay, we've got... Right. Uh, oh my god, no it's not. Okay, what is that language? Um, um, Polish? 
I don't know. I don't know, chat. But I'm just going to try and put the pressure on him, I guess. Oh, it was the Czech Republic. Yeah, I guess that makes a bit more sense, actually. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to stage a comeback here. So what is that? That looks like an old rundown Renault or something. So we've got blue on the left. I mean, this could be this could be the Czech Republic again. Or, no. Mm, well, it could be. It looks Alpine, doesn't it? Alpine? Alpine? It's got A-frames. It's got, like, A-frame things. Isn't that supposed to be a giveaway? That, like, we're in Austria or something? A, a for Austria? I don't know. God, we could be in Austria. Ah, fuck it. Just send it. Send it. We're in Austria. We're in Austria. You know, I said Alpine. I mean, I guess... <laughs> Mm, that's not a very good guess, really, is it? Oh, we were in Slovakia. Huh. Well, it certainly wasn't Alpine. Round four. Okay, what the hell's the... Ah, blurred houses. Is that Germany? Okay, I think that means Germany or Belgium. Because they have... Restrictions on... So let's see if we can find French or German. If we find French, I'm going for Belgian. Belgium. Otherwise, going for German. Find me some text. Some text. Any amount of text. Text on a road sign. Anywhere. Kona. Fuck! I don't know what that means. I don't know what language that even is. Shit. Like, tiny little run-down cars. I don't know what language. What country are we in here? Hmm. Shit. I think this is... Fuck. I'm not... I'm not really sure. I thought the blurred houses were more common in Belgium for some reason. But... I might just be making that up. I really might just be making that up. Let's put it there. Fuck it. This guy isn't... I, I, I don't want to give this guy too much time. Communicala... No, that's not. This is going to be... That's not... Oh, it's... could that be Flemish? No. Oh my god, where are we? Slovenia? Wait, no. Wait. Yeah, oh my god. How was I supposed to know that Slovenia? How was I supposed to know? Are we back? Okay, we're, it looks like we're back. Moment musical, très sympathique toujours lors de ces événements. Ça nous permet un peu de décompresser, de se défouler, et après on reprendra le combat. I thought blurred houses were a sign that you were in Belgium or Germany because of their stricter privacy rules. Oh, this is the cons. Derrière, vous l'avez vu, on sait. Plutôt bien réveillé hein, avec euh, Kurama sur euh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Et derrière, la petite glissade. I think I might play GeoGuessr and come back for the battle. Un comeback de, de fou furieux. On perd sur le, le fil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play GeoGuessr. I'm gonna play GeoGuessr. People can request to have their own houses blurred. Yeah, but I think it happens much more often in certain countries because of some laws. Yeah, for game changes. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm coming back for game changes. All right, so we're driving on the left here. This looks like South Africa, doesn't it? Maybe not, actually. Where the fuck are we? What is that flag? Oh my god, where the fuck are we? Shit, I have no fucking clue where we are. Are we in Malaysia? Oh my god, Malaysia. Are we in Malaysia? Well... Dude, I don't even know what country that is. Th those islands mess me up so much in Southeast Asia. I, I don't know which they belong to. Alright, where are we? This, this looks like you should be able to recognize it immediately. It kind of looks a bit like... Istanbul, but I don't think it is. Where are we, though? D 
danger. Entrance is prohibited. No fishing. Um. Can I can I skip ahead somewhere? Hello, let me move, please. Oh shit, they guessed. I don't have a clue. I don't even know. I don't even know where in the world I'm looking here. I really don't even know where in the world I'm looking. I don't know where the fuck in the world I'm looking at. I mean, I I could go for like. I didn't. I didn't click. I didn't click. Oh, it was the United Arab Emirates. Eh, uh, that would have been a that would have been a sensible guess to be honest. Okay, what is this? Trucks. Brother, you can't be guessing right now. You can't be guessing. Is this Norway? Is this Sweden? Fuck, I don't know. I was closer. It was it was actually almost exactly on where I put the um put my first guess and then I changed it to Sweden so it was a little closer. Okay, where is this? So we've got trash in the road and a little bit of like rundown infrastructure in general. Um Is this South Asia or Southeast Asia? What is this? Oh shit! I suck at this. I don't know what language this is. Is this... Fuck, I have no clue. Okay, I'm just gonna put it there for now while we go and explore some more. So that I don't get caught out. Right, there's people riding a lot of motor... motor... Okay. We should be able to do it just from the script, I think. I don't have a clue. I'm I'm gonna go with I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it was Cambodia. But I was further away. That's definitely America. Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Alright, where are we here then? So what continent are we gonna be in? Europe maybe? Somewhere Mediterranean? Either that or somewhere in South America that's fairly north. Actually, let's have a look. Where, where's the sun? The sun is in the south, so we're probably in Europe somewhere. Oh, this guy's guessed already. There's red on the side of this number plate. I have no idea what that means. Oh, Christ. I have no clue where we are. Oh, my fucking God. I didn't click. I was gonna- I was gonna get unbelievable points there because this guy guessed in fucking South America despite the fact the sun is in the south. What a dumbass. Oh my god, where are we? So, we're in the US, but where in the US? 905, Uncle Joe's Family Restaurant. Um... Chiropractic center. Where the hell is this? Intrepid Mortgage Company. Oh, Scotia. We're in Nova Scotia, actually. We're in... Where is Nova Scotia? Fuck, I don't know Nova Scotia. Right, put the pressure on him. Oh, shit. He guessed, like, at the same time I did. What? We're in Toronto? <laughs> Scotia Bank isn't only in Nova Scotia? Brother. Why would they call it that then? Just call it Canada Bank. Just call it Canada Bank. Don't call it Scotia Bank. Ah. <sighs> Check out this matrix ass stat, by the way. On the six hundred and six on the six thousand six hundred and sixty-sixth map, the shock suffered their sixty-sixth all-time loss. Among teams that have competed all six years, the next closest are the NYXL and the NA Gladiators. 
What the fuck? So Shock have been eliminated from playoffs after six years, 66 losses, and their 6,666 map in the league. That's, that's, the, we're living in a simulation. We're living in a simulation. All right, I'm determined to win some of these duels. Oh, why do they keep putting me up against good players? What's going on here, Clay? All right, where are we? So the things are green and yellow. There's a general store here. That doesn't really tell me too much. Dilip Kumar, okay. Green and yellow, is that a country's flag or something? Mother Dairy. So we've got some like English script in places. And oh, we've got the like connecting lines over the top, which does make me feel like we're probably somewhere in India, although places in Bangladesh and places around that use the same kind of thing, don't they? Um, I don't think I'm going to get any closer than just a vague area here. I I'm going to put it like somewhere over there because I feel like we could be in Bangladesh or India. Oh my god. I mean, it we were just bang in the middle of New Delhi and the guy guessed there. Fuck. Oh, did it say New Delhi on the plate? Oh, shit. Okay. All right, we've got a yellow line running down the middle of the road. Some script I can't read. And really unusual house design. Someone on a motorbike or like a scooter, a moped kind of thing. Um, and red clay. Bren loves his red clay. Bren would know exactly where we are already. Bren would know immediately where we are. Me? Not a clue. So the houses are extremely spread out. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. we caught something there. There's a bit of script on this. What does that say? It said 76. So we're on road 76. I have no fucking idea. Again, dude, my, my knowledge of... Scripts is horrendous. Does that look a little bit like Myanmar? Maybe? But their roads aren't named like 76. Oh, well, I guess their smaller roads are named like that, actually. Possibly? Alternatively, could we be in... No, these are all called like the N roads. Could we be in Myanmar? Is that just a goated guess from me? Where would road 76 be? Okay, I think I'm wrong. Wait, road 85? I mean, if it was going to be near any road, maybe it'd be near something like that. Dude, like I have a fucking clue. I don't have a fucking clue where we are right now. I don't have a clue. I haven't even used this time productively to look around. I don't I don't have any idea where we are. No idea. No idea. We're in Cambodia again. Fuck's sake. Well, there was Road 76. Okay. Water out of a fountain. Very dusty road. Land Rover kind of looking thing. I'm looking for a language. Oh, and there's no shot. You know where this is already. You shut the fuck up. It's just such bullshit. MT. I mean, this is just absolute nonsense. Fuck knows. I don't have a clue. I don't know. We're in Ghana. How the fuck do these people know this? The tape on the car said it was Ghana. <laughs> How am I? Okay, where are these? 
These fucking trees are so distinctive. If I get this once, I'll know it for the rest of time. Unfortunately, I don't know it. Okay, French. Okay, so the it's baobab trees, which I think we're going to see in Africa, but I'm not sure. And it's French, so does that mean it's going to be... Senegal? Or am I just absolutely capping? Or like... Cote d'Ivoire? Or... Oh, I can see the chat popping off in my peripheral vision. I have no idea. Guys, I don't have a clue. Where do they speak French in... I mean, am I just completely wrong that this is even in Africa? These trees look so... Okay, but it's also got writing in English as well. Fokontani Bezo Na... See you. Fuck me. Bruh. I don't know. This is a national park. Fuck it. I don't, I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Chat. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Madagascar? Oh, shit, bro. Of course, Madagascar. Okay. Those trees are only in Madagascar? Really? Okay, now we're gonna... Okay, we're, dr we're driving on the left, I think. This is Japan. Where in Japan? Does it matter? I'm not gonna know. I'm literally never going to know by just wandering around Japan at all. Surely this guy also knows it's in Japan and is just trying to find wh where the area is. So before he does that, I might as well just guess, right? Okay, he already did. <sighs> There's just no way I'm going to know which district we're in. 461. Is there anything that says 461 at all? Fucking not a clue. Well, it was just outside Tokyo, which I guess is not that bad. Yeah, they were baobab trees. Okay, so those aren't only in Madagascar. I'm getting one guide on the internet. That's good to know. Is that Greek? Motherfucker, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sending it. I'm just sending it. I'm so ignorant. Oh, it wasn't. It was Bulgaria. Okay. I actually got away with murder there. Hmm. Flat? Field? I mean, this could be bloody anywhere. This kind of looks like where I am right now. Cows in the field? Sheep in the field? It looks European. That's as close as I can get at the moment. We've got sticks with red things on them. Doesn't look like the UK anymore. Mailbox. Warning. Wait, the word warning written in English. Maybe it is in the UK. Wait, maybe this is in the US actually. Yeah, I don't recognize that style of telephone pole from the UK. Hmm. Henderson's Lane, Williamson's Line. Yeah, I mean, it does... It now looks more US to me than it does anything else. Um... Cow country. Where do they milk cows? Uh, where's the? Where are the Green Bay Packers from? Wisconsin? Is that a thing? Fuck it. Driving on the left? I've trolled. I've trolled immensely, chat. They're driving on the left. 
It's New Zealand. Of course, New Zealand does just look like a nicer version of the UK. Of course it was. Of course it was. This is a wasteland. It's probably Australia. El Nino. El... Don't know what. We're driving on the right. Ha. Huh. This really is a fucking wasteland. So these, these cars were so slow that we overtook them in the Google car. Does that tell us anything? This looks like US... This looks like the United States now, actually. Why are we driving sometimes on the left-hand side of the road? What's going on here? Why are we overtaking so many cars? Who was driving the Google car at this point? They're a lunatic. They're an absolute madman. How are we overtaking everybody? Uh, that doesn't... Uh, is that Spanish, maybe? Chihuahua? I don't know. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. In northern Peru. <sighs> the camera can face the other way on those cars. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. We weren't overtaking. I'm getting fisted out here. Okay, what is this? So we've got Arabic, I think, along with a paid parking sign. Does that indicate that we're in United Arab Emirates again? Dental clinic to let. Okay, let's look at the sun. Where is the sun? So the sun looks like it's over in that direction, which is northwest. So we're probably in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, I think we're in the southern hemisphere here. A lot of English here, though. A lot of English. Dubai. We're in Dubai. Incredible. Incredible, actually. Wait, fuck, where's Dubai? <laughs> uh, that's Abu Dhabi. Dude, I'm losing it. Okay, Dubai. And then, not just Dubai, but we're in... Mukarakabat. No idea. Well, we did nine points of damage. What does that say? Akashus Falk in a back commune. Is that gonna be German? Dale Fjerdingen. It sounds Alpine German or maybe Swiss or something. Ostfold Filk. See, now that sounds more... What language is gonna... Oh, Danish, maybe? So it's like a little bit German, a little bit... Ostfold. Spiedeberg Commune. Hmm. This is looking about right, though, I think. I think Denmark seems like a better shot than Sweden. But maybe not. It does look a little Swedish, doesn't it? those signs. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, neither of us can figure out where we are by the look of it. Because this round is going on for a long time. 
Let's just keep going down this way and hope we run into something. What does that say? Fuck, I can't make it out. Speederberg. Norway. We're in Norway. Dot N-O. Okay, this is Norwegian. Right, so we'll put it down near Oslo to begin with. In Speederberg. Speederberg, 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 Speederberg. Oh, well. We were closer. If in doubt, put it near the central part where the population live. It was Norwegian. Interesting. All right, let's look at the sky again. Sun is in the south. We're in the northern hemisphere. It's looking Mediterranean to me. But then again, everything does, apparently. Are we in Portugal or Greece or something? It's giving me Portugal kind of vibes for some reason. But I really don't know enough to know whether that makes sense or not. Oh, it's got an accent over the A, and that's all I can make out, apart from sexual. Where are we? Rua Manuel Laranchira Pintor. That looks Portuguese to me. Pintor, Pintor. I wonder if we can find the exact place. If it was, in fact, Portugal. It looks like it would be close to the coast. Oh, this guy's locked something in. Porto? I mean, that sounds like... <laughs> that sounds right. Fuck, it was near Lisbon. God damn it. Oh, they're doing the walkouts? Okay, let me boss this round then. Let me boss this game real quick and we'll we'll tune back in. It's autumn. I don't know where we are. White lines on the road. They're driving on the right. That looks more like Spanish to me. Uh, wait, sun in the sky. Sun is in the north, actually. The sun is in the north. Oh, shit. Where the fuck are we? Oh, crap. Where the fuck are we? Um, we're in Peru. Not a fucking clue, chat. Don't have a fucking clue. Argentina, perhaps? Don't have a clue. But I'm pretty sure the sun is in the north. So. Wow, this guy didn't even... Yeah, we, we were in Peru. I should have just guessed near Santiago instead of uh, near an area where no one lives. Or I guess, I, I guess near Lima. That doesn't really track, does it? Panama. Does that mean we're in Panama? We're driving on the left. Or is this a one-way street? No, we're definitely driving on the left. Ah, oh, shit. Where are we? Ah, oh, fuck. What country's driving the left? Fuck, is it Malaysia again? Yes, I'm a fucking boss. I'm owning this fraud. I'm actually owning this fraud. named Mel in Valorant. Bro went Panama? Well, that just shows you there's no redeeming some people.
That guy looked like the person from the meme where you're just fucking shouting in a woman's ear at a club there. Stax is so incredibly good, yeah. She's also a lawyer, I think. Who, Mel? Sage main back in the day. What was the what was the thing that she was supposed to draw? Oh, a monument. <laughs> yep. Yep, icebox. Yep. I actually thought that guy at the back was doing an Aspas cosplay. Que bom que te inspiramos. Vocês nos inspiram também. A gente veio aqui tirar uma foto aqui. Vocês veem também? Joe is the loud coach too? Yeah, I saw that earlier. But I like that content piece. That was good. Have you heard the crowd in the background? Over the loud logo, it was written overrated. How good are the teams? I think the loud team's actually pretty decent, aren't they? I'm not really sure though. On est en direct, on est de retour. Ici à Paris, la Défense Arena. Et je me suis installé justement là où le commentary a lieu depuis le début de cette soirée. J'espère que tout le monde va bien, que vous continuez de passer un bon moment ici. C'est le cas, il faut pas semblant. Je voulais justement qu'on revienne avec Lirilia, Ninou, Nelo, Mel, Matrix. It would be so much fun to see a crowd that was half French, half Brazilian in a match like this. The Brazilian crowd was amazing when they were cheering for the Brazilian teams. I've come and caught one a match today. They won against two players in Smash Ultimate. And they went 2-1 and one in Smash Ultimate. Um, and they almost won in Rocket League. Eh ben, faut que ça continue. Faut que ça continue, comme ça va permettre de créer de nouvelles vocations, de nouvelles envies, et je pense qu'elles peuvent encore aller plus loin, aller chercher des titres encore plus ambitieux. Mais ça prendra son temps. Justement, parlant de temps, half French, half British. I think the British. It depends what game you're in. The British crowds in Call of Duty, I think, are pretty like rowdy. But the British crowds in like Overwatch, or I think probably Valorant as well, would not be that great compared to the French crowds. If I had to guess. And the turnout would not be very large. I don't think. Video games are not particularly popular in the UK. I mean, Call of Duty is massive in the UK, but other games like Call of Duty and FIFA are massive in the UK. But games like Valorant, not really going to get many people that play it here. The Face It London Major had a good crowd. Oh, did they? 
One CD event in London, the crowd were chanting ball chants at Maven. Yeah, I think in, in COD, I think the British crowd would be good, yeah. There was a League of Legends International in London recently, and the crowd was dominated by Chinese students studying in the UK. That does not surprise me. League of Legends is... I mean, there are people that play it in the UK, but it is not super popular. Yeah, UK is a console country, definitely. We only like FIFA because it's footy and COD because fish and chips. C'est signé, c'est fait jusqu'en 2025, c'est canon. Oh god. Et justement, on parlait des joueuses en tant que justement. Are they gonna troll because they don't want to show strats? The season is over. Oh no, wait, the season isn't over, is it? For game changers? Wait, when is the game changers final? La Carmine Corp de l'autre côté, Loud, une équipe qui nous vient tout droit du Brésil. Du bruit, mesdames et messieurs, pour Lupia! November 28th. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know if they'll troll or take it seriously. I have no idea. They're in group stage right now in the EMEA. Oh. Let's go. So this is Carmen Core's Game Changers team. They've been doing a lot of losing recently. Hey, je me suis fait embrouiller uh, hier, Kabel. I mean, je, je parlais avec Mel, tu vois, on est, on est très proche, vu que c'est aussi la petite sœur de Godaga, et je lui ai dit, euh, hey, t'es prête pour le showmatch et tout Elle m'a dit, showmatch okay, Mais so t'es fou, toi Elle m'a dit, y'a pas de showmatch, nous, demain, c'est la guerre, nous, demain, they on joue la victoire Et donc, il euh, va falloir maintenant qu'elle réponde présent, sachant qu'on a du mal à jauger Loud la différence de niveau entre ces deux équipes qui ne se croisent pas du tout. Loud have lost a couple of games recently as well, but that was a loss in the grand finals, right? Loud have lost a couple of games recently as well, but that was a loss in the grand finals of the qualifier, wait, actually. Huh. Oh mon dieu. Si ça peut se passer comme ça, ça serait extraordinaire. Yes, I'm not sure exactly how good they are. Allez, vous allez en apprendre un petit oh peu no, plus but this qualifier had everybody in it. Yeah, like Team Liquid Brazil is playing in here and that kind of stuff, so I think everyone is playing in the qualifier. So yeah, they look like they're a pretty decent team in Brazil. Their last game was a 13-0. No shot. Oh no. 13 10. 13 10. 13 0. Chat, how do they do it? Chat, how does Carmen Core do it in Valorant? How do they manage to find. What is the phrase for the opposite of a hidden gem? They can only go up from here. That is such a great way of putting it. They can only go up from here. Okay. They can only go up from here. A coal in the diamonds. <laughs> Visible coal. All right. Come on, Carmen Cole. Come on. They won't get 30 dollars. Uh, actually, I'm going to go and grab a snack now a drink so that I've got time, you know, so that I don't have to miss part of the game. Déjà, 
déjà que Capelle, juste prendre le micro, c'est archi dur. Alors j'ose même pas imaginer pour les joueuses euh, ce que ça doit être, euh, ne, pas, euh, ne pas oublier cette full focus viseur, écouter les calls aussi, parce ouais. que je pense qu'il y a quand même pas mal de bruit. Ça les soutient évidemment, mais parfois ça peut être un peu euh, compliqué. Mais moi je me fais pas de soucis. Moi ouais, elles vont parler un peu des compos, on verra ce qu'elles ont choisi. Et là on voit même qui crie. Ça commence à s'ambiancer, ça commence à se mettre dans l'énergie. I just forgot. I put, I put chicken nuggets in the air fryer about an hour ago. <laughs> And they've just been sat there. <laughs> It's fine, it, it wasn't on the whole time. It turned off. But they're very cold now. Why are you making chicken nuggets? Because I was out, I came in, and immediately started streaming. I don't have time to cook. That is my dinner, yeah. As far as I'm aware, I think this is the biggest Valorant crowd ever. For game changers and for Valorant. There might have been a larger event in Japan, but I don't think so. The Masters Tokyo had 11,000 people. Uh, I think Champions had a little bit more than that, but not much more. It was pretty much the same. And then um, there were some tournaments in the off-season that had like 20,000, I think, but this is nearly 30,000. Rudy, thank you for the 15 months. Souffle, thank you for the 14 months. Dude, the, the guy with the megaphone leading chance is goated. All right, let's go. Unfortunately, it is not T1. It is loud. But it's all right, I've got you guys. I've got you guys. That's pretty nice from Lisa. And the rest of Loud has just burst into the seaside. This is gonna be tough. They have a paranoia, dog, flash. No spam attempt there from Nello, who might have been able to catch the planter. Yo, enough. Thank you for the prime. Oh, it says loud now. Nice. All right. Dog to begin. No paranoia yet. Broken. Paranoia. Okay, Mel used it. They flash. Oh, but it's so badly timed. Ninu's gonna try and get it done. Wait, winnable though. Actually winnable. Somehow. I like the way that uh, Monsen is playing this. I mean, they, they just had to stick there, right? They just had to stick. Okay. So, Lisa did a lot at the beginning of the round by being able to pick up two when she got pushed through B. But... Okay, so we... I do, actually, yeah. Thanks for the five months. We're gonna play some Minecraft in the off-season, yeah. We're gonna play with a bunch of us. Um, so the comp that Kamen Core are running here is a phoenix instead of a viper, which is weird. I could see a team like Paper Rex being able to play this comp really well, getting big value out of the wall, but that's a bold strategy. Just a reminder, chat. Last time Carmen Core played a map, it was a 13-0 against Foot's female team. So they're currently on a 15-round loss streak. 
We're gonna go, <laughs> the crowd is gonna go nuts when they win their first round. No, not for them. And your permaband for being transphobic. Get the fuck out my chat. Thank you, Alpha Crash. Oh, oh my god, the Phoenix spray down. The Phoenix spray down. The time is the time is now. The time is now. The streak has been broken. Nobody. Nobody gets 16 rounds in a row against Carmen Corp. God, these, these nuggies do not taste as good when they're not warm. They did for the male team, though. What, lose 15 rounds in a row? <laughs> yeah, the common, <laughs> the common core main team operates on its own principles, okay? All I'm saying is you don't beat the Game Changers team 15 rounds in a row. <laughs> We've got a flank going on here from Matrix and Mel. They're going to hit the alarm bot, but often these alarm bots end up getting turned off because the Killjoy is pretty far away. I don't exactly know what the range is here. I think this alarm bot's still going to be active. We'll see. Yeah, alarm bot has to be broken. Now these two players are going to turn around. Surely. Viper. Hello. Viper. Viper. Alright, the Viper just got themselves in a position where they were tucked in front of the box and had to take their duel up front, and then the smoke dropped, so... Oh, jelly bangs just banged them out. Jelly bangs! On for the ace! Oh no, someone already died earlier on. I'm off the goop. Me, when I'm a raise and I just hide inside a smoke and get two kills on people scaling into it and then another two afterwards. Mm. When, um... <laughs> this might be the most one-sided game of, uh... Of this show match event. In which case, the crowd is gonna be pissed. And they're about to head into League of Legends, so they should be doubly pissed, because then they're forced to watch League as well. Big alts here for Loud on Attack too. Showstopper, Nightfall, really huge for being able to get in. And look at all of this space! I mean, this is just huge amounts of space. These loud players don't even... They just need to apply a little bit of pressure. Okay, now they need to deal with it because Kamakura forcing the issue. Nice. The way that loud are coming back in to reinforce this is really cool. Uh, they probably should have sent one player in quickly to help this Killjoy. This Killjoy player is pretty isolated right now and has too many angles to worry about. Um, but... I'm not sure how to pronounce her name either. Chrismi? They held on anyway. They held on. The team name before the loud game changes got picked up was Jelly and Friends, just like Pancado and Friends. That's really cool. Why do you hate League so much? Because I think it's funny to hate on the most popular esport in the world. And also, I genuinely just haven't played it and don't understand what's going on. It's more like cries me. Cries me. Right, okay. You can't have Valorant without a technical pause. I'm glad we're getting one nice and early.
The production in Worlds is excellent, but I just can't watch the games. I enjoy all of the stuff outside of the game. And then once it gets into the game at Worlds, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go and do something else now because I just don't get it. Yeah, what do you want to ask C? Worlds is just an excuse to get drunk while watching video games. I have definitely done that before. But I'd rather get drunk while watching, like, The Great British Bake Off or something. If I'm going to watch something I don't normally watch whilst doing a drinking game. We, we did a drinking game, actually, by the way, for The Great British Bake Off. If you haven't seen the show, they, in the middle of summer, put a bunch of bakers, like amateur bakers, in a tent. And then they all, you know, it's just a baking um, cooking show where every week somebody gets, uh, like, voted off by the judges. But it's it's a super lovely, heartwarming, wholesome show. And the one of the rules was every time it's raining, every time you can see on camera that it's raining outside, you have to waterfall your drink. And we were playing while drinking red wine. And to say we got obliterated would be an understatement. It was just raining for like two episodes in a row. And it was game over. It was absolutely game over. I was at Puckett's house. And I think it was one of the most rowdy I've ever been. All right. This looks very winnable. 5v3 situation, retake. Love this idea of making some kind of play happen. But you're going to have to kill the Seekers and come back and try and actually fight through onto site here. And you've smoked yourself off. That's big. That's big. Nice opening kill. These two players need to find value. And the flash works again. Good value from the Phoenix here from Carmen Core. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. And others, we got a game. Friends, comrades, we have a game. Yinsu said Phoenix is meta in game changers. Why not? Why not? Get silly. That sounds great to me. What am I drinking? Ginger beer. Phoenix flashes are pretty tough to dodge. I really enjoy playing Phoenix in ranked. I was playing a bunch of... Um, I was actually playing ranked last night on American servers. I was playing on like Eastern and Central servers because I was playing with Custer who's just started playing a lot more Valorant. So I was playing with Custer and Matt, Mr. X, Morello, the CEO of Platchat. Ooh, trying to set up some kind of trap play there, and they catch Lisa, all right. So they flush the Viper out by taking contact, going for a Sky Flash, pushing with the Phoenix. I like that idea. Loud have been really trying to abuse the Sea Hold. A little late on the Nana Swarm pop there from Nello. But, Nello has locked down for retake. They could push even further after that with the showstopper. It looks like Lauda gonna try and fight over this. Alright, Nello goes down, takes two with. But that means that there's also no lockdown available. Manzin. What a play this could possibly be. Oh my god, what a play. Shut down. Very diligent. Nicely done. Nicely handled. So that's now two rounds in a row where Kamikor have executed a player advantage retake onto C pretty nicely. Not bad, not bad. You don't own Platchat? No, I do own Platchat. We're co-owners. I just like to joke that Matt is the CEO. Do you think Neon will be more meta in 2024? Um, um, maybe. 
I think Ray's is more likely to just fill the gap the Jets left behind. But we've definitely seen quite a lot of Neon be used on certain maps before. We've seen Neon be used on Fracture, we've seen Neon be used on Lotus and stuff as well. But in general, once teams kind of figure out how to deal with the Neon and which corners to fight over and how to throw their utility, it becomes less useful because it forces you to play at a high tempo almost all the time rather than being able to blend it. Oh my god, Lisa's just going to try and walk in. There's no way they know there's three players here. Oh my god, the timing is ridiculous. And GG. And GG, it's a 2v5. Johnny Pastrami, thanks for the six months. Tallboats, thanks for the new Prime 7. Sirion, thank you for the five months as well. What happened to Jet? Jet got heavily nerfed. Yeah, Matt is still in Overwatch. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the point of what I was talking about was I was playing last night on American servers, playing with Custer and playing with Matt. And I was playing Killjoy in, like, plat lobbies and fucking dominating. I think I need... I think I just need to play more Killjoy. Jet is the Lucio of Valorant. No matter what the meta is, she'll still get played in some capacity. Um, yeah, the nerfs are pretty harsh, but I still think she is usable. I think, I think some pros will still use her, even in the state that she's in right now. Yeah. Killjoy is all about the setups in ranked. No, I disagree. Killjoy is about having discipline in ranked. Killjoy is about anticipating other people pushing into you and punishing them. That's what it's about. Yeah, we played against a guy who was... I don't know whether he was walling or aimboarding or what, but we played against a cheater um, who was playing Rays, and he was one-tapping me through smokes and through walls. It was ridiculous. That was me? I don't... Th well, I hope not. He got banned, like, just as the game finished. So we still lost all of our rank rating. <laughs> Alright. Round 9. Rifles back up. We've got big ultimates online here. Altorb manages to get the lockdown in place. That can be used for B or C. Really good spaces here to be able to use it. I mean, Common Core are not in position to be able to hold off any of these hits. Why aren't they trying to use the lockdown that they just got? Why wouldn't you try to use... Mm, okay, save it for post or something? Maybe they're saving it for another round. They've managed to get a really clean entry into the seaside. They just use their blast packs to get rid of all of the Killjoy utility. Maybe they use it to counter the other lockdown? So you know as the attackers that this is going to be the most common lockdown spot for the retake. All right, lockdown use. So now the attacking team uses lockdown, right? Christme uses lockdown? Nope, because they're worried about the showstopper. And they've killed everyone anyway. All good. Absolutely destroyed. I think Jelly went forwards, killed a bunch of people in Waterfall and broke the lockdown. You reported him and you got the banned message? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't really see on screen what Jelly did, but Jelly did Jelly things, yep. On God, Jelly is the female Aspaz. Alright, push out, break the turret, reset. But you need to be moving more quickly than that, I think. It's very unlikely the attackers are going to re-clear this area. So it would be beneficial for a few of you to be rotating out and going somewhere else right now. And Killjoy's not playing forwards to get information early on. Playing back here, so they get info really late because they couldn't hear any of all of this. So now they're just going to be playing retake again. Kamikor playing retake once more here. 
But this time, the ults are horrible for them. They don't have big ultimates to be able to use. There's a post ban lockdown available as well. Uh, this this looks really difficult for Comic Core. Uh, I mean, wh what do you even do here? What do you do? You just have to wait out the lockdown. And now you have to hope that you have a utility advantage, which I guess you kind of do. You still have two, uh, two smokes, two flashes, paranoia, uh, the nade, but you have to go so quickly. Matrix trades, jelly fries, jelly fries again. <laughs> oh. Did you just see that shit? Wait, jelly actually might be ass bus. Jelly's ridiculous. Jelly might actually be Aspas. Can we get a good observer? I feel like that's pretty reasonable from the observer's point of view to expect one of these three players to trade out the rays. And instead, Jelly's just got good movement and just goes like bang, bang, bang. <laughs> deletes them. What I'd like to see is a replay. Or just stay on the Jelly POV. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. What a read. Except Aspas doesn't play for loud. True Jinsanity. True. Alright, Matrix responding. This could be something. Prowler spots contact. Love this call from Loud, actually. They Prowler and immediately run away as the Prowler's going forward. So they have the max amount of time. This is good re-exploration by Ninu. I think at this point, though, you just you guarantee that it's a C here. These two players can stay here. Try and anchor. They still have Paranoia. Paranoia gets used. Break the haunt, please. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. The timing. Oh. Winnable, 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 winnable for Ninu. Uh, wall banged too close to the corner. Oh, I mean, Ninu has no idea right now. Ah, unfortunate, unfortunate. Nice call in the mid round there from Loud to group up and go for the C hit, but I think when it's a 3v2 on site on C, Kamiko should have been able to apply a bit more pressure than that. Don't exactly know what Mel was up to there after throwing the paranoia. I think they still had time to break the haunt and get out, but maybe not. Maybe that's the situation where Nelo has to do that. Very, very similar defensive setup here as well. We really haven't changed too much. I guess Kamen Core went aggressive B towards one of these rounds. But I'd like to see them run some kind of like C trap play off orb tap and put the Killjoy over towards A, for example. Or put turret B, alarm bot A, <coughs> and play heavier C in that way. With like one of the player hard anchor A. The Phoenix might pop off here actually. Wait, the Phoenix ult. Oh, Jelly is frying. Jelly is... Okay, I thought the Phoenix had got the kill there, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was Leary. It was Mel. Ooh, making another call late in the round to pivot away. I think it would have been better there for Lisa to join Monzin. But Lisa is now in a spot where she could potentially pick some people up. Okay, I think I think they've heard both of them wrapping over towards heaven now.
I'm not huge on this play from Lisa, but at least it puts the two of them not in the same spot. Munson has to be first contact here. And is. Oh, Lisa kind of beefed it. The time. Guaranteed win for Lisa. A 9 3 half. Loud stomped them. Kamikor didn't have enough uh, ideas on the defense there of what they were up to, I think. But. Also, when Jelly's 15 and 6 and just owning you in raw aim duels, that's also going to happen. 9 3 curse. Hmm. 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 What is the significance of this game? This is actually the Game Changers final. What's going on here then? Okay. That is what we call the Chad Omen buy. No paranoia on pistol, ghost, and teleport. Alright, so they bust into B. I really like the Rays and the Fade playing together in this kind of spot. Just a little duo. Clean from Jelly and Lisa, but Jelly does get traded. The flash is good. Oh, there's no way. There's no way that Tehu gets that. Okay, okay. Too, uh, it just took loud. Uh, it took Kamiko too long to deal with those players. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> the fade, full blind, killed one of them, and then managed to run over to the other side and distract for long enough that Mel couldn't actually get the punish and uh, got backstabbed. Kenada, thank you for the 100 bits. After seeing these Kamikor fans, it's hard to not be a fan of KC myself. I'm sad that Scream's probably leaving Kamikor. I hope they get a good uh, roster next year. Yeah, I... Uh, according to Flynn's spreadsheet, there's a lot of people being considered, right? Like, Kamikor on Flynn's spreadsheet are such a mess of a team right now. They were thinking about... I mean, I don't know whether they still are, but Eng is listed as a potential head coach. Uh, Redgar was being potentially considered as an IGL. That's a nice paranoia. Hoo, 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 hoo. That is good from Matrix. All right. Casey with the force buy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Christmi's got two, though. Oh, and Nino got paranoid. Uh-oh. 7 HP. Winnable though, winnable, super winnable. Nello cleans this up. Every day of the week, Nello cleans this up. Oh, the fake TP when you have a spike up, when you have a smoke up on the spike anyway. Oh my god. Did you hear the did you hear the crowd? You heard the crowd? They were like they're already down 310 and they're like, Nello, like come on, we can still win, Nello. And then just immediately, it's Jova. It's Jova. It's never been so over. They forced, they were in a 2v1 that was a bit more like a 1v1 towards the end, really, because uh who was it? Ninu was on 7 HP and just got caught backpedaling. But it does appear to be over. Ale le what? Ah, le bleu. What color is it? Blue. Poor Carmen Court. Getting absolutely obliterated. Hey, Sancho, I heard you're definitely watching the league games. I didn't know you were chill like that. The only way I watch the league games is if the league fans in my chat are subbing like crazy. Otherwise, I'm going to go and play Baldur's Gate. And I'm not ashamed to say it. It's money. <laughs> you got to pay me to... Oh my god, what a flick. Oh, 
that smoke was just nice enough for Tehuhu to be able to cross. Ah, Jasmatic, thank you for the prime. Unfortunate. Not able to get the spam. That wall is still thick, even though you have a sheriff. Oh, Grumpy Kitten, thank you for the 14 months. Blippy Jacob and Champion, thank you for the prime as well. Oh, Mianchkin, thank you for the prime. You know, probably I should have set a goal for this rather than just milking you guys and then playing Baldur's Gate anyway, huh? League of Legend. Should I do a stream? Where I co-stream the League of Legends game whilst pretending to cast. I don't know how long I could keep it up for. I think it would hurt my soul. <laughs> Thank you for the 400 bits. This is for Baldur's Gate 3, not that Mickey Mouse game. <laughs> Thank you, D-Town. Well, the Baldur's Gate fans are putting up some strong arguments here, guys. Strong arguments. Bren did the rat royale, you can do this. I would rather cast <laughs> I would rather cast rats <laughs> fighting in the New York sewer system. Have you ever chatted about League with Ender? No, not really. <laughs> Yo champion! Thank you for the five gifteds! Wait, the League fans are coming out in force here, guys. The League fans are coming out in force. Redshift. Thank you for the three months. My sub for anything but League of Legends. Powell, thank you for the five months. I will unsub if you watch League of Legends. Fish, thank you for the three months. Another vote for Baldur's Gate 3. To Jubinai, 300 bits saying League of Legends is better than Valorant. There's a war going on right now. There's a war going on and I can't tell who's winning. I think at the moment League of Legends is still winning. Come on, Carmen Core, come on. I've seen comebacks like this. You only need another eight in a row. You want my dude, thank you for the tier one. Thank you very much for the new tier one sub. How many maps do they play? I would assume it's just one if it's League, right? Because those games can go on for a while. But maybe they'll do a BO3 because it's a really popular game. You should watch League. After all, they call you the faker of casting. That's true, because I fake it till I make it. I haven't made it yet, but one day. <laughs> one day. D-Town, D-Town, thank you for the 10 gifteds. Wait, wasn't D-Town on the Baldur's Gate train? D-Town just gifted 10 subs for me to not do League of Legends. Holy shit. That's for Baldur's Gate. I mean, that's got to be a GG. That's got to be a GG. The League fans have lost. The League fans have just been blown the fuck out. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. The money talks. Ooh. Ooh, the punish on Manzin. Pausing for the alt orb. You're the entry, and you just killed the only player defending C. Don't pause for the alt orb. Okay. We're ready. Hitting the site. Get in there. Showstopper. Nice. Okay, okay. Allez le bleu. Allez le bleu. Allez le bleu. League fans are just like your mum's back. What? They have a spine and they stand up for themselves? But they're in a little bit of pain? What? I don't understand what you mean. I'm just saying, I've generated some income for you via a comment as the person who made that comment and still continues to lurk. I have no power. <laughs> all I, listen, all I can say is the Baldur's Gate people have come, gone crazy. Chronetic, thank you for the five months. I do like League, but we, no, but we watch because no, I do like, okay, I can't even understand your sub message. I don't know which side you're on. All right, little paranoia off the contact, but Jelly's, Overextending there. I love that shutdown from Kamikor. I love that. I love that. Tuck the player around the side. Pull in other people from left, from right. They've got a long sight line. This player gets punished as well. This player's now got a scramble. This is good now from Kamikor. This is good. Louder overreaching. Trying to close the game out too early. 
You know, Devoin, it's not funny when you have to say the punchline. This is good now from Carmen Corp. Never thought I'd hear you say that. I have praised Carmen Corp many, many times. The problem is that I've criticized them 10 times for every thing I've praised them for. But I've still praised them many times. But this one time, please God don't watch League. <laughs> Tash Caroni, thank you for the eight months. There are so many people that are on the anti-league train. Why, have I infected people or did you all just have a natural aversion to that game? Which team is better, Kamen Corp or Kamen Corp Game Changers? Definitely the main team. Definitely the main team. From what I understand, there's still a very large gap between Game Changers and uh, even the top of Tier 2 VCT. Karania, thank you for the two months. Can I vote for the new Flynn, Flynn spreadsheet analysis? Yeah, I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. Even League players hate League, it's just addiction. <laughs> I know that League players hate League, but I thought that was the same way that like Overwatch players hate the fact that they play so much Overwatch. Oh, oh, we're going for the Mazino ult. Here it is, Mazino ult. Paranoia comes through. This is sick. Oh, Lisa dodged it. The Paranoia is so slow now. This is it. It's over. It's over. We're going to need some amazing moments from our Phoenix. Oh, the door opened behind you as well. Oh, it's all fallen down. Ah, GG. Yeah, it's a one map game. And the crowd goes home. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's rough, isn't it, Ito? If you ain't watching League, you ain't a real one. Uh, yeah, what did they say earlier about if you're not jumping, you're not a Carmen Core fan? Si tu n'es pas something, tu n'es pas gamin. But I can't remember what the word for jumping is. Oh, qui? Oh, qui ne saute pas? Qui ne saute pas? Nipakamin. There we go. Real recognizes real, and brother, you don't really look familiar. Kohami, who megalol are you? Les? Wait, where was Les? Was Les up on stage with them or something? Where's Les? D Town, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh, let's go on stage. La soirée right. n'est pas finie, mais on commence à être très pressé. Le temps avance, il commence à se faire tard ici. Merci d'avoir encore oh, de l'énergie. Oh, let's was behind the team the whole game. Right, right, right. Ça reste compliqué. That's very sweet. Venez, on finit juste sur une bonne note, sur une victoire, parce que là, on retourne aux sources. On envoie quand même la roulette. Mais vous l'avez compris, il reste que League of Legends. Oh, they're not doing an interview. They've done interviews with everybody else, but they're not doing an interview. Oh, maybe they only did interviews with. No, they did. They did interviews with everybody else, didn't they? Feed. Holy fucking banger just playing. I'm not gonna lie, that's a banging intro. Oh, they said that they were pressed for time? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I mean... We're definitely not gonna watch League of Legends, are we? We're definitely not watching League of Legends. Like, let's just watch the intro. But like, we... 
we specifically said we were going to play Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you for the 100 bits, Monkey Meat Love. Reminder, Heretics will be playing without Jankos, apparently. Or Jankos, I don't know how you pronounce his name because I don't follow League. But I've heard that he's quite a good player, isn't he? Watch the pick ban. I forgot there was a pick ban phase. That's actually so cringe. Just get into the game. That guy must be having the most fun of all time. The French announcer who gets to announce all of the players and hear the crowd just go absolutely wild. They have no security. That seems like a potential oversight. Like, the fans are so close that if people just start pushing at the back a little bit, that <laughs> there just isn't going to be a gap for the player to walk through anymore. He did the Formula 4 GP last week too. Oh, he does it for all of the big French events. That's sick. Le prochain, rassurant, mais aussi très percutant. Un monstre au visage d'ange. Mesdames et messieurs, Targa! I don't know any of these players, <laughs> but that would make sense because I barely know any tier 1 players in Kamen Core or like a tier 2 team, right? What does that sign say? Pas de L ici avant que. Uh, what is 18? <laughs> this week? Well, I don't even know what that means. Not in not in the LEC because he's not 18, so he's gonna smash tier 2 or something like that. I mean, there is no gap for the players to walk through. The, the crowd has just got closer and closer and closer. The most legendary team of all time. Who can go? Take on Europe's finest. This is Igor Chemikinde. Red Bull League of its own. Oh no, this is an advert for a different event. Wait, is it? I don't understand. Okay, I don't know what I just watched. Was that an advert for an event that hasn't happened yet? Oh, it's an ad for T1 versus the world. Right, right. So is that like an all-star team versus T1? Why is Kamito's mic never going live to the stream? I mean, it is going live to the house, so... <laughs> They're changing the rules. It used to be 17 years old to play in the LEC, but next year it's got to be 18 plus due to either gambling or alcohol sponsorships. Ah, so some of the players won't play in LEC next year. That sucks. You're on the clean feed? Yeah, but... Some of the other commentators' mics were coming through. I mean, n none of these are, but they were earlier, I promise you. I'm not just making it up. 
Is Mike's okay on the normal stream? Oh, it must just be something a little strange for me then. Oh, wait a second. I see. So they're only giving me the crowd mics. That's what's picking up. I get you. I get you. I get you. So they've cut out the French commentary, but the crowd mics still exist. I understand now. Yeah, didn't Gamsu go from playing League to playing Overwatch and then back to playing League? How did the Valorant games go? Kamen Core got beaten. The Game Changers game was very one-sided. The, uh, the, like, Kamen Core, uh, team versus T1 that they played before that was a little closer but T1 still won wait they all have blue pieces of paper that they're holding up for the blue wall they're like blue bricks or something that's fucking funny oh they all have blue walls they're literally like walls with bricks on them that's really funny Hashtag bricked up for Carmen Corp. Why are we watching the league game? We're not. We're not. Guys, we're not watching the league game. Don't worry. We're definitely not watching the league game. What is that? Oh, that's Kamito's um, Twitch uh, emote, the blue wall. Guys, we're not watching the League game. I don't understand League of Legends. Why would I watch League of Legends? We, we might just watch the intro to see the crowd react. And we... <sighs> We might do a prediction in the chat about who gets the first kill. But apart from that, we, we, we definitely won't watch the game. We won't. You don't understand Valorant, but you still watch LOL? I'm getting fucking cooked. I'm getting cooked in my own chat. What's going on? What's going on? I think they're just buying time for the league uh, players to get set up on the stage. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> Thoughts on Baldur's Gate 3 co-op with Bren? I don't want to do another game co-op with Bren because it just means that all of my sleep schedule is fuckoed. And also, I'm having a lot of fun playing solo. It still seems like a great game to play solo. I imagine it would be a lot of fun in a group, and maybe I'll replay it in a group with a different character or something. But at the moment, I'm just having a lot of fun playing solo. In before first bloods at 15 minutes? Don't some league games end at 15 minutes? Your run inspired me to get back on my solo run? Yeah, it's, it's a fun game. That's a weird way to pronounce die on repeat solo. Mm. Not in pro play. Uh, why are you guys saying 1647? Wait, what is 1647? Okay, I have two guesses. Either that is a very famous game in which someone got blasted really quickly, or two, that's the year in which the UK got invaded by France and you're spamming it in the chat because it's a Carmen Core game. Look it up on YouTube. Mad Lions got stomped in 16 minutes and 47 seconds. I'm not going to look that up. I mean, I imagine it's just like one team gets absolutely rolled, right? 1647, the book by George Orville. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. 
Average league game time wins are more like 30 minutes, right. I wonder if they're gonna do this as a BO1 or a BO3 then. Mad Lions are, have a history of being the biggest EU chokers ever. Wow. Oh, this series is a BO1. That guy's gonna blow his voice out. So, is that some of the staff for Carmen Core are walking around with a, like, small speaker that fans can shout into to hype up their segment of the crowd? Because if so, that is a fantastic idea for, like, roaming crowd work. I don't think it's staff? You don't think? Because they were close to the Luffy mascot, and... Yeah, maybe it wasn't. It's called a mic? Yeah, what, where did they pull it from? They're smuggling them in in their anuses? What's it connected to? A mic on its own doesn't make any noise. A mic has to be connected to some kind of output device. Hello, chatters. You got a brain in there. Rub them together. Two brain cells. Give them a rub, see if a spark happens. Go on, Luffy. Hit the fucking gritty. Do you think EU is probably the best region to host Valorant events simply from the viewership perspective? Um, it's pretty good at getting a nice time zone. Uh, that looks fucking sick. That looks fucking sick. I don't know why. I don't know why this is happening. I don't know how this happened. What caused this? What caused this? I like the one guy facing the wrong way. There was a guy at the bottom of the crowd there just facing the wrong way. Just looking forwards like, yeah. <laughs> Structural engineer sweating right now. Yeah. Guys, please try not to oscillate. <laughs> Guys, don't hit any frequencies that are likely to cause massive collapses. It's called the Poznan. They do it a lot in football. Mm. Yeah, well, that's why I'm sat down. Je suis anglais and uh, je suis uh, sitting, sitting down comfortably in a chair. Assis? I'm not going to say that. Je suis assis, I am ass. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I know when you guys are trying to get me. That ain't French. That ain't French. <laughs> it's legit. No, I know. No, you guys are trying to get me. <laughs> uh, my sister tried to teach me uh, some, like, formal... So... My sister went and studied in France for a while, and um, and she tried to teach me some French because I was trying to write an email to get in touch with. I was trying to respond to some Carmen Corp fans and just explain to them, you know, my perspective in a really nice manner. So I asked my sister like, what some nice phrases were to like get people on your side. And she said, you should start every, like, instead of saying in English, we would say, like, you know, to whom it may concern or something, if you're writing a formal letter. She said, start every message with ta gueule. And then she said, follow up by saying, uh, uh, fida pu, uh, tu es un salope, uh, tu es un baguette dans ton cul. And the, so I just wrote that back to every Carmen Corp fan and none of them responded positively. And I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure I didn't misspell anything. So I don't know, I don't know what I said, but I mean, my sister said it was really pleasant. She said it was really nice. 
It was supposed to be like, to whom it may concern, I'm sorry for insulting your team. I hope you have a really lovely season. It's a very nice compliment. Oh, good, good, good. That flag is sick as well. Le Bleu Wall. Is wall the same in French? Surely if you're gonna call it Le Bleu something, it should be the word for wall. No, it's Moor. So why doesn't it say, you know, like, Le Moor Bleu? Actually, that even sounds better, doesn't it? Le Moor Bleu? Dude, what the fuck? If I was security right now, I would actually be sweating. This looks prime time for, like, someone getting crushed in the middle of that. Because it sounds shit? Does that sound shit? That sounds fine to me. Wait, what is going on? What is going on? Why are they all sitting down on the floor? What in the... Are they chanting? On va tout casser, eh? What does that mean? We are gonna break everything. <laughs> That's presumably metaphorical and not a threat of violence upon the establishment because of the tech pause. Oh, KC and Kasse sound the same? Ah, I see, I see. So it's like, we're gonna break everything, but it's also like, we're gonna Carmen Corp everything. We're gonna Carmen Corp all over. I love that. The Carmen Corp fans came up and they were like, it's Corp in time, and then they Corped all over everyone. Shikara my mean till I corp. Brahma, I'm definitely not doing that. I'm definitely not doing that. God, I'd hate to see what the fans do if their teams actually won games. <laughs> God, can you imagine the riots on the streets if Carmen Core were good at Valorant? For their own good, we need to make sure they have a bad roster for next year. They're actually going to terrorize their own cities. They're going to break everything. They're going to rip their own clothes off. They're like... They're like two minutes away from ripping their own clothes off. If they win this League of Legends match against... Who are they even playing against? D-Town, thank you for the 300 bits. Boy, this League match that we're definitely not watching is riveting. We're not watching a League match. The, can you see a League match happening on your screen right now? We're observing a psychological phenomenon. We are watching a French cult. We're doing a React stream. <laughs> to French fan culture. The French are good at protests, so it would make sense that they're good at organizing en masse. I mean, the French even invented the phrase en masse. They're probably good at doing that en route as well. Has someone got a drum kit in there? Yeah, they do all go silent very quickly as well. Again, ancestral fear is coursing through my veins. It's actually making me want to learn how to use a longbow. 
to defend the shores. <laughs> it's, it's putting the fear of God in me. You should have attended this event. I didn't know even I didn't even know it was going on. I didn't know it was a thing until yesterday. Prince Fatty, thank you for the prime. Instinctive Tory response when they hear crowds chanting. That's not the Tory in me. Listen, if the Carmen Core fans rose up, who do you think's first against the wall? All I'm saying is, I'm not that far away from the top of the list. <laughs> Vitality? <laughs> yeah, maybe. XMS. <laughs> no. No, they loved XMS. He was crying. He was in their advert for the G Pro Wireless 2. Isn't France... Listen, I haven't really been following much EU politics, but isn't France... Oh, hello. Hello, whoa, 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 we're a minute into the game. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. I'm going to run a prediction in the chat. Start the prediction. Who gets first kill? Carmen Corp? Or who the hell are they playing against, chat? What's the name of the team they're playing against? What's the name of the team they're playing against? Heretics. Okay. All right, you've got one minute. You have one minute to start the prediction. You're missing the third option? What is the th Oh, the third option is like, what, the neutrals get it? No, I mean, we'll just count whoever actually gets the f first kill. Can we also predict who gets the first Nexus? No, because that means that I have to watch the entire map. Okay, let's get into it. So we've got Sakan in the mid lane here. And, uh, you know, the, we've got uh, two players towards the bottom. So we've got Kate Boy and Invisible Woman fighting together. So Marlon in the bush right now as Heretics look to try and hold off the defense. Great grab, though. That's a fantastic hook. That's applied a lot of pressure onto Marlon. Uh, you know, these, these creeps are going down somewhat quickly, and, uh, you know, Marlon's gonna have to back in order to get some heals. Now we go back over to Sakon. Uh, Generic's leveled up here over to level 2. That's gonna help him out a lot. Now, I think people get their ultimates at about level 6. Uh, you'll have to bear with me. I haven't been casting this game very long. Uh, don't know- I mean, ta where's Targamas going? Where are you? What are we looking at here? Oh, is this a gank? Gank in the mid lane? Gank in the mid lane from Targamas? Setting something up here. Setting something up. Clearing the wards. Clearing the wards. Looking to try and see if Generics is pushed too far forwards. I mean, surely you're going to need to push the lane a little bit before you go for a gank like this, aren't you? Maybe not. Oh, go in. Canalization. They've cannibalized. And Generics out. Hidden under the tower in a safe space. All good. Sacking given priority. Trying to push him back. Making sure he doesn't get the experience. Is Kaliest left alone towards the bottom here? Tagamas not with him. Is that going to instigate any kind of pressure from Team Heretics? Do they want to start anything? No. Nope. Just finding it safe. Farming underneath their tower. Hiding inside the bush. Good to go. Targamas back down towards the bottom lane. Ward put in the bush there. Unknown at the moment to Kamaikor. The bush has been taken. They're going to need to penetrate the bush. And Heretics pretty happy to go and secure some info towards the river. Because they have lane prio at the moment. I don't know what these words mean that I'm saying. <laughs> pushing the Kamiko guys underneath the tower. And now we take our eyes over to the top lane, where Eevee's getting pressure quite heavily here. Now, this matchup is not great for the Purple Arms man. You can see here that the big sword that Cabochard has is going to inflict a lot of damage, but he's still got tower dive in this kind of situation. Just got to take things a little cautiously. You see the jungler here. This is a bit of invasion deep into enemy territory. Level four. This is a good time to try and do that, but decides to teleport back. All good in the jungle. So, wards. Deep here. Good kind of uh, zoning control from Heretics over towards bottom lane. They've got a lot of vision. Great vision advantage. Um, 
Just a bit of skirmish in here. Let's look at the CS. Uh, Carmen Coro ahead in terms of the CS. I don't actually know what CS means, but I think it means how much gold you have, and they have more gold. So I, I, I assume that's true. 420 seems like a perfect time to go for a pull. Take a puff. Eevee. Any chance potentially of getting caught here? No? Kabusha? Getting pressured just slightly. Um, is anything going to happen in this game? Guys, can we speed it up a little bit? I want to go play Baldur's Gate. All right, we're getting a bit of a push on the bot tower. Marlon's been taking a lot of damage ever since they first got hooked earlier on. And Tangama's struggling to keep up here. Only level three. Bit of a fight over up towards the top lane here. Now, the thing is, once Eevee gets to level six and has the ult online, the game is going to change dramatically. This top lane matchup is going to flip entirely towards Team Heretics. So the pressure needs to be applied early before they get to that spot. Over towards bot, to bot lane here again, and you know, you, you're going to make sure you're getting those last hits. Another hook, another bit of prodding damage onto Marlon. This is constant pressure. Really nice from our underdogs here in Carmine Core. What the fuck is Cabochard doing back there? He's playing between the two towers. Marlon hooked again. Has to use Flash. Flash burnt. What a massive advantage here for Carmine Core. They're doing a great job over on this bottom tower. You know, Marlon playing... Uh, Marlon playing Purple Shrek is really going to find it a little difficult to um, play in this early game. It's a very late game character, Purple Shrek. So you're going to want... <laughs> you're going to want to kind of buy some time... <laughs> For the him to really get the levels. <laughs> Syncroft thinking about cancelling the teleport, maybe? I, was that a teleport? I don't really know what that animation does. Syncroft, jungler, presumably, because I haven't seen him in the lanes. Canalization. Oh, deep dive. Bit of a gank attempt over towards the bottom. Jungler comes in. What a hook. These hooks have just been absolutely immaculate from Targamos so far. Flacking, though. Out. They couldn't inflict enough damage. Where, where the fuck was the third person, man? Where the fuck was the third person? Come and call, what are you even doing? Surely if you're going to set up a play like that, you want both of your bot lane players there to capitalize, don't you? Hello? Hello? Why are you trying to gank with your support player in the bottom lane? Don't you want your AD carry involved as well? Am I saying words? Do they make any sense? So, lane prio for Kamen Core here means that they're going to be able to get onto the Drake a little earlier. It's a uh, blue Drake. So that's going to help them because, uh, you know, blue wall, blue drake, it's all thematic, isn't it? We've got vision around there, and first dragon goes the right way. Calming court, looking fantastic here. Heretics are going to try and trap Sakin, though, Sakin. Oh, he gets out. Easy stuff. Really nicely done there. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Ocean Drake, shut, shut up, chat. I know better. I'm the caster. So we go back over to this uh, mid fight. Now, Marlon. Only level 4, really, a lot of pressure means that he's had to be out of lane fairly early on in this match. And Kalista's going to get some... Uh, pretty fine here, just going to be able to get some very safe farm underneath the tower. Now, this does allow Marlon to keep putting down vision in the bushes. He's a real bush warrior, Marlon. Deep in the bush. Great last hit, love that. If I know anything about League, it's that you need to last hit the creeps. Which seems like a weird system, but all right. All right. Was that vision? Do they know that there's a ward there? No. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I thought that was a vision thing. That's one of the first times the Tiger Master's actually missed that. The hook being dodged there, potentially. Engagement? This seems a little deep. Carbachard's going to end up tower diving if he commits to this one. But he has got to be careful. Last hits, last hits, last hits. You know, all the good stuff. But Blue Razor, jungler player, coming over, trying to set up something on Carbashard. Carbashard underneath the tower. Carbashard really caught out here. What is going on? Carmen calls Carbashard. He's fucking up. Wait, Eevee has to be careful that he doesn't go down. Great item. Don't know what that was. Flash used. Premier kill. Wow, it goes to way of Team Heretics. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Well, well done, everybody that voted for Heretics. They got the first kill. Excellent. And uh, do you think I have a career as a league caster? I'm not going to lie. I thought that went a bit better than expected. All right. Marlon's been pressured the entire time. I don't think there's anything they can do about Flacket here. They don't have minions to be able to repel this wave. So they're going to have to give up a little bit of space. Just taking a bunch of chip damage. But as the second wave comes through... Who knows, maybe they can get some gold by taking off the plating on the towers? Is that a mechanic? Does that still exist in League? I don't know. 
I don't know. You didn't talk too much nonsense? How? I have no idea about any of- I don't know anything. I don't know anything. This guy looks like a fucking Beyblade in the top lane. I, I called one of the characters Purple Shrek. I just guessed that he was a late game character. You're a natural? Perfect. Well, at least I know I've always got a career casting League of Legends if Riot decide to fire me from Valorant but still want to work with me for some reason. Perfect, perfect. Um, unfortunately, I genuinely don't know what's happening, and I don't really want to continue watching League of Legends, so I think that's it for us in the Common Core co-stream today. However, I genuinely did not think I would be entertained co-streaming this event for five and a half hours. And legitimately, if I had turned up on time, I would have been co-streaming this event for like six hours. And I've been entertained the entire time. That's very impressive. Usually, I would not give a fuck about show match events like this, but there's, I, it's something about the crowd, man. They really have an incredible team culture. Would you take a 3x pay raise to do an office job that you don't particularly enjoy? How bad is don't particularly enjoy it? Because that's a lot of money. Pro I mean, if it was for like a couple months just to get a lot of money. Like if I could do that for four months actually turn up every day to an office job that sounds dreadful wait a second big team fight holy fuck they're getting owned they're actually getting owned team heretics are getting owned incredible cc the pull the tower dive from targamas you've got to be shitting me okay sometimes league is fun sometimes league is fun but we're not watching league because i don't really understand what's happening but and i really have no desire to learn uh, okay. It's time to... That was excellent. Thank you very much to Common Core for letting me co-stream that. I enjoyed it a lot. But, uh, the time has come for Baldur's Gate. The time has come to bald and to watch or try to achieve or try to get to a gate. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the spreadsheet first. Let's have a look at that Flynn spreadsheet. Um, Twitter Flynn... Lynn. Okay. Uh, 41 minutes ago. Let's have a look at this. Okay, what's new here? What's new? Um, oh, Whippy is rumored. And Immy. So when I said on the podcast that Immy is the only coach that has recently worked with these guys apart from MCE... Is this really like a joint deal where Oxy comes along with Immy to Cloud9? That's a bit bizarre. It really is. All right. Um, then what else is new on here? Oh, Demon1 and Ethan increased likelihood of them staying with evil geniuses. Okay. That would be good. Although, who would they get to IGL the team? Oh, Screwface as IGL. But then what would Screwface play? Is Demon 1 going to be playing Smokes full-time next year? How funny would that be? Demon 1 becomes their full-time Smokes player. <laughs> Surely not. That doesn't make any sense. Surely Screwface would take over playing like... Just Bustio's role, I guess, of mostly playing Sentinel and a tiny bit of, like, Astra. Actually, does Bustio even play Smokes anymore? Or do they just swap it between Demon 1 and Jork? I think since Demon 1 started playing Astra, Bustio doesn't play any Astra anymore. Oh, he plays Bind Brimstone. Oh, you're right, he does. Yeah, because they play Demon 1 Chamber and Jorg uh, Raze. All right, what else is new on here? Is there anything else? So Leviathan trialing all of these different people as well. Hmm. What else? Anything else new here? 
Oh, Askia. Link to crew. Well, presumably they'd have to speak Spanish, right? Um, have I missed anything else? EU more likely to 100 thieves. BCJ less likely. Is that just based off of Zix <laughs> responding to EU's tweets, or is there more to that? Uh, what else is going on here? MIBR more likely to have QCK, Shandi, Mazin. Huh. It's not that that looks like a terrible team. It's just that those players either got cut at the beginning of the season or played really poorly this year. But maybe they can turn it around. Is there anything else? Look at the legend egg, arrows and pluses. Yeah, I know. That's what I was trying to look at. I think I've I think I've covered all the arrows and pluses. Oh, I guess plus the Shazin or Havoc. Yeah, the Shazin being considered by the look of it for MIBR. G2 just owns most of these teams, no? Oh, you mean with uh if they actually are in with the full guard roster and leaf? Yeah. Yeah, G2's roster looks extremely good. I mean, it depends what happens with this NRG team. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That doesn't scream super team to me. I know it does to a lot of other people, but... That doesn't really scream super team to me. I think... Depending on how good Screwface is, if they can keep Com Jorgamo and the only swap is that Bustio goes over to 100 Thieves and Screwface comes in as the IGL, I think EG, if Screwface is really good um, on a different role and at calling, maybe that can still be a really top team. It should be able to be. Because I think a lot of what they do is like pre-planned stuff anyway. I don't think Bustio's the most mid-round heavy IGL in the scene. What the fuck? I didn't see this. In what world is Aspas also linked to G2? What in the Lord's name is that? I thought Screwface was already playing Sentinel on the reserve team. Oh, I don't know. I thought he was playing Duelist on the reserve team, but I could be wrong. I don't really know what the roles were on the reserve team. I think they had to change the roles fairly often. Oh, yeah, he was, though. No, you're right. You're right, because um, they had the other Duelist guy come in to play. They, they, like, signed a Duelist halfway through the year. I see. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you're right. Sorry, in my head, Screwface is a Duelist because that's why I've last seen him play a match on. But you're right, he wasn't playing Duelist with that roster. Because that's what Icy was doing. Yeah, so actually, that does seem like a really good fit for EG. Yeah, I did read BCJ's huge post, but I'd forgotten about it. Based on this spreadsheet, what are your pickums for Champs 2024 playoffs? Shut up. <laughs> it's... High on Sentinels? I'm higher on Sentinels, but okay, let me show you something. I've been looking over all of Tenzi's VODs since for the last five months, which actually isn't that many VODs, but like if you look at my tabs, I've been watching all of these for the last five months, and guys, I gotta say, it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good. Um... There's like a couple of maps where he plays really well, but I'm going to try and make a video without being too negative because I understand that Tenz is also going through a, a, a lot of shit in his life, right? The situation with Kaide being diagnosed with cancer and him having to deal with that and the fact that they're both so young is really difficult to deal with. So I, I'm not trying to apply more like, you know, pressure onto the guy or hate or whatever. But I do want to give examples of what I think he needs to improve on if the team wants to win championships. 
because I feel like that's just massively missing. The people who hate Tens just hate him because he's popular. The people who love Tens don't even, like, give a shit about how he actually plays in the game. They only care about the, like, highlight pop-off moments. So no one's actually talking about whether he's playing properly or not at all. They just either love him or hate him based on his personality and his brand. So I wanted to do an actual video talking about his play, right? Like what he actually is doing well and what he's actually doing shit. Um, and some of the maps, he's playing really poorly. But th some of them, like the Yoru that he played on Bind, was quite nice as well. But I, I yeah, I, <clears throat> that that will still be at least another week, I think, for me to cook that up. Who hates tens because it's not that they hate tens because of his personality. They they just like pe some people like to hate popular people, and it doesn't matter how nice you are. Some people will just always hate people that are popular. Zelsis as a sub has a high upside though if tens underperforms. Yes, but I also hope that Zekin is playing primary duelist, and tens actually spends the off season learning how to play flex. <coughs> So, he said he's moving to Initiator. Do you have a source for that? I didn't see that. I know that his KO looks quite good um, in a YouTube clip. I mean, if you can find the YouTube clip, I'd really appreciate that. It would help my video a lot if I had a proper, like, clip of him saying he was moving to play an initiator a lot because that's the, honestly that is the conclusion that i've come to is that the guy is just not cut out to play duelist um he can play the more like setup duelist you know like how ethan plays yoru as like a setup yoru like sometimes he's taking his own plays off his own flash timings but a lot of the time he's setting up his teammates as well i think tens would be really good at that but <clears throat> i don't think he's set out to be the duelist player for a team Look at the video Sentinels posted when Tens was officially re-signed. I watched that video, though, and I didn't see him say he's moving to Initiator. Um, okay, let's... I'm, I'm going to launch Baldur's Gate. And we're going to play that for a couple of hours, and then I'm going to go to sleep. Please retrieve Astarion. I'm begging, Mr. Egg. I don't know where he is. Did he kill any more of the companions? Not that I can remember. Title look good? Yeah, let me have a look. Title. Yep, that sounds great. Okay, let's launch the game. What about the rest of the spreadsheet? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot that the spreadsheet has more than just Americas. <laughs> Where the fuck is the rest of the spreadsheet? Oh, here it is. Anything, okay, let me... So runner is like officially signed. What else have we got here? Milan less likely to be continuing with Giants. That's it for EMEA, isn't it? All right, a quick scan, seeing what's happening. Oh, I suppose Koi have got more people like solidified into the roles rather than just a random mess. Enzo is going to be IGLing for Koi. Dude, what? Oh, well, also Enzo is attached over here with Carmen Corp too. What the hell are Carmen Corp up to? Kadavra is a really good player. Kadavra, Shin, Enzo seems like a good core to build around, but they're considering a Turkish player. They have Eng as head coach. A Czech player as well. <coughs> They're going to all be coming in English. Dushin and Kadavra. Oh, Kadavra's played on mixed teams before, though, I think. I think Kadavra played on Vitality when they were mixed. 
Okay. And then what's happening over in Pacific? Anything new? Um, yeah, I mean, they the roster being locked up for T1. Uh, oh, yeah, Estrella got signed to RRQ, which was, that just came out of nowhere. What else? Global. Surf? Surf or John Olson? Oh, and uh, they did say that they were keeping one of the Indian players. Oh, no, they didn't say keeping. They said there would be an Indian player on the roster. So is that why health is now heavily associated with them? Hmm. I have no idea what to expect from Global, frankly. It'll be interesting to see that team. I think Ben Kyle... Uh, I think Ben Kyle will do a decent job with the team, but I also think that Ben Kyle will probably do about as good of a job as Aaron did. I think Aaron did a really good job with that team. I don't really know why you would want to let go of Aaron, but um, yeah, I mean, Ben Kyle's got more experience at IGLing teams into top positions, I guess, but also... It's not like Aaron hasn't helped IGL teams to really good spots. Oh, Aaron didn't want to resign. Oh, I didn't didn't know that. All right. Comic Core are going to win the only game that you don't watch. <laughs> Is that a big upset for like a tier 2 team to beat one of the uh LEC teams? Or is it kind of known in League of Legends that some of the tier 2 teams are going to be better? Oh, Heretics has two subs. Right. Aaron stated the difficulties of this international team. Language barriers, role swaps. Wig Jet is now coming in halfway through the season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think Aaron's in a spot though where he did well with the challenge, and I, I I don't think his I don't think Aaron's stock goes down by taking on challenges and doing pretty well with them. And I'm not sure that he gets opportunities really to IGL teams in North America if that's where he wants to go back to. So. I don't know exactly what he's hoping to achieve this year. <coughs> All right, what were we doing? Let me have a look at my journal. Uh, we learned that the leader of the druids is a powerful leader, a powerful healer named Halson. It might be able to help us remove the parasite. Ah, yes. That's what we were trying to do. We were trying to invade the goblin camp. Now, I can't remember exactly where we were going, but I do remember that we just beat the piss out of some goblins at the um, Blighted Village. So let's go back there first. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Uh-oh. I could have died in that pod back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. Because I'm a goat. I owe you my life. Yes, you do, and don't forget it. Twice over, in fact. Yep. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. Yep. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust. Cat to a T. Thank you for the four months. I want that I to mean something. Myself. Can't wait to see you I want you to know more about me. Wait, there are bosses in this At game? At least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. What is a dark and justicia? a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm. 
Okay. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. That doesn't sound so it's good. It's all I ever wanted. You know, perfect, endless pray, darkness does not sound amazing. But mother, forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Uh, whose mother? Not my mother, mother, I should add. Oh. The mother superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Right. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything. And I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. You could serve me? Uh... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> of these options... <laughs> okay. I'm a chaotic neutral character. I can't resist a pretty face. And I love lying. None of these are a lie. But I feel like... The chaotic thing is to play your allies against each other. So... <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Um... I think I'm going to go for the slightly more aggressive option of two. Dark Justiciers are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Me, right? Now... I can't get it out of my mind. Did I awaken your desires? Look at me. I'm a specimen. Alright, I'm gonna let you guys pick. I'm gonna start a community poll. There should be an overlay. What should I pick? <laughs> don't. Don't make it. <laughs> you remind her of unending darkness? Yeah. Why not? Why do you guys want me to be rude to her? Well, that was a load of nothing. I'm not sure why you bothered telling me that. <laughs> why are so many... Oh, yeah, you don't have to type it in chat, okay? Stop typing the number in chat. There is an overlay that comes up on the screen. You click the screen, you click the overlay, you click the option. Stop putting the number in the chat. Okay. It looks like number three. Yeah, it doesn't work on mobile. It doesn't work on mobile. Shadowheart disapproves. Wait. It just cancelled. It just cancelled what we were talking about. It just cancelled what we were talking about. Um. I... Yo, stage show, thank you for the hundred bits. Can you Google up can you Google up the glow up judge Dominic Skinner? Okay. Dominic What the fuck is going on here? Dominic Skinner. T V personality. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I might have made my character look a little bit like this guy. It's possible that my character looks a little bit like this person. I don't look like this guy. That doesn't look like me. For starters, I don't have glasses. I don't have blonde eyebrows. And I don't have that much... Wax in my mustache. That ain't me. That ain't me. 
All right. Okay, so Shadowheart now hates me because you guys asked me to pick that option. Let's go to... Maybe we go down the well here, actually. Do we do the well or the goblin village? You know what? Fuck it. I want to do the well. I want to kill these spiders. Oh, fuck. We're immediately rolling initiative. Who the fuck are you? Oh, that's Will and he's poisoned. That ain't good. Okay, I didn't... I thought they would have reset their positions. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they would have reset their positions at least somewhat. Okay. So, we could run over and try and attack this thing. But I think we're best off getting damage in and letting them approach us. So... Oh, that hit. That's good. And... Can we flurry your blows, this guy? Wait, we actually can. All right, fuck it. Bonus action, flurry your blows. All right. Oh my god. 13 damage. We're getting fucked here. We're getting absolutely fucked. Okay, what is this guy again? This guy's a warlock. Level 3 warlock. Can we crown a madness, this thing? No, he's not a humanoid, apparently. Um, what else? Speak with animals. What, what about if we... <laughs> what about if we quietly speak with the spiders and tell them that we don't mean to intrude and we're very sorry? Maybe not. Maybe that won't work. Um, shit, we're just getting owned from the high ground, though. That's the problem here. I think we're going to have to Eldritch Blast, aren't we? We're going to have to Eldritch... Oh, 30%? Only 30% to hit? You're kidding me. What else could we do? Gain 10 temporary hit points. Um... I... I... I don't know what's best to do here, to be honest. Um, so we have a pack-bound greatsword. We could summon a blade to my hand, but I think we... I think that's pointless. I think, to be honest, what we want to do is probably add extra hit points to myself. And then let's take some steps forward, even though we only have 14 HP. Gone with the weave. Right, so this guy's we've got very little health. So let's, I think we want to cast Magic Missile. I think Magic Missile is definitely the best thing to be casting here. What does Magic Missile do? Uh, it does 6 to 15 damage. Okay, so let's do one on you and two on you. Door. Okay, that's good damage. That's good damage. Now, the problem is that we don't have any healing items. Do we, did we pick up any heals anywhere? That would be real useful right about now. Just having any healing item of any kind. You know what? I should probably make some healing potions. I bet you can craft them, and I just never have tried. Yeah, well, we kind of fucked this up, didn't we? Can we hide, maybe? Maybe we can get around a corner so that we're out of vision or something? Nope, don't think so. Well, I think we've fucked this one up. Let's just hide in this corner as much as we can. Bollocks to it. There's no shot you went for the web. Alright, Shadowheart's turn. She's webbed. So, options are putting out the healing on some of the others. Probably a good idea. Uh, what can we use as a bonus action? We, we can use Healing Word as a bonus action. So if we use Healing Word as a bonus action on Will... Although Will has 10 temporary hit points, so we really need to heal Gale. Now, let's do it on Will. Take your heal. And then, we'll cast Cure Wounds on Gale. Take your heal. Good, 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 good. And we really want to get out of this webbing, but we also don't want to get hit by the poison, so I'm going to go back to the same place that I was at, and then hopefully if the poison spit comes at us, we're far enough apart that we won't all get hit. What the fuck are you doing down there? Ooh, ouch. At the same time, though, that's kind of good. Why do we have disadvantage? Because we're poisoned? you got to be kidding me. 
There's no shot that I have disadvantage for being poisoned. Seriously? That sucks. All right, well, let's go. There we go again. We missed. Incredible. We missed again. Unbelievable. Okay, how do we get this fucking poison off us? Thank God for the miss. All right, we need to take this guy out as well, don't we? All right, so we've got cleave, lacerate. All right, so why would we not always want to be lacerating? Alternatively, we could Eldritch Blast, but we're going to do more damage, I think, with... Uh, yeah, because that's max 1d10. All right, so let's, let's attack. Nice, but they saved the Lacerate. That's not as good. And then I guess we just Pommel Strike this guy as well. Wow, we crit him for 4 damage. Which isn't amazing, but I guess that's what we're doing. Alright, what are you doing? Um, I think, again, we just want to be Magic missile, right? We want to get rid of one of these things. So we've got 13 health, 13 health. Okay, what's the max amount of damage that Magic Missile can do again? So it does 3d4 plus 3. So it's 6 to 15. So... Let's do one on you, one on you, and one on you. That did... That, that is about as min-roll as you can possibly get. Holy fuck, that did nothing. Wait, am I losing my mind here? Oh, it doesn't do 6 to 15 damage per missile. It does... Right, I did think that that seemed pretty powerful. I did think that seemed pretty powerful. Mm, well, fuck that up, didn't I? Fuck that one up. Oh my god, Shadowheart is getting destroyed. Um, right, we have a bonus action of of this on ourselves, and then main action, we can do 7 damage with that, 1 to 10 damage with Fireball, which is a cantrip. That's probably going to be our best job. Oh, the target's too close. You're kidding me. So we only have a 30% chance to hit with that. What do we have with this? 42%? What about this? 42% as well? I mean, presumably that... I mean, for some reason... I mean, 36% is just shite. Can we back up a little bit? Oh my god, we took an attack of opportunity like a fucking melon. I forgot about that entirely. Right, can we cantrip now? This is still 36%, you're kidding me. Fuck it. We missed. Fuck's sake, stupid ass. Well, I just ruined my go. Oh my fucking god, Spiffy the Twiddler is getting owned. Please don't die, Spiffy. No time for mercy. You missed. You missed, bro. There's no way. <sighs> What's going on here? All right. My turn. So do we attack this thing? We don't really have any heals. Eldritch Blast would be... I mean, this thing is going to go down fairly early. We need to keep Shadow Throne... Uh, we need to keep Shadow Heart alive so that she can heal Spiffy. Um, so maybe we attack or maybe Gale would be fine with that. I think Gale can handle that. So I'm wondering if I should Eldritch Blast these guys on the high ground. 55% to hit. And what is it, a 1d10? Yeah, I think we should. Oh, the path is interrupted, bollocks. I can't even hit. Okay, maybe if I backed up a little bit further? I mean, actually, why not just... Let's just attack. That did two damage. That is not good. Why don't we have a bonus action? 
Oh, I can only do this once per short rest. Well, that's fucking shite. Well, we failed that. So, do I not have an attack of opportunity here because he's looking the other way? Or what, what's going on? It's a bit weird. I speak, they burn. Right, so this guy, we're going to want to... So he has 6 HP. So we can shoot two at him and one at him. And we're probably going to kill. We didn't kill. I'm trolling. I'm fucking trolling. But we pushed him over. It did two da We We killed him by pushing him into the fire. We pushed him over into the fire for the kill. Holy shit. Okay, we're popping off. We're fucking popping off. We are fucking popping off. Right, cast Cure Wounds on yourself, you melon. And then cast Healing Word on Spiffy. Thank you. Thank you. You missed. You hit the ground. Are you serious? Oh no, it hit that. Oh no! It just lagged! I thought, I thought it had failed. Okay, so now Spiffy is not particularly useful. So, I mean, we can't reach the destination. Are you telling me there's no way of shooting that? I don't believe you. We should be able to walk over here. These boots have seen everything. And then get an angle on them, surely. Surely. We've got to be able to get an angle on this thing. There's no way the path is interrupted. You're actually fucking with me. There's no way. There's just no way. Where's the other one? Hello? What the fuck is with this camera? Oh, I skipped turn because I pressed space bar thinking that it would... Ah, uh, Will's dead. Okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. So we cast one on you. And then we cast... Holy shit. Please, camera angle. We cast two on you. Alright, so that thing is now really weak. So now we can hit that with a cantrip. Holy fuck. We missed. That's a problem. And we've run out of spell slots. But we could cast it at level 2. As a bonus action? Who needs the healing? Fuck. Everyone. Literally everybody. I mean, who... Who are they more likely to go for? I don't know. Gale's poisoned. So maybe we should go for them? Take two. God, we're getting owned. Why is it like it? The suspense is killing me. Thank God for the miss. <gasps> Wait, how did Will fail? What happened? What happened to Will? What happened to Will? What the hell happened to Will? Why... Why did he just keep failing death rolls? I thought he did a death roll every time it was his turn. If only you could have saved him with a heal. I, I, did, I didn't know he was gonna fucking die. I didn't know he was gonna fucking die. Yeah, maybe I should have healed him when he was on the floor dying. That does make sense. You know, now you put it like that. Strike you down. That's no shot, you missed both of those. You are useless. Death is but a word away. <laughs> you are useless. He's got one HP. Somebody hit him. Somebody fucking hit him. Somebody hit him. <coughs> Somebody hit him. Please. 25%. 30%. We're gonna fucking... We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. 50%. Okay. Incendium. 
We missed three rounds of attacks against the spider. There's just no way. There's just no way. There's just no way. There's just no way. Hallelujah. Okay. Are you okay? Shadowheart is poisoned. How do we unpoison? How, how do we unpoison what Shadowheart? <laughs> what am I to do? Um, how do you unpoison someone? Wait a second. Maybe there's a thing that I can make. I've never used this before. How does this work? Elixirs? S uh, antidote. Antidote. Salts of mugwort. How do I make that? Extract all ingredients? I don't know how I did that. I mean, I don't know what that used. I don't know what that did. Any suspension? Ah, okay, so water and salt of mugwort. Right, okay. Wait, how are you? I, didn't I just make an antidote? And she's poisoned already? Uh, she's unpoisoned already? Where the fuck did the antidote go? Didn't I just make an antidote? Am I losing my mind here? Am I losing my mind? Where did the antidote go? Bottle? Grease bottle? And then camp supply pack? What the fu- Oh, there's an antidote. Is that the one I just made? I am so confused. I am so confused. I've got I've got no clue. I've got no clue what just happened. Anyway. Alright. I've got a long road ahead. Right, well, we do have a scroll of Revivify. Could you now? Yeah, I'm sorry for letting you die. I apologize about that. You know, I thought that might drop an item. I wasn't just trying to desecrate a corpse. Um, I... Oh, I didn't even realize you could break the spider web. I could have shot the spider web and they both would have fallen to the floor. Well, I didn't know that. Okay, let's come back here now that everything's dead. Okay, we killed everything. Let's take a long rest. Actually, what about if we take a short rest? Just a brief respite. That seems pretty useful. And we can go to Shadowheart. Ah, no, we don't have any of our spell slots or anything, so we should take a long rest anyway. What, what are you guys saying that I noticed or I cracked? What, what did I crack? Was that the fact that I could have broken the spider web? Is that what you guys were molded about? Yeah, the web bridge. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay, no drama. Our first dramaless night. That's incredible. That's unbelievable, actually. Okay. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. It's now's a good time. <laughs> You're voluntarily telling me about yourself. Are you feeling unwell? Is it the tadpole? <laughs> no. The opposite. I feel like I can share this with you. I've never felt that way before. The Riz is working, guys. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Right now, I'm worried. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Okay. 
Okay. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. She doesn't have a scar on her face. Are we going to see how she gets the scar on her face? Because that's a different scar. Uh-oh, she's about to get eaten by... Well, no, we know that she doesn't die. Because there's a flashback and she's alive now, so... Well, actually, I suppose there's a scrolls of Revivify in this game. Who are you? Oh, don't kill the wolf. Just give it a little slap on the bum and tell it to go home. I think they killed the wolf. She asked my name. Can't remember what I said. Can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life. And gave me a new home. You don't remember anything Shaw. before that woman. Shouldn't that be a little bit suspicious? Like a little bit? Just a little? That's all I remember. He says don't kill the wolf after falcon kicking a squirrel into a rock. I didn't realize it was going to do that. Lady Shaw. But yes, well, okay, her, Lady Shaw. And those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. It doesn't sound like the most effective way of raising a child. That sounds like abuse. Abuse. Nonsense. The Mother Superior made me strong. For the Dark Lady. Um, your wound is causing you too much pain. I want to talk to you about what happened with Lazelle. I want to get to know you more. What do you think that's happened to us? We should do it separately. Um. Hmm. I want to know more about the wound. I don't necessarily... I mean, we're, we're going to look for a healer anyway, but like... Let us vote. Sure. You can vote if you like. Go for it. Okay. It looks like this one. Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Shah must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. But why is it hurting? Where, where, you know, most wounds, most wounds don't just randomly hurt with excruciating pain whenever you look at something that reminds you of it. That sounds like an emotional wound. You should not have to suffer in order to be true to your faith. What if your wound pains you at the wrong moment? It could cost us dearly. Yeah, that sounds like something my character would care about more. Me when I don't add the bonus. And win anyway. Perhaps you're right. But there's little we can do about it just now. Maybe a way will present itself in time if Lady Shah wills it. Okay. Okay. At the ready. All right, let's go down the well, everybody. I'm not doing the shave thing tonight, mostly because I just haven't got my shaver with me. Icarus egg clutch burning. Why is it burning? Oh no! Don't. 
don't think there'll be any more trouble between Maisel and I if you were I wondering. accidentally clicked on you. I didn't even we want to talk to you. We can sleep easier now. I didn't. Well, apart from all the rest. I literally didn't want to talk to you. I, 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 I... I'll be keeping an eye on both of Relax. you. Relax. We'll kiss and make up on our own time. Someone prodding at a newly opened wound doesn't help matters. Bye. I didn't even want to talk to you in the first place. Right. Well, I don't think this is going to be the right direction, is it? Okay. So we have a chest over here. Oh, we have a lot of things. Oh, healing items. Lots of shit around here, actually. And a spider through the fucking floor. Wait, where? Whoa, 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 calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. Um... Hmm. Dead goblin child. You've been webbed, have you? Surely, surely you can still just walk, can't you? <laughs> this is entertaining me far too much. Where are we going? Oh. Is that a dead fate? Open up. I don't think I killed these, did I? Mm, so this is some... Oh, no, this is... Yeah, yeah, these are the bodies. Okay, so this is where I was fighting them. These are the ones that we killed. Okay. Cool, good to know, good to know. So this is... Up here. Right, so this is like a... A cracked wall. Can I attack it with my... This is going to take a lot of arrows. Do I have enough arrows? Do you have an infinite arrows in this game, by the way? Fuck them up. Nice, okay. Yeah, you have infinite normal arrows. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, we're in the Blighted Village. Ah, we're on the inside of something. Where the fuck are we? I do not recognize this area. Are we going to be able to get down, like, back up if we go down here? It doesn't look like it, does it? Ah, fuck it. Can't get there? Yes, you can. All you have to do is jump. You literally just jump. I'm going to lose one HP. Incredible. Why isn't it showing me all the things on the ground? Like, I'm literally pressing Alt, and it's, like, not showing me things. Oh, maybe Never I need to be moment. on my person? Nope. Don't understand. Don't know. Okay, where's... We're missing someone. Shadowheart, what the hell are you doing? I'm ready. Hello, Shadowheart. Yeah, you don't appear to be ready. Jump down here, please. No. Da down here. Thank you. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Let's look in the wooden trunk. Why are you picking up the rotting veg? Uh, might be useful later on. Might have to throw it at someone. Moving ahead. Okay, so if this is the blighted village. Pleasurable deal, the shocking truth. How do books work? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's go through here, I reckon. Let's see. Hmm. 
Right. The approachable east volume six. We could loot all of these cupboards. A trap. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Ah, interesting. Let me just disarm this real quick. This should be easy. Fine. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Don't even worry about it. I roll a six, I still break it. What's in here then? Highcliff's blueprints. Intricate blueprints for three impressive sounding weapons. Wait, who's Highcliff? Or where is Highcliff? What is that? Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines form the blueprints of three weapons, a great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Susser bark can only be applied to an ordinary, unmodified blade. I don't know what that's going to be useful for. At oh, find the masterwork weapon. If only I knew where to find some. Ah, I don't know where to find the bark at all. That's unfortunate. Uh, where is that, though? Finish the masterwork weapon. We found blueprints. All we need to forge is some bark from a saucer tree. All right. Well, you know, if there's one thing I'm pretty good at, it's the saucer stuff. How do we? Hello. Right click. Open. Lock pick. Couple turns should do it. Mm, I'm feeling good about this. Nailed it. Knocked it out the park. Oh my god. That's crazy. We have a weapon enchantment on that. Blacksmith's note. On an unusual metal so hot that even a forge's scorching heat couldn't melt or bend it. Infernal iron. Interesting. That seems like a bad thing to be messing around with. Right, so we can't use these weapons, but can somebody else, perhaps? How do we know if someone's proficient with these weapons? Like, where do I see that proficiency? Um, oh, here we go. Martial weapons. All right, all right, all right. So, proficient with glaives, halberds, pikes, and rapiers. Glaives, halberds, pikes. Flails, glaives, halberds, morning stars, and pikes. Um, and you're only proficient with short swords. And what was that again? That was a... Well, just a sword. Oh, it's a short sword. So does that mean I can use that? Wow, I can. I swear I wasn't proficient with short swords before. Oh, I was trying to equip long swords previously, maybe. I could have sworn I was, wasn't... Uh... Alright, well, whatever. That's cool. Will I do more damage with that than if I was just punching people? I'm not exactly sure what I would do as an unarmed strike, to be honest. Whatever, we'll use a sword. Fuck it. I mean, why, why not? Why not? Let's have a little play with the sword. Will compact any weapon? Yeah, that just comes down to if I remember to actually click the packed button. Check it out. Huh. So we can use the furnace, craft something with fire, and make something else. I wish it would only show me applicable items. Uh, but I guess that would take some of the skill out of the game. Maybe fuck it, let's put some infernal iron in there. Invalid combination. Yeah, what else do we have? Do we have anything else that makes any sense? Okay, what happens if I just put a sword in there? No, that doesn't work either. Okay, well, you know, we, ch we tried. We thought about it for, like, two seconds. Um, <laughs> why do I have a rotten carrot? You know, I seem to remember someone in the chat asking that earlier on.
How's the run going? I'm not sure. I think you should ask people in the chat, not me. Looks empty. Hmm. Not bad. I've seen worse. I am surprised by that. I should be happy about that or terrified you know it'd be nice if we had a torch actually let's toggle the light source you will automatically use your bonus action to make an offhand attack while using two weapons unless you toggle this option I don't have a clue man I don't have a clue I think that should be fine that should be fine all right so this looks like a bit of a dead end right yeah so let's keep going this way. That's all right. We'll get out of it in a sec. Come on. There we go. Come on, just keep following. We should probably wait for them to catch up. Come on, Shadowheart. Come on. There we go. Thank you very much. Alright, what have we got around here then? So we've got another bunch of items lying around on the ground. Am I looking at what all of these are? No. Alchemist's fire. Hey, don't mind if I do. Okay, I'm surely going to become burdened at some point here. So let's throw some of these overboard. Okay, wait a second. This is a... This is a mall. Not proficient. This is a morning star. Right, wait there. I wonder what the next move is. So, you do 2 to 9 damage with that, and you have 2 to 7 damage. So, we might as well be using the morning star, right? Oh, that looks kind of sick, actually. What else were you proficient with again? You are proficient with flails and morning stars. Okay, I think I picked up a flail, too, didn't I? Back here somewhere. I swear I picked up a flail. There it is. Two to nine damage. Two to nine damage. One D eight plus one bludgeoning. And that does piercing. When you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. Okay. Okay, I mean I don't know. I guess we'll just use the morning star. Does it have a different range? I don't think so. I don't really understand why there would be two weapons that are that similar, but I guess one is for bludgeoning, one is for piercing, and I guess if you know the game, you would know which you want to use against certain opponents. So. Let's try this way. Oops. No, I would Let's like Spiffy going. to be leading, Best please. Dead Goblin Child. I'll take... I'll rob the Let's dead Goblin it. corpse, I guess. Scroll of Blink. Holy shit. That's wild. You can just blink in combat. I've got the blink dagger. Oh no, I don't wanna... I don't think I wanna go upstairs. And why did the game just autosave? That concerns me. Where are we going? Ah. Ah. That spider has 125 HP. Oh my god. Back it up. Guys, back it the fuck up. Okay. Right. Group on me. I'm gonna cast Pass Without Trace. We're gonna hide. Don't waste a step. And we are going to sneak past. I am. Oh shit, she can sense what's in her web. Why didn't I think about that? Fuck! Oh, what the 
fuck up of a lifetime here, I think. Fuck up of a lifetime. We did four damage. We've done four bloody damage. Oh, there's no shot some of these are involved as well, man. I found it difficult enough. Okay, what about if we broke the spider web? Wait a second, what about if we broke the spider web? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. These things are doing 12 damage on their own. Oh, this is very not good. Okay, the spider web only has four health. Oh, but Spiffy's on there. Fuck's sake, man. I don't have enough movement? You're kidding me, I don't have enough movement for that. I don't have enough movement to get within melee range. Okay, what about if we backed off to, like, here? Alright, let's back up to, like, here and use Eldritch Blast. Wow, we only have 25% to hit with Eldritch Blast. God damn, man. 16% to hit? Oh, the AC is just ridiculous. The AC is ridiculous. That's insane. That's insane. This is very not good. Sacrifice Spiffy? No, I refuse. We missed. Incredible. How do I not have enough movement for that? You've got to, you've got to be kidding me. I can definitely get within melee range. Guiding Bolt. Yes! Guiding Bolt actually did something. Hallelujah. Alright. Will, you're weak. Take some heals. The ages. Okay, what do we have here? We have Witch Ball, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave might be pretty decent. Because it pushes away things. Actually, I'm going to cast this on Spiffy. Oh my god. There's no fucking way. Get out of there. Don't get poisoned, dumb ass. Fuck's sake. What am I doing? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. They all know Ethereal Jaunt. That's not good. That's really not good. That is really not good. That is incredibly not good. Okay. 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 We have Alchemist's Fire. I think I want to throw an Alchemist's Fire. Where is Alchemist's Fire? Come on. Come on. I know you're around here somewhere. I think we want to throw... Where is it? Where is the alchemist's fire? Okay, we want to throw that... At the ground there. At the ground. Am I even doing this correctly? We want to attack the spider web. How do I attack the- how do I make sure that I'm targeting the spider web? Path is interrupted. Well, move then, dickhead. Okay. We're gonna take attacks of opportunity all over the place if I do that, actually. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let me think about this a little further. Let me think about this. We're gonna throw to there. There goes nothing. It only did two damage. The alchemist fire did two damage. 
There's just no way. There's just absolutely no way. I need to get off this spider web. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're getting owned here. We're getting fucking owned. Okay, Shadow Hearts. Shadow Hearts turn, turn right? What do we do here? Fireball on the spider web. Not enough movement. Why why would you need movement to cast that? Bro, there's no what is going on here? You, it's it's fireball. Cast it from a distance. What is going on? Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Time to deal some punishment. From from way back, from there we go. Holy fuck! Just just shoot the fireball. Just shoot the fucking fireball. Just shoot the fireball. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. That did so much damage. That did such an extremely large amount of damage. Okay, that's how we're going to deal with her. That's how we're going to deal. Alright, healing word on Will. I mean, we're going to have to, aren't we? Otherwise, he's going to die and we're going to have to use another one of our things. Get up, Will. Get up. Okay, we're also going to move a little bit as far as we can away from Gale so that we don't take... Uh, AOE damage. This is my time. If only we hadn't just been rezzed, we would actually be able to do a sweeping attack here that would hit all three of them. Unfortunately, we only have a bonus action, which is a flourish. And that is not really useful for anyone. But I mean, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. That'll have to do. Lance board is set. Right, what do we do here? Um, we're gonna have to take out these little things. We just have to. So the question is, can we firebolt? Does firebolt do multi-attack damage? Uh, we have an advantage on them for some reason because they're off balance. Okay. Um. Reduces the target's movement speed by three meters, and it does one to eight damage. Okay, that is actually kind of goated what we just went for there. That's what we're talking about. Let's back up with Gale. And that's about as much as we can do, I think. And Will goes down again. Wonderful. That mage armor going crazy right now. No fucking way. Stop waking them all up. Okay, that's not good. That's really not great. Really not amazing, that. But okay, we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stab these things. Right, what do we go for? I think let's attack you. Make sure we have one less person to deal with, and then we'll hit you as well. Oh, that only did five damage. Oh, this is not good. Why did we get 
to react. Oh, because they were moving. Why did they move? Okay. Holy shit, we actually are gonna TPK here. Um, what do we go for? What do we go for? What are we gonna maximize? I think... We could heal get- oh, well, we need to- oh, we just need to heal, don't we? We could try to Guiding Bolt. But I think we're gonna have to heal. I think we just need to use all of her spell slots for healing. Take two. That did nowhere near as much as I was hoping. Fuck. So now my most healthy, most healthy person. Oh, I forgot to heal Will. I'm trolling, chat. I'm trolling. Okay, okay. Let's cast some magic missiles. Alright, so we want to get rid of that. And then, do we want to get rid of another one? Or do we want to try and attack these instead? I mean, I think we just try and get rid of another one of these small ones. Nice. Okay, we didn't quite kill this other spiderling, which sucks, but but that's that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Is there any chance we're going to be able to push him into... Any, no, I, I don't think push does any damage on its own, does it? Right, let's walk outside the toxin, at least. Ouch. Son of a bitch. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now we break this spider web. This is perfect. This is excellent. This is excellent. Okay. Are we off the spider web? That's the first thing we need to know. And how much damage is this going to do? Ranged attack on the spider web is absolutely perfect. So let's move here so that we guarantee that we're there. Hit this. We did a backwards shot somehow. We are fucking mummy up. Perfect stuff. Perfect stuff. Bonus. I uh, don't know what to do as a bonus. We have potions of healing, but I'm only damaged for five health, so I don't think that's worthwhile. We could do a flourish. That did zero. Oh, I knocked it out somehow. Wait, it's knocked out. All right, that's weird. Oh, Shadowheart's gonna die. Oh my god. It hit me for 21. Oh my fucking god. Cast Cure Wounds at level 2 on yourself, please. That did 5? You cast Cure Wounds at level 2 and it did 5? What the hell? What the hell? That is dreadful. Bruh. Okay, well that's just ruined my entire turn, honestly. Because I think Shadowheart's still just going to die next turn. Uh, nothing much more we can do now other than just try and walk out of the Toxin and... Oh, they've all got Ethereal Jaunt. Oh, they all use Dash, thankfully. But we are surrounded by a lot of these things. Okay, I think first step is going to be to take out Mummy. Oh my god. Okay, it's all down to Spiffy. It's all down to Spiffy. Uh, we can't even reach him. Okay, well... We do have healing potions for this, but we're going to have to break our way out of these spiders. Now, who's blocking my movement so far? Well, I mean, just the fact that we're surrounded, really, isn't it? So let's think. If we... So we do 5 to 11 damage with that, and we do 8 to, 11, 8 to 18. So we want to be using our primary attack on one of these in order to escape out. 
And it, if we do 5 to 10 damage, it would be unfortunate for us to only do 5. Like, a min roll does 5. We should be able to kill one of these things. Okay, we did 6, which is kind of lucky. So, if we just take an attack of opportunity and fuck mummy up, how likely is... We're going to take 3 attacks of opportunity here. Oh my god, is that worthwhile? No, I don't think it is. Three attacks of opportunity just to get one a attack on that's a 55% chance to hit. Don't think that makes sense, frankly. Oh, I should have moved a little bit. Oh my god, we only have nine health left. We need... Oh my god, I had a successful death saving throw. Please, miss. Please all miss. Miss, miss, miss. I'm the loat. I might be the loat. I might be the fucking loat. Oh, I'm not the loat. I'm not the loat. I'm not the fucking loat. He missed. Wait, we, we actually have a chance. We actually have a chance. They're all dead though. They're all dead. But Spiffy's alive. Push my luck again. Oh, unfortunately, we still can't attack her. And we're going to have to use a potion of greater healing. Which I don't think we can use. Oh, we can use that as a bonus action. Okay, so let's use potion of greater healing as a bonus. And see if we can just fucking 1v5 these idiots. Right. I mean, we're going to have to hope for some incredible misses here. How much longer do we have Mage Armor for? Oh, we just have it permanently. That's incredible until we long rest. So the base armor class is 13 plus the dexterity bonus. So we have 16 AC currently. Where's the Necrotic Aura? The Necrotic Aura from Gale actually might end up doing something here. Oh, is there any chance we survive? We just got to pray for misses. These are goated. These are actually goated. Oh, that did some damage. That did some damage. That did some damage. I need I need misses, motherfucker. I need misses. Another miss. Another miss. Oh. Oh. Guzzle another potion. We need to guzzle another potion. Somehow we are surviving. We just need to keep killing these that are behind me so I don't take as many opportunity attacks when I finally have enough movement to attack the matriarch, I think. Oh, that only did five. We, l we absolute min-rolled our attack and didn't even take out a spider. You've got to be shitting me. It's, it's over. It's over. Wait, the misses are going crazy. Okay, we took three damage. Four damage. Miss. Miss. Oh, we took 13. Oh my god. Fuck sake. game over. It's game over. <sighs> we go again. We go again. Round two. This time, it's Spider Boogaloo. These guys are getting murked. I think... I think that's a winnable fight. I'm not going to lie. I think that's a winnable fight. That fight cooked me when I first tried it. I think... Uh, I think it's winnable. wonder if the gods are watching me. What I need to do 
So, I fucked up by walking on the web the last time. What I actually need to do is just wait for her to get on a web and just surprise attack her by using the range of... Oh, the other thing that I could try to do, actually, is attack these things instantly. But I'm not sure whether this is going to start her going crazy. Hope your soul is in good hands. I missed. How did I miss? It said 100% to hit. It said 100% to hit. That's so incredibly troll. It's unbelievable. Well, we fucked up. We fucked up. We've absolutely fucked up. We clicked on her. Oh, there's no way I clicked on her, man. That's just a lie. <laughs> That's just a that's just a goddamn lie. Hmm. Pretty useful. I I can't see anything, dude. The camera in this game needs a bit of a a bit of a thonking. All right, they missed. Whatever happened there, they missed. So, question is. So we still can't really do anything to the matriarch. We could continue to try to kill these eggs. Alternatively... Yeah, I mean, it's probably the best idea, isn't it? Alternatively, we could try to guiding bolt this one. So the thing is, we need heals a lot in this fight. So I think I should only be using guiding bolt once, or at least prioritizing guiding bolt. That actually, though, do we need to guide him the matriarch, or do we just need to break the webs that she's on? No, the thing is, she's not going to even use the webs now, is she? She's just going to zip over to me, because they have ethereal movement. I think I might have fucked this up by breaking this. I didn't mean to break this spider web. Actually, I don't think I did. Maybe that spider did. Hmm. Burning whilst on the surface. Okay, so maybe these will die to the fire damage anyway. And the matriarch we can't do too much about right now, so... Maybe we just cantrip firebolt this dude? Well, we missed. All good. We have a bonus action. Shield of Faith. Increase its armor class by two. You know, that did go crazy before increasing AC. Like, Will has such low AC. I guess Will's armor is just shite. Oh no, because he has plus three from Dex. Oh, and they have shields. Wait, why didn't I... Why hasn't... <laughs> why haven't I given Will a shield? <laughs> Am I fucking stupid? Will, please, put a shield on. Instant 14 AC. Okay. All, all good. All good. Um, let's give Spiffy the Twiddler higher AC. That seems like a good use of my time. Now, you've already used your action to equip a shield. So we could run forwards and try and flourish this bro. Why not? We missed. Okay, all good. And for us, I think we want to be magic missile in these spiderlings. Just to soften them up, right? 
Oh, the target's too far. Shit, there's a range on this thing. Ah, that's problematic. So how far's the range? Why does it seem like the range is there? Hmm. Oh, that's the range on the down on the floor. That's the range on the high ground. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Right. Okay, so maybe not. So then, in that case, maybe we want a cantrip fireball. Just before things really start cooking. Actually, no, let's do mage armor on this guy as well. Yeah, that seems like a good use of my turn. Before things really start. Yeah, that's, that's a good play. That's a good play. That is a good play. So these are almost all going to use dash. I think some of them might not have had to use dash and might still be able to attack. Press O, motherfucker. And the game's stuck for some reason at the moment. Alright, I'm pressing O. This, this view doesn't look as good, though. I mean, I guess it looks okay. Gale is so weak. What the hell happened to Gale? Did he just take 19 damage or something? Fuck me. Alright, so we're surrounded by these little spider thingies. Where's Big Mama? Okay, Big Mama's over here. So ideally, we want to hit Big Mama. We're still 100% to hit this, but we're going to take three attacks of opportunity to do so. But I think it's gonna be it's gonna be someone else's turn first, right? So, yeah, we have we have all of our turns before that, so we're surely gonna be able to do damage to Big Mama. So we don't need to worry about that so much. We just need to do damage to these things first. So, let's do it. We're gonna slaughter some bugs. Good. Excellent AC increases. Excellent AC increases. Right, so this is where we're going to use a... Well... Ah, this ranged attack, we might only do two damage with, which I didn't think about. Right, so that's the problem that we run into over there. Fireball. If we fireball, we're very likely. We're rolling a D... We're rolling a D10. Surely. Nice. Okay, so we did 43 damage. And then we use our bonus action to heal Gale. On the victor's path. Right, now, what do we do here? So, Will is just kind of chilling. We could use an Eldritch Blast. We have 60% high ground advantage. That's about the best chance we're ever going to get to do some more damage to the Matriarch. So, I think that makes the most sense. Let my enemies fall. Alright, yeah, we actually hit. We did 5 damage. I mean, it's not much, but it's what we got. So, fuck it. Why not? In the meantime, Spiffy will just continue to try and kill a thousand different spiders, I guess. Alright, this guy is under a lot of pressure. Uh, Gale has, is very weak. So I think Gale needs 15 healing. Um, what does the potion of greater healing do? 8 to 20. Alright, let's, let's give him a potion of healing. And we'll say we use the potion of healing. Okay, we restored 8 health. Oh, that was a bonus action as well, so we still get an action. That's pretty sick. Um, I think the best thing, I think again using a cantrip here is going to be useful. Uh, so, let's hit this. That, we rolled a one. We rolled a natty one. Oh my god, where are you? Oh my god, what the fuck? Who allowed you to come up there? Who said you were allowed to do that? That ain't good. That is not good at all. That's my healer. She needs to be rezzed. Yeah, I don't think Gale has any healing stuff, so she has to be physically rezzed. 
And I can't really do shit until I get out of this pickle that I've got myself into. So if I was going to move, I take attacks of opportunity from all four of these creatures. Which is... You know, I would describe that as not good. So we're going to have to kill them. Right. The AC improvements have made a large difference. Okay, so I think... I think we're gonna have to res here. I think that's the only... Only choice we particularly have. But we lose our action. We still can bonus heal her. Bonus action. We could pop Expeditious Retreat. I don't really want to do that, though. I think we just walk as far away from her as possible so we don't get hit by AoE. What should I do? Right. Shadow Heart, you're going to have to <laughs> heal yourself <laughs> because you're really, really weak. Uh, let's do it at a level two. Take your five. You restored five health at level two. You might be fucking useless. Have to keep going. All right, so you're no longer poisoned, which is goated. Um, do we want to kill more of these spiderlings, or do we want to try? So, so this guy is really good with his magic missiles for attacking the matriarch. Who the matriarch? We actually have to do way more damage to now because I missed one of my chances to be able to knock her off the web. Um, but I really need Spiffy, Spiffy in the fight. I think if I take down one of these with a firebolt, we'll be in a much better position. That only did two damage. That is not good. That is not good. Maybe we can push it off the ledge. <laughs> that only did three damage. It's still alive. How? I can't even see where it is. Its health popped up there for a second. It's, it's, it's prone. It's got one health. How did that only do... How did that do so little? Okay. All right. You can throw health potions at down teammates to res them? What? That makes no sense. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. More of those little fuckers. Okay. Right. Are we finished with the bugs? Yes. It looks like we're, we're, there are no more bugs around us. That's awesome. However... There's a load more about to appear. And there's still the matriarch down there. All right. So if we can throw health potions at teammates, which is something I didn't know we could do at all. Is there anything else that we could do? We could take a potion of speed. Hmm. Or we could try to use Flurry of Blows. Um, but I don't really have the movement to be able to do anything like that. So, let's think. What do we want to do here? I mean... This might be a good opportunity, actually, to just take one of these healing potions, give it back, and use that as a bonus action. Because it does 4 to 10. I think that's sensible. Yeah, that's going to fully heal. That's good. That's good. Right, so we have Shadowheart, who is weak. We want to event. We want. We do want to hit a guiding bolt onto the matriarch, but we want to time the guiding bolt for when she's actually up here. The problem is, Shadowheart goes. So if I, if I guiding bolt, uh, uh, well, actually, we might not even be able to do that. Yeah, apparently, yeah, it's too far away. We don't have enough movement. Okay, so we can't do that this turn. Um, we might want to centralize just a little bit. Onward. 
Just so that we can use our movement more effectively next turn. And then maybe we just cantrip this spider. And we miss. That's Pogchamp. Okay. And then I think we just want a healing word ourselves. Because we really want that guiding bolt. Really want the guiding bolt. Take two. The blade will not bend. Okay. I think we want to try and attack this spider. Possibly we want to Eldritch Blast it. The Eldritch Blast does 65, and my attack does 55. So it, it's possible. Um, oh, we do have high ground advantage as well, though. All right, let's, let's just go over here. We have 60% chance to hit this with an Eldritch Blast. Alternatively... Yeah, I think Eldritch Blast is going to be the best thing to go for. Right? Probably. Oh, I literally have wasted my movement. Well, yeah, we're going to have to Eldritch Blast now. Question is just on who, but I think while we have the high ground, we might as well do it on her. It did one damage. Uh, that is... I'm going to mold. Nice miss, dumbass. Right, so we could start firing magic missiles. I do like the idea of that. Okay, that's some decent damage. That's decent. I'm gonna push you off the cliff again, motherfucker. Oh, fuck, no, I'm not. Okay, where are you going? Nice! Okay, we can do giga damage here. Alright, so... We can not hit that. That's unfortunate. Can we? Hmm. Can we? So why can't we hit that? We don't have enough movement? Target outside normal range. Okay, we're there, we're there. I think the game is trolling me here. I think all I have to do is tank an attack of opportunity and we're good. Going. Yeah, all good. Right. I think we should be fine. It does say target outside normal range, but... There's no shot. There's no way! That definitely hit! It said 100% to hit! It only did two damage. But my ranged attack does 4 to 11. Why has that done 2 damage? <laughs> Bro. Why? Why? Dude. So, I had the lowest possible roll with it only doing 4 damage. And then it also was half damage because it's outside my normal range. That's so incredibly frustrating. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, Shadowheart. Shadowheart, I need you to pull off the miracle shot. I need it from you. Your ranged attack does 2 to 7 damage. Get to the edge. Oh, it's going to be outside the range again, isn't it? It's going to be outside the range. Okay, Gale could do it. Gale could do it, but he's about to take an attack of opportunity, so I need you to take this thing down. Nice. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And then I need to heal yourself again. All right. 
can... Oh, it's not Gale. It's... Oh, well, it's Will first. All right. This is still target outside normal range. I don't understand how, but it is. Right, so this does two to seven damage. So it... Okay, we could Eldritch Blast the spiderweb. Crazy. We're popping off. We're popping off. Okay, that's that's perfect. That's exactly what I was after. And now Gale? Frankly, you can do whatever the hell you like. Uh, we could put Mage Armor on Shadowheart so she doesn't die. Or Mage Armor on yourself, to be honest. Mage armor on you might be more useful. 13 plus its dexterity modifier, so you would have 16 AC. 16 AC does seem quite useful for you. Oh, yeah. I think we should be able to deal with that now. The question is whether we need to be doing damage here. I feel like trying to do damage before these fuckers turn up is a good idea. Actually, nah. Let's go mage armor. Wait, could we shove this thing? Could we shove it off the side? It shall be done. <laughs> that did not work. That did not work. Oh, they're about to mess me up. Miss. They're about to miss me up. They're about to miss me. Okay. It took five damage on work. I don't know what speed uh, spider queens. Spiffy the Twiddler just ceased existing. What the fuck? What does Spider Queen's Wrath do? Gains an additional attack per turn. Strength increased by two, AC reduced by one. Okay, so we need to absolutely murk it instantly. Fuck. Well, I think we want to guiding bolt this, right? Oh, but it only has 55% chance of hitting. I think we've got to do it. Hallelujah, it hit. Okay, so now we have advantage on the next attacks on it, right? Which is incredible. We've run out of spell slots, though. Which is fine. We're not going to take an attack of opportunity, so all good. Right, do we want to res here? Oh, no. Oh, okay, what if we threw a health potion? What if we threw a health potion? Oh, we only have potions of greater healing. Maybe that's okay. Wait, who are we? We will, right? No, don't use it. Holy shit. Oh wait, we can actually still throw because that was a bonus action. Okay, okay. We have a 9% chance of hitting. Are you serious? Okay, no, it was just guaranteed, but for some reason it said nine. I don't know why. Unleash me. Okay, so we need to do 15 damage. We would need to max hit with this. Let's do level two. Dormant. Fucking owned. Let's go, Gale. You absolute warrior. You absolute warrior. Okay, now we just have to make sure we don't die to all of the underlings. Because that's extremely possible still. Good miss. Okay, Spiffy the Twiddler. We have a bonus action. Flurry of blows. Okay. 
Maybe we should have healed as a bonus action, actually. I feel like uh, this is the first time that I've actually played combat somewhat properly. I don't know if you guys agree. You might have more, like, strict criteria for what counts as properly. But for me, this feels good. Right, so we have a 75% chance to hit with that. Or we run over there, we have an 80%. Or we range attack, we have an 80%. So we're unlikely to kill with that, though. We're kind of unlikely to kill with both. I kind of just want to get stuck in and go over there. I, I just want to go over there and attack. Let's make this quick. Nice. Let's fucking go. Can I change what direction I would go from? Like if I go... Oh no, I can't really. Like if I move over here... Okay, whatever. Right. So we have a... Oh, we're using a different weapon now. Oh shit, what happened to my packed weapon? Why am I using the rapier? I thought I was using a packed weapon. I guess I didn't summon it or something? We missed. That sucks. We failed the athletics check. That sucks as well. Alright, what do we go for here? Do we magic missile? We have two spell slots left. Okay, what's a, what, what the fuck is alive here? The, so that's alive. It's got 6 HP. Um, is Will... So Will is not in danger. So let's send two towards this. And... I mean, this thing fucked all the way off, didn't it? So I think, I think, I think we're going to be fine here. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're actually chilling, to be honest. My old Spiffy the Twiddler, eh? Holy shit, we are doing it. The AoE killed Spiffy. Okay, we've still got these two to deal with. Okay, didn't quite realize that, if I'm going to be honest with you. Didn't quite realize. So, I think Firebolt is just our best option here. Actually, no. Our best option is using our action to go and res. And then we have... Do we have any more potions? I don't think we do, do we? We don't have any more healing potions. Fuck. Alright, so health is going to be a major problem here. Uh... Yeah, this is just going to be... A bit of a problem. Victor's path. Okay, Will. I'm gonna need you. 65% chance. 55% chance. 55% as well. I'm gonna need you to Eldritch Blast this guy, I think. Oh, what about this? What about that? Yeah, let's fucking do it. What are you doing? Obviously use it on the target I clicked on. Are you fucking stupid? What are you doing? Necrotic blasting your friend. What the fuck are you doing? Am I dumb for thinking it would work by clicking on the target? And like, why would it not just auto move you over to where you were clicking and then use it like it was a melee attack? It's melee? Yeah, so is a melee weapon. But when you click the melee weapon and click on the character, it walks you over and does the melee attack. Read the ability? 
Yeah, it just says three meters. It says a three meter range. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me here. It, I assumed it would walk me over and attack that. Holy shit! That fucking sucks. Okay, that's unfortunate. Creator, destroyer. Um, what do we go for here? Hmm, we could try and group them up for some kind of AOE attack. But Spiffy the Twiddler is the one with the next turn. And he's dead, and then it's going to be their turns. So maybe not. Maybe we just go Magic Missile again. What else have we got? We could sleep. No, we can't sleep one of them. Alright, yeah, fuck it. Dude, Magic Missile is so good. It's crazy how good it is. Right. So, I'm going to go back and res Spiffy again. And then, I'm going to do nothing else. That is literally my turn. But I'm going to get far enough away from Spiffy, so that he doesn't get hit by another AoE attack. And you... Right, we're going to figure out how this shit works. So we're going to walk over. Okay, so how do I know how much movement this thing has? Right, so we're going to walk to here. So is that within three meters? How do we know? Ah, because of the cone. Right, gotcha. Why is that only 65% to hit? Does it change if we get closer? Nope. Okay, well, it did hit. We'll push him as well. Just for no good reason, just in case. Nice. Dude, Gale has been going crazy. Gale's been going nuts. Alright, get out of the toxin, because you're poisoned. You have one HP. You can't heal, because you don't have any healing items. So... Just stand there, look pretty, vibe for a second. Just vibe, okay? Not what I was looking for, but that's fine. This is my time. Is it your time? Is it really? Gamma, thank you for the 21 months. <laughs> uh, so we have 55% on that 55% on that Or we Eldritch Blast Nice Good little attack I accidentally skipped Gale's turn The person that can do the most damage That's good That's real good That's real good Well, we did two damage. That's about as good as we get. Can we Eldritch Blast this guy? 65%, yep. We missed. All good. And you, we're gonna try and cantrip. Path is interrupted. Really? You can't, you can't possibly get to a position where your path wouldn't be interrupted? Step by step. You have no LOS at all. Unfortunate. What can you attack here? Uh, only to there. Unfortunate. Unlucky. Never mind. Oh, you've died again? Dude, Spiffy, please. Spiffy! Sp <laughs> Spiffy's not having a good time over here. Just really not having a good time. Um. Ignite. 
Fuck me. Got to press on. No holding back. Watch and learn. Nice. That's a lot of damage. We I like to see that. Now, please Headlights. get up. Please get up. For the love of God. Right, what, what are you doing all the way up there? Where are you? You're on a fucking web a mile away. You're absolutely miles away, mate. What am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with that? Um. So what does this do? Yeah, that's not useful. I mean, there's no way that we're going to be able to actually reach that, are we? No, not a chance. We could start moving forward so that we can get to them later. Might as well. Alright, you are weak. Is there any chance that you can attack that? Nah, there's no way, is there? Uh, put yourself in the corner. You've still got 13 health. You should probably be in the front, weirdly enough. Don't get too close. Oh. Right, Spiffy the Twiddler. You only have 1 HP. Uh, why don't you cast Darkness on these three? So that the ranged attack can't hit them. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And now it has to be within range. Perfect. 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 All right. So we'll get out of the darkness. On the move. We will fire a firebolt. And we will run back into the darkness. We're holding back. We will run out of the darkness. Oh my god. We will do a little bit of trawling. We are out of the darkness. We Eldritch Blast. We go back into the darkness. We <laughs> dive it off movement. Okay. Please. There must be a way that you can blast this thing. Oh, you've got to stop missing, man. You've got to stop missing. You've got to stop missing. And as for you, Spiffy, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you've got one HP. What you got? <laughs> What's your game plan, mate? I guess you could get in there with them. One day I'll catch a break. <laughs> That's just, we're just all in the darkness together. Right, we'll walk outside. It's very simple. We're doing the same game plan over and over here. And we will eventually hit them for enough damage. Did you... Are you inside the darkness there? I don't think you are. Fuck's sake. Battle favors the fearless. Ah, Will can't even make it out of the darkness. So that's very annoying. Yes. I might have beefed this, you know. Pawn to cleric four. Yeah, stop saying that. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, Spiffy, you don't have enough movement to be able to get around, so... You're kind of useless to me. Oh, well, not so, actually. Not so. Incredible that it's Spiffy that ends up winning the battle for me. Oh. Click the little X in the bottom left of Spiffy's icon to cancel the darkness. Oh, I didn't know that, but also... 
that's that's good to know. But also, I didn't want to cancel the darkness. I was hiding in the darkness so that he couldn't use the ranged attack in on me. So he had to close and do melee attacks. Um, Alright, we popped off. We actually managed to win. Did we take stuff from the fate? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Okay, so we, we got some kind of robe from in there, I think. Who was it that looted him? Where, where did that loot go? I could have sworn we got, like, a sacred robe or something. I thought it was Gale that looted him. Oh, yeah, there it is. Poisoner's robe. When the wearer casts a spell that deals poison damage, it deals an additional 1 to 4 poison damage. I don't think... Oh, Gale can absorb this item's magic. Well, that at least is useful. Alright, I think we can be very happy with what we achieved today. Take a long rest. T Ladies and gentlemen, take a load off. Take a load off. We're running out of supplies here. Why do you never use short rests? Because most of what I'm doing is really large amounts of combat and I've used all of my spell slots and short rests don't restore spell slots. I mean, yeah. If I was just doing little skirmishes without using all of my spell slots, then yeah, I would use a short rest, but I think the long rest is definitely the play. Um. Did anyone try to fuck Spiffy yet? No. Unfuckable, just like his uh, master. Um, okay. So, I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing anymore. I wanted to kill that spider, and now I'm at a bit of a loss. Uh, so, we already did that, didn't we? Um, I think... I think the next thing to do is to go rescue Halson, which means we go back to the Blighted Village anyway. Maybe, my step. maybe we should, I mean, if we've taken down the boss in that area, maybe there's some more like loot past the, where the boss was. So where did we just do that big boss fight? Was that over there? I am not sure. No, 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 no. Dude, for fuck's sake. Over this way. Ah, yes. Here's the dead matriarch. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so then there's also the ground floor... Now, how would we get down there if we wanted to explore that? Could we jump? Hmm. Is there, like, something we can climb down? Incredible. Oh, nice. We got ourselves poisoned. That's wonderful. Now... Hmm. What happens if I just click, go there? Where are you going to go? How are you going to get there? Ah, something I didn't see. Intriguing. Endless dark. Transfixing, isn't it? Who knows what's down there? I'd like to go with, I'd like to go with not dying in the endless dark and falling down the unending chasm. Oh. Light. Uh, but before that, we have a waypoint. Okay, so what does that mean? Why is there a waypoint down here? If there's a waypoint... Presumably, that means that there's a reason to go back there. Uh, 
What is this? What does that mean? What the fuck? What the fuck am I doing? What? What is this? I've ne- Yeah, I know these are the eggs that I exploded, but like, why can I pick them up? And throw them, when I can't do that with anything else? That's super weird. You can? I can't throw the animal carcass. Oh, I guess it's only small things. Hmm. So this is just a chasm. Right, so we can't go anywhere around here. But we can go this way. So maybe we should have an explorer over here. Well, it looks like we've explored almost everywhere. Sure what I'm exploring at this point, to be honest. No time for mercy. Hmm. I think I think we've cleared this area. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. Phase spider egg. Okay, and... What do I do with this? Don't know. Nothing. Scroll of dark vision. Okay. Yeah, well, someone in my chat told me to look around a bit more, but I think I've seen everything here, so. I mean, it looks like it on the map, right? I guess we could go further down there. Like this way. Is a what? Wait, what was over here? I can't remember. Oh, this is just, again, falling into the chasm, basically. Right? Oh no, you can actually get down there. Huh. Okay, so maybe this is worth having a look at. Interesting. No time to rest. No, 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 no. Stop trying to go on the spider web. Fuck you. Wait, can you not go any further? Wait, why would it let you down here if you weren't allowed to go any further? confused. That's weird. Oh, if the web broke and you fell, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Alright, well, let's go back across here. And then take a left. 
Come on, keep crossing. Okay, what is this? This is the only area I haven't been into yet. Bloody journal. Maybe I need more pockets. <laughs> My character's so short, you just had to get up on a stool in order to look at it. Uh, where was the bloody journal? The regrets of a surface elf. Hmm. Elliot. Trapped by the drow captors. Uh, okay. Spider step boots. Cool. Whoa, that's... A lot of nice scrolls. Don't mind if I do. An ornate diagram is drawn upon this parchment, picturing a, a ritual of some kind. At the bottom, two figures, a spider and an elf, are sketched within overlapping circles. A single word is penned beneath them. Transcendence. If that's supposed to mean anything to me, it does not. Viscera. Yeah. It's kind of grotesque. Um, what else? Have a look in some of these wooden crates. I don't know whether water and stuff is useful in this game, but I mean, why not, I guess? Huh. So, I think this is the only... I, I, yeah, I don't really understand what's happening here. I think it was some kind of, like, sacrificial ritual with that... Uh, the drow sacrificing an elf and trying to combine their spirit with a spider or something if I'm trying to read between the lines here goes nothing okay all right let us continue we've left an absolute scene of slaughter behind us and we couldn't even stop this windmill from going. We absolutely murked the gnome that was on there. Okay, look, we've got a studded shield. This studded shield is going to be so much better for you than this uh, scrap wood shield, surely. Maybe not. I mean, it looks better. Okay, it looks better. We're all we're all wearing the same shit. Okay, it looks better. Now, if I just click down there, it says can't get there. Are you really supposed to jump down here and take six, six HP damage? <laughs> it just looks so fucking stupid. I, I, this is the only way I know to get into the goblin camp. <laughs> this is literally the only way I know to get into the goblin camp. Oh, I have the magic touch. The pride of the gate. Maybe there's a better way, but I don't know it. That helped. Well, we made some use of the short rest mechanic. Looking ahead. Press M. 
Yeah, as far as I can tell, this bridge is the only entrance into the goblin camp. This bridge is the only way in. And the only way to access this bridge that I can see is by jumping down here. So... Swift as my feet can carry me. As far as I can tell, I'm making the right decision. Okay. Let's hit a little F5 here. Hit the quick save. Cast Pass Without Trace. Sneak. And let's start moving. It seems to be perfect conditions. Now, do we want to be killing these goblins? Can't, re can't reach destination. You've got to be absolutely fucking kidding me. Do you want me to quietly, stealthily jump down there? Well, fuck. Hello, it's me. He just saw me and went straight back to sleep. There's no way. Right? Okay, I'm gonna enter turn-based mode. Because... If he's about to wake up, we need to be obliterating him. But ideally, like, quietly. Wait, maybe we can just sneak past them. Let me try. Yeah, actually, we might be popping off here. Okay, we might have just popped off, actually. Right, what is this? That's just a bunch of rocks. Okay, so... That's a really big guard, and that's a lot of people down here. We do not want to fight all these people. This would be a disaster if we were fighting all of these people. But it looks like if we can get... Ah, oh, no. Maybe we can't get inside there. I mean... Can we in any way get through... Without... Causing a mass disaster. Well, we could have walked down that cragged rock and be over here, actually, couldn't we? Maybe that would have been better. Um. Well, there's a waypoint there. Which, while somewhat helpful... I think we're gonna have to... I think we're gonna have to fight our way through this. In, like, I think we're gonna have to assassinate little groups one by one. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I've already, I've already cast Pass Without Trace, haven't I? How long does it last for? Oh, until the long rest. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Alright. Let's, let's exit turn-based mode. Come on. Come on. All of these things are asleep. Let's go and check out this area. That wall is barely holding together. Incredible. Let's do it. Right, now I need, I need, right, this is another concentration spell. I don't think we need Pass Without Trace anymore. I think we could do with Darkness. Because we've already snuck past them. So now in the, in the, with the benefit of Darkness. <laughs> Come here. Who? Who shouldn't have come here? Just out of view. Who shouldn't have come here? Go back to sleep. 
Go back to sleep, mate. Nothing going on here. Nothing going on here. Nothing going on here. Go back to sleep. Fuck! Well... Can they even see us? Okay, how do I... Shit. Okay, what does sturdy mean? This material is rather strong. Only hit the deals at least 10 damage can damage it. Shit, well, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have just kept whacking it with my sword. Oh, I don't have any chi points. Oh, because I used them all to cast these things, for fuck's sake. I really fucked that up. I used four chi points just to cast spells that are not going to be useful. Real good, real good work. Right, so we have to max roll in order to do any damage to this wall. We have two rolls that will work with this. Hello. Action. I would like you to ranged attack the wall. Oh, I'm in darkness. Fuck. They're, surely they don't know where we are. We're in the darkness. They don't know. Bro, they just don't know. They actually don't know. There's no way that this makes sense. Okay, where there. You guys are telling me I'm not reading something. This material is rather strong. Ah. Wait, what does resistance mean? Does that mean it deals half? Well, force damage against this entity is doubled. Piercing from... Oh, you can't slash. You can't do... Oh, so... Oh, holy fuck. Oh my god, it's unbelievably powerful. So, you can only do piercing... But the damage is halved. So I would need to be able to do something that did 20 piercing damage. It's not going to happen. Or we need to find something that does force damage. How do I know what does force damage? Right. Why are the others not in combat, by the way? Why are these other motherfuckers not in combat? You've made a grave mistake. There's no way. What are you throwing? Are you throwing javelins at me while drunk and blind? Holy fuck. This was a really bad idea. Distinctly awful idea. I missed. That's insane. Most of these guys are trying to attack with ranged attacks though, so this darkness is actually going crazy. How, how do I get the others into combat? Like, how do I get the rest of my party to actually help me? Click on them. 
Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should do that then, huh? Light on my feet. Why am I not attacking from the shadows here? fucking way. Shit. I got in snit. I mean, I'm... I am very dead. Fuck me. It's it's over. It's uh, look, look. It's fucking. It's it's Jova. It's Jova. It's Jova. It's Jova. <sighs> this has taught me. This has taught me. To read things now i don't know how long that lesson's gonna last for how do you have so few saves this far into the run i don't save the game custard i mean it auto saves anyway so what what does it matter if not over then through these boots have seen everything Can't use actions. What do you mean, can't use actions? Nice. Look in the wood and chest. Eat some pork shoulder. Alright. Come on. Jump down. Come on, Will. Will. Come on. Will. Come on. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Hide. Okay. Incredible creeping techniques. Extremely good creeping techniques. Extremely good. Well done, everybody. Well done. Right. Now, who's got force attacks? Does anybody have force attacks? Let's enter turn-based mode for a moment. Does anyone have force attacks? I don't think I do. Can't afford to fail. Um. Hmm. Okay. Wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see if Gale has any force. Is that force? That is force. Hmm. Now, is it going to immediately start putting me in a battle? You shouldn't have come here! You know, it doesn't appear to have done anything too bad. Let's get it done. done. Yep, it did. Okay, I was in turn-based mode. That's why I didn't fucking destroy too ma too badly. You lost that that javelin was appalling. Oh. They're so close. All right, let's have a look inside. Collapsed corridor. Go in there. Can't use this right now? What do you mean to can't use this right now? You're fucking trolling. You're trolling. Okay, you're drunk. Let my enemies fall. Well, so much for 
much for peace. So much for peace. That's what I'm talking about. Ouch! That's ridiculous. Nice. Okay. Gale's turn. Um, now, Gale has thundering willy nillies. They both saved. That sucks. All good. Can I push one of them? No, they're too heavy. All good. Can I run away from them? No, I will take attacks of opportunity. Can I jump away from them? No, I will take attacks of opportunity. All good. Right. We can definitely kill Tegun, can't we? We could fire... Play, uh, fire whatever. Oh, I'm too close. Um, what, are, what is my damage? Two to nine damage. Fuck it. Let's try it. We missed. What is this? When you miss, deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. Yeah, why not? And then bonus action, heal will. We need everyone. Oh my god. Okay, well, I didn't actually mean to do that. And take an opportunity attack, but all good. Oh, you put grease all over the floor. That's very flammable. Ouch. Wait, did that hit Spiffy as well? No, it didn't. Okay. That's lucky. I managed to save myself from the grease. This is my time. Right, so we don't really want to attack. We could help her up. Or we could try to do something weird like set fire to the grease. Alright, let's go crown a madness on you, I think. Oh, I should have done it on you. Fuck, what am I thinking? Do it on the next person that has in the initiative order so that at least it does something. So now I've lost my concentration. Oh, you pushed me into the grease. You're fucking kidding me. Son of a bitch. That's a lot of damage. Oh yeah, I can't shove you. You're too heavy, aren't you? Um... We've got a 50% chance to hit, and we only do 2-7 to seven damage. Dude, you are rubbish. Oh, we've got a cantrip as well, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Incredible. Well done, well done, well done. Now let's get out of the grease in case they light it on fire. I'll use bonus action to heal Will again, I think. Or Gale, maybe. Maybe Gale. Take your heal. Ouch. All right. We would like to attack with flurry of blows on this guy, but we don't have enough movement, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we could use a bonus action to jump. Yeah, let's do that. Hello. Hello. And, uh, uh, why didn't you jump? So, you know when I click jump and it showed me an example of what it was going to do and then it didn't do it? Why? Why? Okay. Good to know. Didn't kill him, but we didn't knock him out. Oh, all good. All right, Gale. I want you to rustle this guy's jimmies. 
was nearly there, but not quite enough rustling for my liking. Suddenly. We've got a half chance of pushing this guy. Nope. I was trying to push him over the edge, but we didn't manage to actually accomplish that. Uh, do we want a guiding bolt? Uses a level one spell slot, which I don't really think we want to we want to do. Let's move to like here, and then see if we can use. Why have we only got? Why the fuck have we only got twenty five percent chance of hitting that? Why have we got disadvantage? Because we're poisoned. But we have a 36% chance of hitting it. Whatever. I don't really understand. To be honest. But. We should probably. Actually. I don't think we need to heal anyone. Well. Now we need to heal Gale. We don't have enough movement. Still. Really. That sucks. We missed. What the fuck is going on here? The victor's path. All right. We got him. We need to make sure this guy doesn't escape, even though he's pissed drunk. So fuck it. Let's use guy involved. We missed. I, I, uh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Fools these mortals be. Torment. Still didn't kill. Okay, thankfully he's not running for help or anything like that. Holy shit, we missed. Dark One's Blessing? Excuse me? Gain temporary hit points equal to its charisma modifier and warlock level combined. Why does he have the Dark One's Blessing? Oh, this guy's still knocked out as well, isn't he? Nice. Still alive. So that's progress. All right, let's loot these guys quickly. Anything of use? Is that the first time Will's killed someone? Um, might just be the first time I've noticed it, to be honest. Breathe deep and move. Is his pact with the Dark One, perhaps? Has he, has he made a pact with the devil itself? Should I be worried? Oh, Gale. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. All right, well, I've got some ideas. Um, hmm. My character loves lying for no good reason. I definitely can help. I have some magical items. But I'm just going to lie to him. Of course. I would hate for you to think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere for now. <laughs> Gale don't look good. He doesn't look good. Right. So presumably Halsim is going to be somewhere in here. What is that? Interesting. S 
So, let's try and walk along one of these. Which of these seems reasonable? Yeah, like walking along there. Do what us true souls so Luna, as if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. What? 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 Saluna, what are you talking about? Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Saluna? What do we have here? Absolute looking out for me now. No I can push us around anymore. So strong. Hmm, so we don't seem to have the area where the the others are being kept yet. Can't see where that would be anyway. But I would assume it's further in. At least give me a sword. Smithin. We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Not dead any heroic. Get down there and stop complaining. Hmm. Oh. Oh, they just pushed him down the well. Alright, well that's unfortunate. But you know, sometimes I guess it be like that. Prisoners be getting killed and shit. Oh, the spiders down there and things. Oh, he died. Oh, Smithin just died. Okay, so they just killed Smithin. I don't know who Smithin is, but he's he's dead. Alright, let's have a look. I am in the... Oh my god, get the fuck out the line of sight of these guys. Hello? Hello? Hello, my party members. Thank you. Right, we're going to have to go into turn-based mode here because my characters are fucking around. Right. Can we dash while hiding? Looks like it. Oh, there's no shot that we've run out of movement speed right there. Kagran, Navas. Oh my god, that's a true so All right. They have set. All right, all right, all right. I'd like to sneak past these guys if possible. Because, I mean, the further deep, the deeper we go, the more likely we're going to be close to. Oh, this is like the actual, like, fucking Goblin King area. All right, well. There is work to do. We've made our bed. We're going to have to sleep in it now. Stick to the shadows. Windows ripe with magic. Immediately. No. You're supposed to be hiding, you no silly beggar. Sticks. Right. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? He has disadvantage to constitution saving throws. That's no excuse for not being able to hide. On the ground. Careful. Hello, hello. Alright, tuck in that corner. We'll be fine. Alright. Any other actions happening in the world? Oh, you failed your hiding check. Gale. Oh, it's because he's sick, isn't it? God fucking damn it. Gale. Gale, eat the thing. Gale, eat this fucking thing. Motherfucker. Why is it still Will's turn? What about the rest of them? Why is it immediately gone to Will's turn? 
Get back to Spiffy the Twiddler's turn. Oh, all turns go at the same time? Oh, I see, I see, I see. No one's stopped me yet. Right, Spiffy, hide, motherfucker. <sighs> one day I'll catch a break. There's no... There's no way you're hiding right now. You're actually just not hiding. What the fuck are you doing? Hello? I press C. Hide. Hide. You little shit. Unbelievable. Honestly, unbelievable. Should mind my step. Crimson Dagger. My favorite. Let's step softly. He failed to hide because they could see him? Well... Oh, yeah, 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 I get what you mean. I see what you mean. Right, whose turn, whose turn have we not had? Lost in thought. Gail, you are bloody useless, man. Who, who can see you? My pleasure. Oh, the goblin boss. Oh, Gail, you fucked it, mate. Gail, you have fucked it. Everyone else was fine, and you have well and truly fucked it, my friend. Keep it quiet. Right. What's next, I wonder? Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> Wait. The goblin boss is absolutely oblivious. I mean, he's absolutely oblivious. He's oblivious. Utterly oblivious. All right, Gail. One with the weave. Gail, I don't know if you have time to dash, but now is the time to dash. Step by step. Somehow, no one saw that. I guess. Oh, there's a dead mind flayer. Okay. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Shut up. Don't be silly. So I can use a bonus action dash as well. Dude, monks are crazy. They got so much movement. What? Can't I use another dash? Why? Double your movement speed. But I had no movement left. Is that the problem? I don't even understand. Basic mechanic alert. They are not hostile to you. But there, but I sneak, but I snuck in here, and they're goblins. But they're got, but they're. So they're just watching me sneak around, thinking, oh, the fuck are these tourists? Almost no goblin has ever attacked you on sight. The guys guarding the door attacked me immediately. The guys guarding the door attacked me instantly. So isn't it reasonable for me to assume that upon entering the area, the people on the outside would act the same as the people on the inside? Because you tried to blow up their door? Oh... So those goblins were like, chill, until I blew up their door. I think I'm sneaking around really well. I think that's the real reason they're not attacking. Secrecy above all. Deliver the truth, Rautouche! Right, well in that case then, I'm exiting turn-based mode.
Um, Time to press ahead. Right. Well, I mean, let's let's all stop hiding then, I suppose. And we'll just we'll just walk up to these iron gates and open them up, I guess. And now, if you were gonna hide. I was going to say prisoners, but let's be honest. You can't just be putting that level of treasure right there and assuming I'm not going to go for it. Uh, don't give me trouble now. Ooh, difficulty class 20. Fuck. Wait, the guidance rolled four. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, come through. Why am I... Why do I look like that? Ah, because I'm over encumbered. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Sort by weight. Is that the thing with the highest weight? Alright, let's get rid of these hammers. Drop item. What are you doing? Why, why did you walk outside the room to drop it? So maybe I don't need like seven quarter staffs or whatever, you know? It's possible. The other thing is, I think if I just, because these are the people barely have anything. So, like, if I... Wait, how do I sort while I'm in here, though? Hmm, I guess it can't. Oh, it already is sorted like that, isn't it? Alright, so let's just start dragging shit over. There's gotta be a better way of doing this. Surely there's a better way of doing this, right? But I don't know what it would be. You can control, select, and right click, send to. Oh my god. That's, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Send to will. Right. Now we've distributed the load a little bit here. So, we're gonna wanna grab, I mean, we're gonna wanna grab as much treasure as there possibly is. You know, I think they might notice that. Like, at a glance. But, I would say, let's close the gate. And look for Halsin. And, you know, maybe Can't give up they now. just don't know. Maybe they just don't know. Now, where is Halsin? Night Warden. Scrying Eye. I mean, Halsin has got to be around here somewhere, right? Is that blood? No, never mind. Hmm. Get your eye off my ass, what? Oh, a scrying eye. Where have the other two gone? Oh, there they are. Scrying eye. 
Level one construct. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Well, I'm at a bit of a loss right now, but let's let's look in the map. So it says ask the goblin priestess for help. Uh, th I was going the wrong way. I went entirely the wrong way. I went literally and entirely the wrong way. Some silver shit. That's all right. Now I know. I could look at the map. Okay, why can't why can't he just eat this? Like if I'm Gale, why don't I just eat? Oh, consume. There we go. It is a strange experience. Each time a new I can't Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. It's kind of but dark. This doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Oh. What's happened? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. Don't tell me I have I'm to feed you what's more. What's going on? But nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Is he telling me that my magical item that I gave him was thank you for the artifact. half baked? A great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. Mm, okay. So Fair let's. Enough. Oops, I don't really want Gale to be leading. I want Spiffy to be leading. All right. What now? These books right. have seen everything. Still breathing, despite everything. So. Let's have a little look here. So where do we want to go? Do we want to be going down through there? By the look of it, the goblin priestess is like right in front of us. Not exactly who are sure who that is. True soul. Oh, there we go. True soul gut. Or alternatively. We wait, but if these guys don't give a fuck about us, let's just walk no, over there. Wait, but we've also stolen a lot of their stuff. Maybe we shouldn't be this bold. Hello, it's just us. Hello, don't worry. We definitely. Well, that's not a very good thing to say, is it? If you're trying to, if you're trying to get them on our side. This ruin's dedicated to Saluna. Vile moon witch. Shut Once, up. The goblins' decorations are an improvement. Oh, fair enough. All oh, right. Right. So, if we open these doors, it's going to seem like we were meant to be here all along. Hi. Oh, it's, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. That's Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? And once the whelps start singing, we'll know who sent them. I might be will pay him a visit in return. Hey there, Sean. That Thank you for the nine months. Fun. <laughs> right. Well, as lovely as that sounds for you all, I think I'll be going this way. Right. Hello, Mr. Guard. Let's talk to the guard. No go inside. Inside, boy. 
Okay, I won't go inside. But what about if inside wasn't boring? What about if you all wanted to go inside? Good lord, what is going on over here? Um, okay, let me have a look at the map again. Rescue the Druid Halsin. From... Where? Mm. Well, it seems to indicate that we need to rescue... What the fuck is going on here? Hello? Come back over here. Rescue the Druid Halsin. He might be... Mm, so it just says search for him. Well, that's not useful. Presumably he is inside then. I, I don't know where the fuck he is. Alright, maybe we need to talk to some people. How about that? Alright, who should we talk to? New Age is dawning with goblins and trust. Mountains, great mortals, all kinder. Hells, that yowling bleeds the ears. Is that supposed to be entertainment? Suppose you could do much better. Don't need to, mate. We already got the greatest art there is, and it ain't no warbling. It's chicken chasing. What? Only the greatest game since Egg Sprouted Legs, mate. <laughs> since Egg Sprouted Legs is a fantastic phrase. Round the course and through the posts. This sounds like something from Jack and Daxter. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Come back when that half wit's done wailing and find out. Well, okay, let's let's see if we can let's talk to some of the trackers or something maybe. Meat ain't ready yet. Dwarves take an age to roast. Mm, where'd you find a dwarf? He found us. Don't know what he was doing here or where he came from. Lads inside are trying to get answers out of one of his mates. <sighs> was one of his mates? Oh, I can get you answers. Perfect. Excellent lie. Enjoy poking holes in people, do ya? <laughs> He's inside. Keep to the right. And follow the screams. <laughs> okay, okay. Keep to the right. He's inside. Keep to the right and follow the screams. I'll give it a shot. Now, presumably, I can go past this guard without him kicking up a fuss. Keep to the right and follow the screams. Let's talk to these guys. Forgive the reception, eh, mate? Had some intruders a while back. Can't be too careful. In what way are we different from the intruders? A druid. Can't be sure. Got one of them chained up below, though. Just follow the honouring. Okay. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got hmm. them now, eh? I want the wealth not Follow. Hmm. Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. All right, let's talk to the high priestess because we did talk to that. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Not that I'm aware of. Needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Uh, fuck that. One of the leaders, no doubt about it. Let's make her squeal. What's that? Tell your friend to keep quiet. Or he'll lose his good eye. Oh, no shot, man. You're only giving me two options. Attack or tell me about the mark. I don't want a mark. 
Why would we want to attack the priestess, though? I don't... I just... I want to find the druid. And I want to do it sneakily. Maybe I shouldn't have talked to the priestess, though. Shut the fuck up, Will. Let me handle it. Ready for the fire, are ya? No, I'm not, actually. Wh why? I'm not letting you burn me for life on a whim. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with oh. hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Hmm. I don't really want to fuck around with this. I just want to find Halsin. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Oh, speak Maybe for yourself. I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out You're not interested in her pretty face. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? If... If I'm if I can't resist her, the the flaw is not I can't resist a pretty face. It's that I can't resist anything sentient. I might as well be going around fucking bugs on the floor. She's she's a menace. That's so fucking rude. Look at her. Look at her. Um, I need a healer. You've come to the right place. With the absolute's will, I can fix anything. That sounds like bollocks. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess, like we us. want the mark. Why do they yeah. think they're talking to a dog? Ain't we good enough for the absolute? Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't like the way that this is going. I'd much rather find Halsin. Now, let's have a chat with these fellows. Unless you like big, bristling, hairy legs, I wouldn't go down there, mate. That's the spider pit. How'd you get him down there in the first place? Okay, any other comments? Is there Another a druid down there? Outsider come to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Right, well, you're being extremely helpful. Thank you. Extremely helpful. When we first came in here, they said keep right, so... I'm going to try to keep right, I suppose. Abderak's been hurt a little. Who's Abderak? Who the fuck are you? Wouldn't describe that as a pretty face. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviata, goddess of pain. Mm. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Yep. Yep. What? Come on, you already know who the prisoner is. You already know that the prisoner is probably the druid. You already agreed at the front to help with the prisoner. You've got to be giving me an option that is deception. Yes, I'm here to... Or even not deception, but like... Yes, I'm here to assist. Like, what do you mean I'm only passing through what prisoner? Th 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 ah! Give me more options. Um... Ah... Uh. I was invited to teach them some of my techniques. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But alas, these goblins seem to No, I definitely wouldn't call this a pretty face. And primitive. 
Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, pain without purpose is a terrible thing, wouldn't you agree? Um... Who invited you? Yes. One who claims to be a master of pain. Pain is intimate and loving. But trying to discuss that with these creatures. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes. Something uh -oh. terrible has happened to you. Nope. Uh, that's none of your concern. Don't be ashamed, child. What I see in your eyes, in your soul, is only natural. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. You're creepy as Please, fuck. Let me alleviate. Don't touch this me. Pain. Don't touch me. I will snap you like a fucking twig. I don't need any alleviating, thanks. A pity you would have known such sweet relief at my hands. Hmm. Don't know. Should you realize you need mm, my assistance, come back. I'll be waiting. You are giving me the heebie-jeebies. So, I would like to go through that door, please. Is that... Is that really not a door? Hmm. Okay. Maybe this was... Maybe we were supposed to go... Ah, here we go. Oh, who's Liam? Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say will take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Ah, Authority. I forgot about that. We can do the illithid thing. Um, the thing is, I do enjoy lying. So... I think we've got to go for the deception. I mean, also, though, we could go for performance because I'm not planning to... Um, I'm not planning to actually take over. But I would like to just get rid of them instead. So, I think go have yourselves a drink is the best one. Ooh, this is difficulty 20. Do we want to charm them? How does charm work in this game? Do people realize that they've been charmed once it wears off? Or is that just in D&D? on this difficulty? Fuck it. Let's send it then. Send it. Absolutely dominated. Didn't even need the scroll of charm person. We do all the work and you get to finish him. Bah, take him. Won't do you any good. He just screams. <sighs> Should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest. All the goodies be. To Moonrise? What is Moonrise? I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Beating it good. Right. The prisoner! Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Helsin. I, I don't know. He, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. Mm. Please, get me out of here. Hmm. 
That's all he knows. He turned into a bear. Really? Is that really all you know? I'm gonna need more info. We... I was with a group of adventurers. We came here for an artifact. It's called the Night Song. We tried to sneak past the goblins. But they... They ambushed us. Do I already have the Night Song? I didn't think a pack of goblins could be so... <laughs> so efficient. Um... What does the artifact do? I don't do? know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroacan would reward us if we found it. It should be here somewhere. He said there was a hidden passage underneath the temple. Mm. The place was supposed to be abandoned. When we arrived. Right. Um... Anything else? I'm not sure. All I know is there's a passageway to the night song. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, I don't think we've seen anyone called Brian, have we? They said they'd eat him. He's got is Brian a dwarf by any chance? These shackles. I I don't want to die. Um I think if we release him, the goblins are going to not like that. So... Probably shouldn't do that. You know, gotta, gotta look out for... <laughs> gotta look out for myself, you know? Um, now, if there's a secret passageway under the temple... Where is that going to be? We don't really want to bang on the fucking war drum, do we? Insane playthrough, I love this. I mean, isn't that the most logical decision? Just leave him tasseled up. We got the info we needed. Do you think the dwarf is ready yet? I'm hungry. Orders were to stand by here. No booze, no sneaking off. Duh, you're all boring. Well, how about I persuade you to go and sneak off? Watch your step down by the pens. Wargy's been getting fat on your kind lately. Hmm, ah, uh, the warg pens. Can I speak to the rat? I'm just saying, those eyes. Again? Do you want to become spider food? Is there any chance that is Halcyn? It's only got one HP. Oh, wait a second. I can speak to animals. Wait, holy fuck. Wait, I'm... I've just... Just thought about this for the first ever time. Where's my speak to animals? Is that on Will, actually? Of the people. Look where the people foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. So how do I find the great hollow below, Mr. Rat? You feel the rat twitching on the edge of panic. Something waits in the great hollow below. Yes, well, how do I get there? You feel the rat twitching on the edge of panic. Hmm, you're not being the most useful person in the world, are you? What are they delaying for? Can't we just swarm the forest? Warg pens. With haste. Well, presumably this is not where... The prisoners are kept. Are there... Oh, hmm. You seen any bears, Beastmaster Zerg? Hands off. This one's for the pups. Oh, severed torsos and suspicious meats. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, and then there's wargs there. 
And... Who are you? Maybe you'll speak a little more. Yeah, don't 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 beat the animals to make them squeal. Oh, it's a bear. Wait a second. Wait a second, Halsin. Wait a second. Um Might as well I mean, might as well try it. It's staying right here. The beast came in here with those robbers. Killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three more stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! <gasps> I want to hear more noises. As the symbol grows, <laughs> they're kind of cute. Through you. Authority. Let him out. I'll take care of the beast. Yeah, fucking let's do it. This seems like a really bad idea, but let's do it. It is Ed. They're kind of sweet. They're kind of cute. They're like, they've been raised badly, obviously. But, you know, if you had a little goblin child and you raised it properly, they'd be really sweet, I think. You're also, uh, yes, uh, of course. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Oh, is that, uh... But, but I want to hear it squeal. I will crush your head right. like a fucking That's pumpkin. That's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. S sorry, sir. I'll open the cage for you. Immediately whimpering and sniveling. That's more like it, child. Right. Okay. The bear sizes you up. Wary, but not yet attacking. Good. Good. Um. I mean, ideally here, is there going to be a way? See, what I want to do is... I want to talk to the... Fuck. Why are you hesitating? Because ideally I want to talk to Halsin. And... Well, I mean, I, I also don't want to slaughter goblin children particularly, but... Bro didn't use will? Yeah, that's fucking stupid, isn't it? It's so annoying that you can't change character inside the thing. Wait. Wait, maybe I can. Best foot four. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why am I not in character? Why am I not in conversation with the ca cave bear now? Oh, fuck me. Um. Right, wait there. I might do something really stupid right now. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Oh, I see. I tried to close the iron doors and they were like, no. I was trying to lock myself in here with the bear. I don't know why, but just so that I could talk to it properly. But fuck it, it looks like we're just going to have to attack these fucking goblins. I mean, what I don't want is for them to open the bloody war gate. But I guess... I guess let's go for it. Let's go for it. Alright. Are, are these guys involved in the initiative? Beastmaster Zerk. Yes, they are. So next, Beastmaster Zerk is gonna go. Right, that's not amazing. Uh, Alright, we're gonna... I mean, we're not in the habit of slaughtering children, so we're gonna have to go for a... Non thingy, what do you call it on this dude? Okay, so we've knocked the kid out. 
That's good. And then we're going to move over in this direction so that we start spreading the party out. Alcohol. That's alcohol? Can I dip my weapon in that? Okay, let's turn the let's turn the passive off now as well. Oh my god. Uh-oh. That's not good. Nice, it missed. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to have to hunt down that child. We are going to have to hunt down that child. Fuck. That's not good. Right. So... We're going to have to hamstring this kid. Maybe we can get up here and hamstring him from there. On the move. Oh, we missed. Fuck me. That's not good. I'm not trying to kill the kid. Oh, no. Oh, okay, good, good. This character's going forwards. That's, that's good. That's a good thing. What we want to do is make sure that certain people can't leave. I should have posted somebody up by the door. Um, is disengage an action? Where is disengage? Fuck, where is disengage? Wait, am I not? Yeah, I am engaged. Oh, there it is, there it is. So that takes the action. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, I think I want to just tank an attack of opportunity here. Outflank. Nice. Okay, and we want to, as an action, take a ranged attack on this kid. A hamstring attack, actually. Oh, we can't hamstring them for some reason. Wait. Okay, but we could do something else, couldn't we? We could... Fuck, we should have commanded, actually. Shit, I should have used command. Um, We can put them to sleep. And who else can we put to sleep? Wait, how does this work? Whoa, I only have a second... Oh my god, I used all of my first level spell slots already? Fuck me. 32 hit points. Well, that's pretty perfect. This and this. Or maybe I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, actually, what about Beastmaster Zerk? That's better. Target's out of sight. The target has to be in sight? Bollocks. Well, go on then. Right. Pretty happy with that. Seems good to me. Right. Will, you are going to... Will, you're going to kill this woman. Alright, now the bear is going to have fucking Two steps at a time. insane opportunity attacks, uh, like advantage on her. That's good. Uh, listen, whatever the druid does, I don't really control that, do I? So, if the druid goes over and eats the child that I put to sleep, I can't really be responsible for that, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> Why is he? Oh shit, it's using dash so that it can use the lever. Fuck! God damn it. This Beastmaster is. Holy shit. That thing just obliterated Gale. Okay, that's not good. Um. 
Right, let's let's walk up here. On I go. And attack you. Let's guiding bolt you actually, because you've got a lot of health. Nice, excellent, excellent. And let's go and oh, we don't have enough movement. That's that's fine. That's fine. Now the wargs are going to be a problem. <laughs> it's kicking the child. Oh, these things, these goblins do a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. Oh, God. Two of my party are dead already. Fuck me, man. That, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Okay. I'm gonna have to cast this on you. Oh, shit. He saved it. That ain't good either. You literally missed. You are fucking kidding me. Right. I need to kill this Beastmaster. The Beastmaster is a major fucking problem. Actually, maybe I need to go over and kill these guys. Oh, I don't have enough movement. You're kidding me. Hello? What the fuck was that? Um. Right, well, I, I think Shadowheart is just dead. I'm not sure there's much I can do about that. Do I have any healing items? No, so I can't even throw a healing potion at them. <sighs> um, let's tank an attack of opportunity and just try and attack this guy, I think. But, actually, I've changed my mind. Let's go for an unarmed, a flurry of blows. Ugh, time for some bloody work. Ouch. <laughs> That is good. Oh, was that a bonus action that I just... Was that... Fl is Flurry... Oh my god, Flurry of Blows is a bonus action. That's insane. Oh, I missed. Brother. Oh my god, these guys hit like a fucking truck. Oh, I've completely beefed this encounter. It's, it's, this is fucked. This is fucked. This is outrageously fucked. fucking kind of popping off, but... Oh, no. Now there's three more of them in the room. Ah, oh, we're screwed. We are so screwed. There goes the Crown of Madness as well. This is... This is a GG. This is a GG. This is an unbelievable GG. I've been fucking... Why didn't I save?
I didn't save a single time inside the camp. I've just wasted the last hour of my life. Maybe more, maybe two hours. What the fuck is wrong with me? You know, I was thinking about playing this game as a full reset to the beach every time I TPK'd. That would have been horrendous. Okay. Now. How much farther can I go? Can't get there? What do you mean, can't get there? Okay, so now at least I know that the goblins are not trying to kill me. Gale, Gale, for fuck's sake, just eat something. It is a strange experience, but this doesn't feel quite right. I'm not so. Thank you. Oi, might be. Oi, ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business now. As the symbol glows, power courses uh -oh. through you. Authority. Yeah, I've got an audience with the one in charge. Wait, who am I? Am I am I as Will right now? Wait, can I go back? How do I go back? I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this one. How do I go backwards? I don't, <laughs> I don't want to do this. Hello, I'd like to go back. <sighs> We've got a max roll. Oh, <gasps> we actually did max roll on the on the D four. Right. Well. You ain't the first foreign type. Oh, the loat, the loat, the loat. Gonna have to be a bit more specific, though, mate. Absolute's got a few favourites around here. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? There's a Drow? Didn't even know there was a Drow. <laughs> Audience is right. She's an uppity one, and no mistake. But she knows her business. She's in telling the war chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big one. Oh yeah. Racket. Okay. Oh come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Boy, so much fun. There's so no three. As if let's do what we have to do okay. and get out. Quite the un. I'm thinking we'll know who sent them. Oi. Okay. So we need to go up here and in here. Wait, where the fuck is Liam? Oh yeah, there he is. See, I thought this was an auto save. I've got to rub the bank again. Oh yeah. Come and say as the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Oh, I've trolled. Hallelujah.
Okay. I wanna watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Okay. Tell me everything you know, Liam. Tell me everything you know, Liam. Halson, that's all I know. Um Please. It's cop buddy. They ambushed us. I don't know. It should be the place was supposed to be abandoned. When we arrived. Um, I'm not sure. Please, please. These shackles. Yeah, I'm not helping you again. Literally, no, not helping. Alright. What now? Okay, let's first step, we're gonna go and rob the place. We need to go and rob the place first, I think. You know, I would intercede on your behalf, but you know, I've got I've got really important business robbing the joint. Okay. I wonder what's past this. Right. Oh, that might not be enough. Oh. And shut the gate. And are we over encumbered? No, but kind of close. So we'll send all of those to Will. And we are vibing. Okay, and now we come out here. Looting better gear and not using it. You know, I don't want... It's a very bad idea to steal from somebody and then start wearing what you just stole from them right in front of them. It's just... <laughs> Most people would refer to that as not very good etiquette. Yeah, you can. I. I yeah, I. I was taught how to multi-select. Okay, so now we lead with Will, who has One speak to animals. Right. Let's go and have a conversation with the rat and the bear. Foul stench of slut smell. Life. Okay, you know, now that I think about it, as soon as we release this bear, the people in here are not going to be happy with us. So should we, we should probably explore Don't fully until the very end and then release the bear. Again. So we should probably go and have a conversation with, like... The drow lady. Oh, I'll tell you what as well, actually. We should go and have a conversation with the priestess because we already talked to her earlier. Now here's a priestess. A pre What's that? Uh, tell your friend ignore to him. Ready for the fire, are uh, nope. you? Maybe you she pro dark and the vision dissolves away. Nope. Don't, Don't want maybe more I intimacy, thank you. That. Us true souls uh, gotta look out for one another. I need a healer. With the, let's do right. So, how do I... I need two things. There's a drow, and there's... Right, there's a drow somewhere around here, talking to the war chiefs. Is the drow here? Perhaps? Nothing for you in there, mate. Really? Wouldn't go in there. Lest you fancy blowing your bones all the way to Boulder's Gate. My brother save? Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Alright, I saved. I saved. Let's I talk to you, Rower. 
that the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Mm, okay. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. Hmm. But most of all, we offer discretion. Ah, discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? No, that's exactly how I like to operate. Okay, what are you got in here then? A blooded great axe. When the wielder has 50% hit points or less, they deal an additional 1 to 4 slashing damage. It's pretty sick, but... None of us are actually proficient with great axes. Oh, we are proficient with glaives, however. What is this? 6 to 16 damage. Hello, hello. And it does it does 1d4 fire damage. Alright, let's say we wanted this. And let's say we also wanted this. That is a fucking lot. We literally don't have enough on our entire thing. Alright, so maybe we don't want that. What does this do? This does 5 to 10. And that does 6 to 16. Yeah, I mean, the definitely the 1 to 16 is <laughs> better. So that's heavy armor, medium armor, medium armor, light armor. Potion of invisibility. What the hell? That sounds goated. Oh my god, fireball. Fireball. It does up to 48 damage. 8d6. Hmm. God, these are these are phenomenal. These things. Prevent your target from regaining hit points. Oh, that's a light crossbow plus one. Um, that, again, would be useful. You gain a plus one bonus to initiative rolls. Rapier plus one would be good for thingy-majiggy as well. God, this person's got so much stuff. <sighs> I'm so tempted to just try and pickpocket them instead. They just have so much good shit, and I've got all this crap. Alright, we're there. This is an opportunity, actually, to get rid of some of my stuff. Like, let's, let's, let's try and get rid of all the stuff that we wouldn't actually want. So we probably want all the scrolls. I don't think we want all of these torches. I mean, we want one torch. We don't need a bunch of quarter staffs. And we don't need a bunch of these weapons either. We're not gonna use... Actually... Wait, what does this circlet do that I've got on my head at the moment? Or nature plus one. I don't think we want a leather helmet. Um, we, we don't need that many simple robes. Don't need a bunch of random rings either. Why have I just got... Am I not wearing underwear? I'm wearing Shadow Hearts underwear. When did that happen? When did that happen? <laughs> what? When did that happen? Okay. Well, might as well sell my own underwear then. I mean, is Shadow Hearts worth more? I mean, come on. I've got to write that wrong. I've got to write that wrong. I can't be... 
Put your own fucking underwear back on, son. That is horrendous. Okay, that is horrendous. Um, what boots have we got? Monastic boots, so we don't need the simple boots either. Or the silver locket, or the book. I don't think we need any of these books. I don't know what the books even do. It doesn't seem to be like other games where the books do something as soon as you pick them up, like in inform you about something, but uh, could be wrong. Don't know, don't know. Um, what else? Do we need a mortar and pestle? I don't think so. Or she is. Don't think we need that branch. Either. I don't think we need any of this shit. Uh, bottle might be useful for something at some point, but I think we can just pick more up. Casual sandals, eh? When did I pick those up? Acid, silver glass, bronze ingot. We, okay, it might be a good idea for us to keep a bronze ingot. Actually, speaking of which, maybe we could melt down the silver stuff. Nah, it should be fine. Now, if I... Hmm. Do we need agate or really any kind of semi-precious... Stuff? I have no idea. See, the bloodstones, I think, are a little more difficult to find. So I don't fancy selling those. And the Infernal Iron feels like more of a quest item. But we'll see. Scroll of Web. Scroll of Dark Vision. Very heavy gray tax. I don't think we're gonna want that. Nature's snare. Probably useful. Spider step boots. Um that might be useful just for Gale to eat. Gloves of the growling underdog. Where it gains advantage on melee attack rolls when I'm surrounded by two or more foes. That could be really useful instead of the gloves of power. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Evocation cantrip. What is evocation? What is evocation? An ally you touch regains hit points, but possibly falls asleep. That, that's annoying. Um... Hmm. What is momentum? What does that mean? Spurred on by a sense of urgency, the affected entity's movement speed is increased by 1.5 meters per remaining duration of this effect. Don't really understand what that means. That doesn't seem that useful, though. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm capping, but... It just increases your distance a little bit, right? Oh, you get more movement per stacks of it that you have. Right, right. So you can add more and more momentum. I see. Um... Well, all of this is only worth 432. So that's not amazing. But, I mean, we can balance the offer and get a staff. Oh, tell you what, though, if we're. Yeah, surely we're going to want a potion of invisibility at some point. That just sounds so good. Also,. Revivify. I can never have too many spo uh, scrolls of Revivify. I kill my team so often. So often. I kind of want to pick a pocket this trader. 
I really want to pickpocket the trader. She's just got so much good shit and I don't have the money for it. Why should I be held back by my lack of a fortune? Hmm. Potion of mind reading. Oh, potion of healing as well. All right, let's... All right, let's... Wait, why is the difference between trading and bartering? Because barter doesn't even seem to work. Or maybe you need to... Maybe you need to, like, riz up the guy beforehand or something? All right. Pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. All right, so let's change some things around here. Let's give you the staff, because that staff seems pretty good. And um, let's go back into my inventory, sort by type. Let's go... Right, let's take all of the shit that you have. And we're going to give it all to somebody else, and then they can sell it all. What is that? A crude mace. I don't think I don't think we're proficient with maces. Basic poison, leather armor, scale mail. Yeah, I don't think any of us can actually wear scale mail. Oh wait, yeah, we can. Wait, maybe I'm losing my mind here. AC seventeen. Yeah, I can wear that. Okay. How do you know what some, whether, whether someone can wear better armor? Like, are you able to wear that? Not proficient. Okay, you are not proficient with medium armor. Are you proficient with light armor? Yeah, you can wear light armor. Okay. So you've got padded armor. Are you proficient with medium armor? How do I know? Oh, yeah, you can wear medium armor as well. Wait, what? So I've just been fucking wasting my time this entire time running around with shitty armor on? How did I even know? So confused. He can't? Oh yeah, it says not proficient. My bad, my bad. Okay, my bad. I thought it said... I thought it didn't say anything. I'm, I just missaw. saw. Alright, so let's give all of the stuff that we want to sell... What is that? A great sword. Give all of this that we want to sell over to... Will. Fuck it. Alright. And this. We have a short sword here. So, your melee is a quarter staff. Are you proficient with this? Not proficient with short swords. No. Um, didn't we have a better staff maybe though for you to use? Oh no, she sells a better stuff, but we don't own one currently. Um, can you use the short sword? No, I think you're proficient with rapiers, aren't you? Yeah. Can you? No, okay, so we might as well sell this sword. Um, where's the rapier that we had for you? What were you just using? Right. Yeah, I don't understand what books do. It really feels like books should give you information, like in some kind of law specific way, but I don't think it does. Oh, what about this ritual staff? Wait, is that better? Oh, yeah. Wait, no, you still do 0 to 5 damage. Yeah, it's literally just exactly the same. Wait, let me let me go as Gale for a second. Ah, excellent choice. 0 to 7, 0 to 5, so I might as well be using a quarterstaff. 
That literally doesn't do anything different, does it? Why are you so shit with weaponry, Gale? Wait, this does 0 to 5, and this does 2 to 9. Why aren't you using a rapier? I mean, even if you're not efficient, it still does more than, you, than your staff. I mean, why would he ever use either of them? I guess, but... He's a wizard? Well, yeah, I know he's a wizard, but like... You can, you can fucking just point the pointy end into people, mate. You'll do at least one point of damage. It's incredible, actually, that the rapier is the thing that he's the best with. Oh, you do three to eight damage with that. I mean, we're just never going to have you actually use the weapon anyway, though, so... I don't know why I even would. I why yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Antidote, simple robe, send all of that to Will as well. Send that to Will. Set send that to Will. Oh wait, we can read. No. Okay. I thought that was like an action that uh I thought that was like an action that like absorbed the information. <laughs> I know I can read. What I meant was I thought that was an a, but because Gale's like thing, his driving force in life is to have more like lore and history and that kind of thing. But yeah, for whatever reason, he doesn't he can't read. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. He just can't read. He doesn't absorb anything when he reads. Oh, I, I don't have helmets on any of these guys. I definitely should have given the leather helmet over. That is my B. Okay, let's put all of this gold together. And again, give it a will. Will, you are my master. Um... That the jingle of coin I already do. You recognize the crest she bears. The wing. Half right. Weapon. No judgment. No right and wrong. Just good okay. deals and bad. Just good deals and bad. That problem All right. for you? No, that's not a problem for me. I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. Alright, so we want to put all of this stuff in there. Get it all in there. Sell it all. Sell it all. Why do we have multiple versions of the same book? Okay. Wonderful. Uh, um, what do you mean I've discovered the printer? Oh yeah, sell the green sword. Um, yes, I think we want to sell this sword as well, don't we? But we want to keep the rest. So that's 803 now do you have any other shit now i kind of want to buy these back but now they're 50 fucking uh, dude now they're 50 um potion of mind reading do we want that featherfall i think we should be fine with all of this stuff don't need any i mean might be useful to have some arrows of fire combo with grease or something like that, but how much are they? 40 each? Good god. Fuck that shit. Um, that's medium armor. Um, let's see. What else have we got in here? So we could buy some camp supplies, but I don't really know whether that makes any sense to do so. And then we've got all of this stuff. So, we have all of the plus one items. 
Of which probably a bow or something would be best. Or the plus one rapier perhaps? I feel like probably one of these is busted. But I'm not exactly sure what. You know what? I'm just going to go for the cash. I would just like the cash, if that's all right. Pleasure. Yep, appreciate it. Okay. So they're saying I can't get into this door. Now, I don't know what's th through. Oh my god. Gunpowder and shit. Good God. We could blow the place asunder. I don't really want to mess with that. Let's move. Ah, so we want Will at the front of the party. Let's save. Uh, did we want to go through here? Yeah, because we did want to talk to Gut, didn't we? But, I mean, I guess we can talk to Gut Never around here. We don't need to break that door. Okay, you just you just literally fucking walk through the door anyway. Oh, come here. I ain't waiting around. Well, could you actually though? Like would you actually mind? Cause I kinda wanna talk to a drow and I don't know where the drow is. They said the drow was talking to the war chiefs. Okay, I don't wanna talk to this woman. I just realized I do not want to talk to the woman. I want to find the drow. The drow is talking with the war chiefs. Where? Where would the war chiefs be at? Pass into the subscribe box. Cool fifteen oh two, thank you for the prime. Now where would the war chiefs be? Who's who are you? A word if I may. Praise is ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGloviet. You know McGloviet, a tyrannical deity mm. who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers. So they've Still caged this guy because God. he won't convert You're to the absolute. Coolness as the rest of them. The, uh, the fucking irony of saying to somebody locked in a cage, pray to whoever you want, it's a free world, is just beautiful. Oh, that's rich. A free world? And how come I'm locked up like a bloody elf? I'll tell you why. Because I'm loyal to McLoviet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. Right. Yeah. My own tribe's fallen for this shite. Traitorous bastards. The great absolute brings us together. Drow and gnolls and goblins all braiding one another's air. Do you have any it's pictures of yourself that look like this? Sight. Yes. I don't think I want to give them to you. <laughs> Talking to you, ain't I? I just don't believe in all this togetherness and chumminess. Ain't natural. Um, I think, last. isn't there an They'll emote that it was already made with a picture enough. like that? Where it was like black and Sodom. white, it's called like Sideshow Despair I'll or something? Make it out in air, praying to a real god. I thought there was already one that looked, it's not the same though? I mean, it's basically just color versus. Hmm, well this... Right, where the fuck is the drow? Oh, you know what I've just realized? It might be on the map. I didn't even think about that. Right, let me have a look. Spider, Zerga, Kagran. Ask the goblin priestess for help. Hmm. Hmm. Quests. Hmm. 
We decided to trust Priestess God. No, we fucking didn't. We should search for it. Yeah, this is the problem. I mean, what part of... What part of this place have I not searched? And I guess over in this top right area? So we could try that. Best to keep out of that little snitch's view or it'll spoil the fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god, get the fucking. Get out of the way of the scrying eye then. Oh, is this the drow? Your scouting party has not ah. returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found. Okay, let's have a look. I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. Now, a cold hand caressing your brain. You know the when? Melts away to reveal a dark, oh, endless nowhere. It's will. It's In not it, you see a vision. me. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers. I mean, I ear. agree that is definitely a pretty face, off, but it's will. It's not. The vision fades away. Me. A true soul? Praise be. Praise be. Are you be. here to join my hunt? What are we hunting for? Um, I already know where Halson is, so... Uh, who's the target? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Okay, Her excitement is palpable. Is... She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the absolute's name. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the absolute <laughs> seeks. It's the artifact. They that all she just carries. look at Shadow Heart. The same one that they all you just you the all at once camp. turned and looked at Shadow focuses. Heart like mm, the cultists don't do anything suspicious. The weapon they seek is within their grasp. The thief whimpering in our dungeon tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient. But he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Leading her to the tieflings might doom them, but it would earn you her trust. The tieflings should be warned. Together you can outnumber her warband. Oh my god, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's seeking the grove you visited. I've, I've, ugh, bloody hell. Um, hmm. Should I roleplay this as Will or as me, the the little character? I think I think for Will, <laughs> the little character. <laughs> Chat. I want to know what you think. I want to know what you think. Use the overlay. Vote. Oh, you guys really want to doom the tieflings, huh? You really just want to kill the tieflings. <sighs> I'm pretty sure... Chat, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure Will would do... Number one. And I'm pretty sure that... My little dude 
Spiffy the Twiddler would either do number two because of his flaw, or he would try to misdirect her because he just loves lying to people. I think he would probably try to misdirect her. Um, yeah, two is kind of evil, isn't it? I think he would try and just, like, play her. I think, I think I'm going to go for three. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. Uh, I'll visit the prison. Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. Right, so... No prizes for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. The artifact. She's right there. She's right there. Don't say that the kind of stuff out loud. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Right. So the problem is, I still don't know how to get down into the tunnels underneath this place. Maybe we would have to go through the spider pit? I'm not sure. How many raiders do we have? Plenty of Wait, let's have a look at the war map. Caravan case. goblins are scrolled to the northwest of the camp. Tall house knolls. Forest supplies. Exactly forest supplies. Like An arrow man. pointing to the forest then just to the camp seeds. Beneath in small letters the between absent. the laurel. Okay, that's pretty sick. You can, you can steal thing those things that. from the east. You have to give her some underwear back? Oh, yeah. Might be, might be. Okay. Shadowheart wearing underwear again. All is good with the world. Yeah, she was just commando. That must have been so uncomfortable. Spears are sharp. The lads are all riled up and ready. You have already right, how do I get underneath? How the fuck do I get underneath? How do I get underneath? Hmm. What is that? Just it just says door. Uh oh. Don't really like the fact that the scrying eye is right there. Surely nothing will it's happen. Abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Okay. Ah, this is the door that it was talking about, probably. Right? We can already go through there. I don't understand. How would we get down? Ask the goblin priestess for help. Interrogate the prisoner. Uh, okay, we're going to have to go back and release the prisoner. Uh, okay, we're going to have to go and bust Halsin out and bust the prisoner out all in one go. And as for how to do that, I'm not exactly sure. See, we, previously we didn't have any reason to bust the prisoner out. Wait, let me talk to the rats. Maybe the rats will have more to say this time. The rat's nose twitches impatiently. Her teeth bite air as though it is flesh, but it doesn't sate her hunger. Hands off! This one's ours! Sorry? So, sorry? The rat's eyes follow you, shining. Its stomach grumbles. You could do better than that. The rat's nose twitches him. The rat's eyes. Why? Why did the rat fucking say hands off? This one's ours. All right, Liam. No, no, please, oh, don't hurt me. Calm down. I'm here to help. You are. 
I... I need to get out of here. Um... Hmm. There's no shot hit a nat one. Oh no. You struggle with the set of lock picks until they are bent entirely out of shape. But the lock won't budge. Bollocks. Try to pick the lock again. That'll do it. That'll do it. The lock clicks and opens. Okay, but now you've got to not immediately run off. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. No. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. How? They need to know they're in danger. How, Liam, how you can't, you can't get there. Brian had instructions, but ah, Brian, where's goblins? Where got the him. fuck is Brian? They, they said they eat him. Is Brian a dwarf? I, I have to go. I have to get out of here. Uh, what does the night song do? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called the Halsin. I, I don't know. Oh, bro, where are you going? Liam, where are you going? Wait, actually though? What the hell? What the fuck? Wait. Wait, Liam found a crazy back passage. Wait, Liam, you're, you're kind of goated. I'm not going to lie. Where the fuck did... Huh? How'd you... Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm I'm confused. Yeah, was Brian the dwarf that was being barbecued outside? That's that's my concern. So if Brian was the dwarf being barbecued, we need to go out there and talk to the person doing the barbecuing and ask if oh excuse me, did the dwarf have any notes on them that I might be able to peruse? Or maybe even like, did you leave his belongings somewhere? Maybe I could check some of the boxes My or something. Will pay him a visit in return. That will be some real fun. <laughs> okay. Okay, that that really got me. His name is Enjoying the view. Looking tasty in these new breeches, ain't I? Oh. They look very fetching on you. Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. Ah, did he have anything on him? Dunno. Was already stripped down to his breeches when I got my hands on him. Had a couple of coins in the pockets and some daft poem. But that's all. Where's the poem? Sure you can. But a look's all you're getting. For all I know, this little roaster was some famous bard. And you'll be sending his last words for a pretty penny. Well, maybe As I will. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. <sighs> I don't want to waste Illithid. How good is his persuasion? His persuasion should be quite good because he's got charisma. Uh, yeah, his charisma's high, isn't it? 
Yeah, we should be fine here. We should be absolutely fine. God, we bossed it. We absolutely bossed it. Really? Oh, shite! You might as well use it as bog roll then. <laughs> I'll get back to tending the meat. Yeah, thank you. All right. So we got a dwarf poem. A son of Saloon fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in our holy globe. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. I know it's scrawled. Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turned, but which way? What? Found the door under the temple. Oh, fuck. But where? What? A son of Saloon fell here in the dark below. We sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch... Oh, for fuck's sake. Well. Well. I don't know that that tells me too much, but I do know that this area was where Shadowheart started talking about Saloon. Let's What's let's have Spiffy lead again. Going? Right. I mean, this looks like it might be what we're talking about. But, I mean, could we... doesn't really look like we can move anything, does it? Um, what else? Have we seen these markings anywhere else? Not that I'm really aware of. I mean, we could go down into the spider pit, perhaps. But that seems a bit daft. Uh, oh yeah, good idea to good idea to save right now, wouldn't it? Look, good idea to save. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, we discovered a clue about the night song, a poem about saloon that mentions a door under the temple. Right, yeah, that's okay. So maybe it's not inside. Maybe we have to go outside in the goblin camp first, and then we go under somewhere. Maybe the entrance is out here. Ah, oh, curse to put my hands on everything. Bloody racking. I had to leave for an hour and you're farther behind than you were? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Ah. This looks promising. Potentially. No, maybe not. I'm looking for something I can interact with, surely. Hmm. Or somewhere that I can go underground. Somewhere I can go underground. Behind a water... Aha! Wait a second. Is that... Wait, no. That's just a rock. Okay, maybe if we got all the way over here, it would be helpful. Where the fuck am I... Where are my characters? I'm talented. Something over there. Don't need that. Don't think... So, okay, there's a trap here. Wait, there, wait, there, wait, there, wait, there, wait. Let's try and disarm this. It's a 15. We should be fine. You ran into it, you fucking idiot. Gail, I was disarming that, you silly prick. Just a brief rest. Can't compare to the moon or the stars running that rubbish because she lives underground. She ain't got any scabs or boils, so can't compliment the best ones. I think I'm too small. Tell her I'll buy a footstool for when we're kissing. Put some dead spiders in my hair. What the fuck is going on here? 
What do you mean locked? I'm going to try and pick it. Oh, I don't have any thieves tools. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. There's no way I could pick up that entire crude chest. There's just no way. There's no way. There's no way I just pocketed the entire chest. Okay, so I was hoping this would be useful, and instead, it was not. I was also hoping this might be an entrance to something, and again, it's not. So what if we... Uh, Okay, so it doesn't look like we can burrow underground anywhere around here. Well, let's dig in this dirt mound. How the fuck are we getting underneath? Nice. Oh, we got some thieves. Oh, a smoke powder bomb. Wait, that's a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, well, we got some more thieves tools, so... Oh, wait. Wait, <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. If we got the thieves tools... Ah. Keep me out. Gotcha. Probably didn't need the guidance there. Right, what did we get? Ooh, great axe, parchment, gold, bronze ingot, basic poison, simple toxin, nice, all looking good to be honest. Let's drop that item. Right, now, okay, let's... Now, where, who would know... About I'm talented. dead adventurer. Wait a second. Maybe we can talk to these people. You look like you think you're up. Mess with us, and you'll end up like this bleeder. <laughs> okay, this kid is less cute. Don't matter who he was. He ain't nothing but a stain now. Just like you'll be if you don't clear up. I will fucking destroy you. <sighs> right. Maybe let's talk to Volo. He might have discovered something. Draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you glad. <laughs> Those are not words. I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge. The way this one's carrying on. Oh, you don't say. Oh, you don't say. Fragulous Glide. I don't know this language. Come on, you turnip. Huh, quite so. Now, if you'll excuse me. <coughs> uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am... Um, a draw Ragslin, um, um, Tumptuous, uh, draw Ragslin, uh, um, you broke him! Wait, wait, draw Ragslin, uh -oh. we pray, we... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. <laughs> now now I have to done. rescue Volo. Come on! What? Volo, what are you... My name's Gribbo, idiot! Yes, 
not fool me. The voice acting in this game is really good, yeah. You fucked up his flow, yeah. Look at you keep free! It won't for sale! You guy on the next one! Oh, what have you got over here then? Music box, battle axe, anything interesting? Nah. <sighs> right, how are we going to get underground here? Surely it's not something to do with the chicken race. It's not going to be anything up here either, is it? Now, I want it, this area just looks so... Let me, let me come over here and read the note again. Found the door under the temple. Okay, well maybe, maybe we need to know where the temple is first. But, I mean, I think the temple is just the indoors, isn't it? A son of Saloon fell here in the dark below. So, a son of Saloon means a drow, doesn't it? So, a drow fell here in the dark below. A drow died, and we sealed his grave where the moon shines. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. Uh, fucking hell, man. I don't really know what this means. But possibly... I mean, this... These are, these are images of Saloon, aren't they? But we definitely need to be going down, not up. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Saloon was inside. I know. I know. I was just trying to. I was just trying to take a look in here first. Saloon comment. Uh, she commented on Saloon once we entered this general like main area. So I feel like this on the floor. Is what I'm looking at. Okay. Also the fact... Wait a second. Could it be the, something to do with the war drum? Unstable statue. I mean... Surely the idea is not to push over the statue, is it? Oh, oh, wait a second. Ah, hello. Wait a second, this symbol looks symbol-y, doesn't it? That looks like a symbol, kind of symbol. Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar phases are sketched beneath. I mean, it's, 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 oh, that's kind of... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that a door with lunar symbols? Hmm, we might be onto something here. We might be onto something here. Now, how are we going to get these guys away from the door? Um. Nothing for you in there. Wouldn't go in there. Hmm. Is Just a general blood? sense of no, wouldn't no, go in there, huh? Can't slow down. Now, is there any way in through this side? This calls for careful footwork. Can we in any way jump through that gap? Oh, hello. Wait a second. Can we get up there? No. Too high. Don't waste a step. So how is there any way that we could get up here?
Maybe if we sprouted fucking wings. What's through here then? We can't see. Well, this looks intriguing, doesn't it? Let's talk to her and see if I we can't get her out of here. Ready to clear your head. What are you going to do? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Hmm. We're gonna save first. Ready to clear your head. What are you gonna do? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Oh wow, I can trade with her. I didn't realize you could just trade randomly with people. Huh, interesting. Fuck, I just pressed X. I don't want to press X. That's a friendly looking shadow. Free for the taking. efforts have failed. Now you've a fight on your hands. Fuck. Right, well let's try and let's try and get rid of this person as quickly as we possibly can. God, what a crit. Holy shit. Dice roll in my favor. She has 40 hit points. We might be able to kill... If I magic missile level 2... We might... We might just be able to kill her before it's even... The next person's turn. My faith will protect me. Right. Can... Is it possible for you to do 13 points of damage? I'm not sure it is, actually. Wait, we can command her. We can command her to grovel. Oh fuck, she saved it. That's not good. Let's give her up. Alright, wait there. Let's... <sighs> We're gonna try and do something silly here. We're gonna move... Over here, and then we're gonna push her this way. Fuck, we failed. Get in here. We've got trouble. Fuck. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. That would have been a good idea as well, wouldn't it? Fuck. I think this is going to have to be a quick load. But I mean... Let's give it a shot. You're fucking kidding me. That was an 84% chance to hit. And we failed. Oh, 
Okay, we've killed her. Concentrate. So now <laughs> we just have all of these people to deal with. Um Fuck me. I don't know whether command person is the best thing to go for there. Maybe hold person? Okay. Wonderful. This is my time. Crown of Madness on you. Wonderful, wonderful. You've been held. God, that's incredible. Actually. That's unbelievably good. No, don't bang on that fucking war drum. Why are you trying to attack? There's no... Why are you drinking a potion of Featherfall? Where are you trying to go? This is terrible. There's no way. There's, there's absolutely no way. Wait, where does this go? Whoa, what is she doing? There's no shot I keep missing. Why do I keep missing? Holy fuck. I definitely needed to kill her immediately. I really fucked this up. Um, can I mess these other people up even further somehow? I'm going to need to grease the floor over there. Extraordinary. Good work. Will, I need another crown of madness on one of these people. Ah, they saved it. Ouch. No, this is... This is over. This is over. This is absolutely over. Every goblin... In the world is gonna come and kill me. Okay, okay. You know what? I've learnt my lesson. I've learnt my lesson. I've learnt my lesson. Yeah, I don't think I can quite take on the entire goblin camp. We'll class that as a fail. When I started playing this game, I asked my chat, how many times do you reckon I'll die? Like, full on end the game die. And the, you know, a couple of people in my chat said, you know, I've been playing for like 20 hours and I haven't died once. I, I think you'll be fine. Meanwhile, me, I've already TPK'd, I think, four times, probably more than that. Maybe, maybe five. The, I'm not playing on Tactician. I'm just playing it in normal mode. I'm just playing it on Balanced. All right, so here's the thing. I do kind of want to just pick a pocket again. But the thing is, all right, here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna actually apply our brains a little bit more here. We're gonna split the party. All right, first thing we're gonna do is close the door. The next thing we're gonna do. Oh, wait, you can't. Can you really not get through there? Ah, excellent. I hope that's the end of this silly quarrel. What? They'll have 
Shut, shut up. What are you talking about? Alright, so it's going to be much harder for them to get in. Wait a second. Wait. What if I... Okay, this might be... This might be silly. But... What if... How do they know it was me? How do they know it was me? Okay, maybe they know it was me. I'm missing. I'm fucking missing and whiffing. these mortals be? Um. Okay. If I cast sleep at level... Okay, we only need to hit her for 8 damage, and then I can pass cast sleep. The problem is, she's already going to use Warcry. See, the thing is, I'd love to defer my initiative to somebody else. Wait, maybe I can, actually. Can I use people later on first? Okay, I'm not sure whether this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Swords meet sorcery. You can? Holy shit, I didn't know that. Oh my god, that would have been so useful earlier. Alright, we have a 25% chance of this working. Let's just send it. Okay, never mind, that didn't work. Um, we're going to go over to Will. And we're going to... Oh, wait, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, we're gonna walk over here. No time to waste. Oh, that did six damage. Bro, what am I doing? We crit missed. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. How have I fucked this up again? How have I somehow managed to fuck this up again? There's no shot. She's got 34 health. What is wrong with me? Dude, how have I fucked this so badly? Um. Wait, don't I have like a cone of silence or something? I swear I had some attack called like silence. Who ha oh fuck, is it someone else that has silence? Where is the silence one? I'm sure I had silence, didn't I? Forever dauntless. Ah, uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm off the goop. I thought I had something about silence. Hmm. Apparently not. You need to unlock the hotbar and hit the plus sign? What are you talking about? Unlock the hotbar and hit the plus sign. What are you talking about? Spiffy has it? Will stand in my way. Oh. Yeah, Shadow Arts, silence, fuck's sake. Ah, goddammit. Okay, that's not good. Creator. Destroyer. Oh, wait. Oh. Holy shit, look at that. Can't give up. Unleash me. Look at that. What's that happening? What's the plan? Yeah, I'm going to have to reload again here because I'm a fucking imbecile, but I mean, Death is but you know, we did what away. we could. Yep, yeah, okay. 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 Now, I've refined my brain. 
Okay, give me a second. I'm refining my plan. This time, this time, I understand. This time I understand what's going on. Please give a shadow heart different spells. I don't know what spells she's supposed to have, what spells would be good for her. Moving in. Okay, let's close this door. This woman's like, hmm, how unusual. What's going on here? Right, we're just gonna surprise attack her. I think we can surprise attack people, right? Why can't we surprise attack? What is the key? What is the. Move with care. Ah, ah, now we have advantage because we're hiding. I see. Right, let's just fucking obliterate her. Takes a fight. Oh shit. Wait, but we need our initiative higher than that. God damn it. Wait. Okay. Create a soundproof sphere. Let's put her at the center. No, actually, let's let's soundproof sphere. And then flurry of blows. Okay, that's good. That's good. Then we're gonna end turn. Go to Will. Oh, we can't cast spells because we're silenced. What the fuck, man? I need to learn these things. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god, it's 4.30 a.m. How did that happen? When did that happen? Okay, what can we do here? Can we knock her over or something? We'd like to drop her prone, if possible. Somehow. Um, or we could hamstring her so that she has less targets too close. Now, if we back up. Okay, what about if we now did some other thing? Nah, I don't know what that would be. Mm, we missed. That's not that useful. Okay. All right, the Cone of Silence working pretty well here. Right, so this is Gale. So Gale wants to use sleep on her. So let's... Back off. Ouch. Let's back off. Let's use sleep. Too many hit points. Oh yeah, level two. Right. Stay focused. Right, now we can't cast spells either. We're gonna go over to Spiffy. Oh no, we can't, because Spiffy's already passed his go. Right, so let's Okay. Pass the go. Cancel this silent sphere. Right. And now I think we all just want to be grouped up, don't we? Yeah, so let's go to Will and get... Oh, well, what is Will going to use? Will is going to use, for max damage, he's going to use Eldritch Blast, which we have 84% to hit from there. So we want to... So we just want to pass this go, pass this go. She's sleeping. Right. So my turn. This is good, this is good, this is good. So we're going to move over here. What do we want to do here? No, we want a magic missile, don't we? So yeah, this is fine as well. So we want a magic missile. Level two. Wonderful. She skipped her go. So we, we skip ours. We go into Shadow Heart. We go into Shadow Heart and we go for... Fuck, what do we even... Dude, Shadow Heart just doesn't have anything good apart from Guiding Ball, I guess. Only 36%? 50% to hit that. Alright. We 
whacked her a little bit, I suppose. That'll do. All right, Spiffy the Twiddler's turn. Do we want to knock her prone, or do we want to just attack? I think let's just attack. We missed. You're fucking kidding me. Okay, we'd hit for nine damage. That's great. She only has one hit point remaining. Will, literally all you have to do, in fact, all you have to do is hit. That's actually all you have to do, which is 69% with that, 55% with that. What is your thing that's going to hit the most? Okay, what about if we... Finding what about if we walk you over here? Shit. Fuck. Fuck! Okay, bonus action. Jump over this way. Okay. This is still only 65% to hit. Fuck me! Um, I'm not sure what to go for here. 40, I, I mean, I think. What was the thing that was 65% to hit? No, that's 55%. Was that 65? Oh, now I'm too close to the target. Fuck's sake. All right, let's just do this. Nice. The host is dead, but the parasite is still alive. The host is dead, but the parasite is still alive. Princess... <laughs> Prince... Pre sorry. Priestess Gut might have been able to help us, but being a goblin proved to be fatal for her. We'll need to find another way to remove the parasite. Sorry, we're goblin blaming, are we? We're gonna take that from us murdering them to just, it's their fault for being a goblin. That doesn't seem reasonable. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Follow your instincts. Don't be afraid. Mm. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value here. Something your mind craves. Holy fuck. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Well, if Bren says... If Bren says, follow your instincts, and my instinct says, I want this, if Bren says it's okay, seems okay. Rip the parasite out of her eye. It's a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. See, I think my character's made a mistake here. But my character... I mean, gotta respect the dream visitor. And also... Loves a gamble. And this does seem like a gamble. Open your mind to it. Let's do it. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power Holy and improved shit. your chances of survival. You can now consume Mind Flare Parasites from your inventory to unlock new Illithid powers. Okay. Good God. Holy shit. I don't actually know what it did for me, though. But it did something. Check your new button next to the map. Oh. I, what the ha? Huh? This is my brain? Evolve an area of your mind to embrace your potential. Good God. 
So we already have the Illithid Persuasion. Oh my fucking god. We can do... Wait, why does that say 36 damage if you're only rolling... Oh, because it does 3d6 Psychic plus 3d6 Conditional. Good god. Wow. Your attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage, but you also take 1 to 4 psychic damage every turn. Oh, that does not seem great. Sacrifice half your remaining hit points to heal a target for the same amount. No, also not great. I'm thinking between Force Tunnel, which is going to allow me to just have better movement during fights, or just pure powerful blasting. Oh, the thing is, I've got to be concentrating on another spell to cast this. While some of my spells are concentration spells, I don't really use spells very often. So I think Force Tunnel makes the most sense. That is worrying. The way that my... The, the parasite just burrowed into my brain. Oh, I should have looked at some of these, shouldn't I? Because I didn't realize that they were like pathways. I see, I see. Oh my god, when you make a successful attack roll, you can change that hit into a crit. That seems pretty good. So, I mean, so many of these seem good, actually. Oh, that is crazy. When you bring a creature down to fewer hit points than the number of evolved illithid powers, it dies and all nearby creatures take 1 to 4 psychic damage. A Call the Weak seems incredible. I mean, that one's ridiculous, though, as well. Oh, ability- that- that applies to ability checks, too. Wow. Can you check if the sun is coming up yet? No. It probably is. Fuck it, let's do that. Because this one seems crazy, the look of the Far Realms. Okay, so obviously we want these. Potion of sleep, crazy. Crude mace. Don't think any of us are proficient with the mace. Key, a note. If the bearer wears the Absolute's brand, they have advantage on death saving from throws. Ah, shit. So I should have got the brand. Unfortunate, but okay. Now, what is this? That slobber chops druid who is noising around ate just some tomb robin adventure type calls himself Halsin. Um, said he thinks there's something rotten inside us. Inside me, reckons he can help get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need help from nobody. Never did, and especially not now the absolute's taking a shine to us. Right, okay. So it looks like Halsin would be able to help us. Potentially. Now, is Light that key feet. for this door? Certainly seems like it. Ah, this is the temple. Uh-oh, there's a guard there. Quickly, up the ladder, everybody. Up the ladder. Up, 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 up. Quick, quick, quick. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Try to convince them you belong here, obviously. Um. Oh, fuck. Is it me at the front of the party? Is it Will at the front of the party? Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Well, I feel like the most in character for Will is intimidation. Which is gonna be fucking difficult. That ain't gonna cut it. That ain't gonna cut it. Uh, should we even bother rolling again? You know what? Fuck it. Let's roll again. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Did I save? Oh, I didn't say. A valiant but misguided attempt. You will leave this area now. Um. Wait, what do you mean I will leave this area now? Nice and quiet now. Breathe deep and move. I. Or maybe I fucking won't. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. I've been sent to join the patrol. to convince them of is that you absolutely do not belong here now we're gonna save but also the fact that you can just keep trying this again and again is kind of wild Palma, Palma, Palma. by all means no, Will, stop yeah. fucking talking to people. No. Will, or Gale, or whoever it is. It's, wished to live in it's me, Spiffy, times. that wants to talk to people. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift right. exit may be in order. I live here. Right. Come on, Spiffy. Come on, Spiffy, you can do it. Spiffy. On my way. Spiffy, eventually... Since the rules have not changed in your absence. You're still trespassing. I've been sent to join the patrol. Oh, we have been fucking up. The only thing you've managed... Right. Okay. Here's the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, the plan. Ungroup. Spiffy's going in alone. I don't have enough chi points to cast this. Fuck. Absolutely perfect. Oh my god, don't wandered <gasps> into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. <sighs> no. I live here, don't you remember? I don't know why the game let me do this so many times. You managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. Okay. Palmer, you want to talk to me? On my mind. You not supposed to be here. I just Leave. I just told I just told you I am. I am supposed to be here. Right? I am supposed to be here. Seen stealing. Resolving this peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in getting caught. <sighs> what am I doing? Hand them You're back. Off the hook. 
at the cost of your illicit prize. Okay. Okay, where is... Oh, fuck. Where did the... Where did the... Where, where did it go? Where did the key go? Shit. Ay, ay, ay. Me when I go to sleep in a forbidden area. What are you doing? Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> You're being watched. <laughs> yep. Yep. I don't need any attention right now. Why am I sneaking around? Oh, no reason. No reason. Honestly, no reason. Not for communal use, it seems. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now... <laughs> You know, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave. I understand you don't want me here. That's okay. I'll leave. I'll leave. I get it. I get it. That might be worth a look. What the hell? Oh, shit. Wait. The fuck? Are we in that room? With all of the stuff? Oh, we are. Oh my god. Right tool will do the trick. Oh, the nap twenties are rolling in. Okay, so we obviously don't want to be attacking that, but can we fire wine barrels, smoke powder barrel? Can we just steal those? There's no way. I can just pick up explosive barrels. Oh my god, this game just got a lot sillier. If Zen wasn't supposed to this game just got a lot sillier. What do you think of Watt season two so far? Can I drop them into what? This game makes no sense. I can pick these up, put them in my teammates. I haven't been watching Wheel of Time Season 2. How does this make any sense, chat? Ridiculous. Oh, you can send them to camp. What? How? Fucking messenger pigeon. How? How does that make any sense? This is madness. This is absolutely madness. Magic exists? Yeah. I mean, transporting an item like that is uh, some pretty advanced magic, considering I'm a monk that doesn't basically know any magic. Smoke powder. Explosive. Yeah, I kind of figured. Take those, if you don't mind. Right, now can I do something with this doorway? Because this door looks like we should be able to do something. Oh my god. More for me? There's more barrels. Ridiculous. Okay, there's got to be... Um, I 
There's people guarding this room. Okay, this door doesn't appear to be as useful as I was initially expecting. This door looks like it should be... We should be able to do something with it. But I'm not sure what. What was the... The note? Who has the note? Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? I mean, these look like moons. But how would we turn them? How would we turn them? Let's go back down again. So this is underneath the Defiled Temple, I think. Oh, this is the Defiled Temple? Hard to know. Right. Now that we're here, let's go back to these others. How are you going to get in? Right. Unseen. Perfect. Well, I think... How do we group these Whatever together? How do we just separate one person? There we go. Right, okay. So now we're part of the rest of the group. Wits and blades always sharp. Go through there. Hmm. Path is interrupted. You gotta be. Ooh. Ooh. It said hiding failed for a second, but actually we seem to be fine. Can we. 7 H. Lose 7 HP. That's fine. That's actually fucking fine. Come on. I need you to... Right, why did it work earlier and now it's not working now? Right. I need you to jump. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. One at a time. this way. And the rest, the other two of you. Perfect, perfect. Okay. This really is a knife or two. Will. Out of sight, out of mind. <gasps> no, 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 no. Shadow heart, shadow heart, shadow heart, please. Shadow heart, shadow heart, you motherfucker. What's what are you next, doing? What are you doing? What? <sighs> I should never have grouped them. I shouldn't have grouped no them. I shouldn't have grouped them. You know what? If... If they could run through like that before, why not just run through now? Why didn't I just do this earlier? That's so much easier. Why was I fucking around talking to her before? Right. Now that we're all grouped, Can't give up with now. Spiffy at the lead. Oh, we don't have any time for a short rest. I got you, I got you. All right, let's save. <sighs> Very well. Right, this is the door. Lunite symbols. They're just like the dwarf's poem described. From the look of it, they can be rotated. Right, so there's a series of... Let's just try rotating them. Shut up, my darling. My face protects me. Would you mind moving off them, if you don't mind? I've got Thank a long you. Road ahead. Right. So this is making me think of this symbol. Where now? Hello, 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 hello. Camera, Time please. To press ahead. 
Right, where did we just see the symbol? I just saw the symbol somewhere. I think it was on the other side of this door. No, that is just stars all around. Hmm. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. Right, so it's something to do with the stars not touching the moon. Probably. And what is... So all the stars on the outside, perhaps? That would make sense, wouldn't it? So how are we going to do that? We are going to try to group them up next to each other. That's the first step. So we're going to need to... Let's see. Let's see. Um... telling me that's not done. Stars on the outside, not touching the full moon, which is presumably in the middle. You're telling me that hasn't completed the puzzle. Sun and Saloon fell here in the dark below and we sealed his grave in a holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. Oh, darkness. Oh, well, maybe I need to... Maybe I need to plunge everything into darkness. Or maybe I need to light everything up. Let's try lighting everything up first. going on over here? Hmm. Ah, here's the symbol again. Stars all around the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it seven? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Weird that though, isn't it? Because there's eight. Hmm. Using. Well, let's have a good look around. Where is that light coming in from? Or maybe it's something to do with the light only being on that stone disc. Let me, let me read it again. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. So does that possibly mean, if that's the full moon, that we put the stars everywhere else? Maybe this one is supposed to be blank. Maybe that's the idea. Find the night zone. 
We solved the puzzle in the goblin camp, revealing a secret passage that leads underground. Did it reveal a secret passage? Oh yeah, it did. Okay. I think this is where we should end for the night. Now, chat, if I long rest, can I get back to where I am right now? I legitimately could stream for like another 10 hours, I think. This game has hooked me. Hmm, just thought of something. Do it? I think that's not a good idea. What is that? Pretty. Can't resist a pretty face. Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... This is Miles the away. goddess I was balls deep in. That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot. In a manner of speaking, yes. I was lost in prayer, of all things. Mistra. For indeed, it was her image I conjured. Commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet, even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Right, and, you now, like and now you're worried this? it wouldn't... No, no, I really don't care. This interest is such a disheartening condition. Always a pity when opportunities slip us by. Yeah, well. Uh, Good night. Wow. I mean, wow. He really just, he really didn't like that, did he? He really didn't like that. A Chad anti-magic marshal. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a monk. I hit things. Mate, I do not give a fuck about your, your pansy magic. Okay, so then how do we return back to where we were? Ping map journal. Leave camp. Oh, there we go. Does this just... Ah, this just takes us straight back. That is what I didn't realize was possible previously. That's pretty sick. Okay. Got it. Got it. You did this before, by the way? Yeah, and I forgot. Okay, so yeah, this is where I'm going to end it for the night, then. I'm going to make a proper save. New save. Uh, why did I stay up until 5 a.m.? There we go. All right, good night. I'm going to send you onwards to somebody else. Who should we go to? Yeah, the game really is incredible. It's so good. Oh. Okay, what? Mm. Let me see. Who's going to be streaming at 5 a.m.? Okay. I've got a friend. Ethan needs the views. He's getting fucked by EG. Surely Ethan's got views. Wow, he actually doesn't. He's got like 271 viewers. All right, yeah, let's let's send people over to Ethan. He deserves more people watching him than that. All right. I will be back streaming again tomorrow, I think. More Baldur's Gate. Good night.